Well, good morning, D Live, and welcome back to the Gives a Minutes D Live stream for a Tuesday morning affair. It has just gone, what is it, like five minutes to seven in the a.m. for me. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening to you, whatever the time it is, wherever you're consuming this content, you're always welcome right here on the Gives a Minutes D Live stream. Now, let me just check that everything's good because uh, I just started this stream and it wasn't working. Then I want to explain to you why I am live at this early hour and what we're planning on doing today. Although you can probably grasp it from the title of the stream. That camera's not gonna sit level. We'll deal with that in a moment. Let me just check that this is happening. There didn't sound to be any audio at first. That's usually an HDMI cable issue. I think I might have remedied it by unplugging it and plugging it back in again. What do you know about that, you little remedy? Let me just bring up my DLive Pro. I know you can't see me. I know you can't see me. It's early. And I'll explain that in a moment. You can probably grasp it from the stream title. Let me just see that we got audio. Please tell me we got... Okay, we got audio. We're good. All right, at that point, I'm going to be super quick here explaining this because i got work to do. I'm taking you on a 12-hour day with me. What I do as a shuttle driver for NZ Ski. Um, so let me just do all my processes and then when we'll have a little bit of time in about 10 minutes to sit and chill. But I do have to do my bus pre-checks and my log books and get everything in order, in order before we can get too cozy. So let me do all that. Hazard lights on. I'm gonna put my high vis on. And I will explain everything as we go along and the plan and the tech issues that we may or may not encounter. But first things first, get this bus ready to roll. Uh, where, what's going on here? So this is how I would begin my day. I would come in, hop in the bus, as I have done. Then I would jump over to the passenger area. You know what I should do? I should fix this level first. Let's see if we can't get this camera level. And hopefully it'll stay that way. Because it would suck to not be level. Wouldn't it, H-Man? I don't know if that's gonna stay. It's probably not. I'm just wedging the camera on the dash with my uh, jacket. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta turn this around a little bit. Oh, that's perfect, man. That's perfect, more or less. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be good. I know, the, I know the light's terrible, but we will put some lights on. In fact, I can do that right now. Step light, interior lights. That's going to be a little bit better. So, i got work to do. First port of call. Put on my gloves. keys on the front seat. So we've got a pre-check of the vehicle and the first pre-check includes oil, fan belt and coolant and you do that when the engine is cold as it has been sitting in the yard overnight and it is about two degrees Celsius right now. So the oil level is perfect. Yeah it's minus five up at Coronet, where we're headed, but it's two degrees Celsius here in Queenstown, New Zealand. Oh, aren't that close? Okay, that's the oil check. Then we open up this section here, and we are checking for fan belt tension. <laughs> check the tension. Ooh, ooh, it's tense. That's good. We will also check coolant level. Perfect. A little green liquid there to the top. Close this back up. That's those two or three checks. And then we can turn the engine on and get this little beast warmed up. Uh, just close this up. Put the radio back on in case I miss a call. Miss a call. Although I already know my uh, route for the day. 
7.30 Coronet Peak Staff Sweep. I'll explain that in a minute, or in a little while, once we get going. Hello, by the way. Hello, skis. So let's turn the engine on, because we've done those checks. Engine on. AC I always do first, because that lasts. Uh, turn that down. And radio check as well in terms of actual lights on. Lights on in the yard. Um, get this ready. I listen to 98.4 folks. If you want a cruisy, relaxed radio station in New Zealand, Queenstown, FM 1 98.4. It's orchestras, opera, and cruising music all day long. Put the review camera on. Okay, so now I get out my. Hey, this can serve as a. Uh... This is like a little walkthrough for anybody that wants a job with NZ Ski. This is what you're up for. So let me go to this app we've got here called Inspect. I am in S8. This is the vehicle I'm, I'm rolling today. S8, pre-trip. We see oil levels pass, coolant level pass, belt pass. Now I hop outside, so I'm going to be out of the bus for a little while while I do this, these other checks. But basically I'm walking around the bus doing visual checks and uh, ticking them off as I go. You, you can't come with me because I'm working. There's going to be some limitations to this stream. There's going to be some limitations to this stream. And you're going to have to put up with that for a while as well. So door is open. I'm hopping out and doing my checks. Okay, so that's all my outside checks, all sorted. Now I did drive this bus for the last four days, so I know it's, well, I've been doing the checks every day and doing all the things, so I know it's all good. The ones that we're gonna do inside, which are important, check for snow chains. We're checking for two bungee cables in each, and a wedge, chalk wedge. Yep. Again, I've used this bus for the last four days, so I know that they're already there. Now, uh, this, this is out of order, but there's a leak outside, or check for leaks, there's no leak. I checked that when I was out there. Cleanliness, I cleaned it last night, it's all good. Mirrors in the cabs. Cavalarial's good. Service brake, I applied it last night. Dashboard, looks like it's got a camera on the dashboard. What? I didn't leave, who left that there? You crazy kids. Fuel level I filled up last night at the end of the shift, so that's all good. Air conditioning's on how I like it, it's working, it's all good. First aid kit's up here, the Swedish rock band, folk singers, there they are, first aid kit. Vehicle cleaning, now I cleaned it last night, so I know it's good. Unless there's been a homeless man or woman or duck sleeping in here, that's for the D-Live duck lovers, it's all good. Interior lights, we know they work, I've already put them on. Fire extinguisher, bingo bango. 
vehicle cleaning. Oh, that's the outside we did. Now this is the inside. I'll just do a quick once through, but I'd like to just have a visual. But even though I did it last night, nothing left. This is this is because there will be uh, staff that get on here, and I want them to see a pretty clean bus. I don't want them to have to see coffee cups and crap from yesterday. So that's all that. That's my check. Submit my inspection. Done. Now that is the end of that section of the job. Take the gloves off. I'm going to come around the vehicle and hop in the driver's seat. And then we'll do a few things here. Logbook, set up my area, log myself into E-Roads. And then we'll get out of the yard and we'll go and hold in the yard. <laughs> we'll leave the yard and hold in the yard. Is that camera wobbled already? It has, hasn't it? Okay, this is going to be pretty sketchy to do today. To get this camera to stay in one spot. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, it's unlun. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, this is going to be pretty tricky to do today. I'm trying my best to give you an IRL stream of experiences. But I don't like the idea that this is going to stay here. I don't... I'm sorry. Not that I don't like the idea, I don't think it's going to stay there. We'll see. I know it's not going to stay there, dude. As soon as you start driving, that's going to go... We'll see, we'll see. All right, I'm going to uh, come around, get in the driver's seat. So it's at this point. Close the door. Now, next thing I gotta do is my logbook. This is a legal requirement, and you've already wobbled over. By the way, if that wobbles, I can't fix it. I can now, but when I'm driving, I won't be able to. It's already just gone on a little bit of a slanty angel. It's gonna just keep going, isn't it? Oh, well, we'll just have to make do with it. Yeah, this is a legal requirement in New Zealand. I guess it's worldwide, but... You've got to keep a record of your working hours. Not just driving hours, working hours. It's a little bit crazy the way it works. You've got to draw funky straight lines and you've got to have a business card ready and it's just a little bit crazy. First thing I do is check the date. So the date today is the 23rd of August. I open up to my previous day. Change to the next day. You got a carbon copy and you got a record copy. Go a fresh day here. Put this underneath here. And this is my logbook for the day. Fold that over. So I start writing in here. My name gives a minute. Just kidding, it's my real name. Benon Kowabeski. That is not how you say my name. His name had a click in it. Start time for a page is always midnight for some weird reason. The date we've already assessed is the 23rd. I think I've already forgotten. Sheet, I think it's 23rd. Yeah, 23rd. 23rd of the 8th, 22. And we now draw a line. You guys can't see that, but there's a whole section here for your layout of the entire 12 hour period from whence you finished your last logbook. We draw a line from 12 all the way down to seven, which is when I, I beg your pardon, seven, we're in New Zealand. I started work at seven o'clock. So we've got to draw a line from 12 to seven. That's in the off or the rest time. And then we draw a line across from seven, keeping it on the seven. And this now will go down, the line will go down into work time. But you've also got to write into... The line isn't enough, basically. You've got to actually write it in. So I've got to literally draw a zero and then a seven. This is 24, 24 hour clock. Double uh, dots, two zeros. Then I write Queenstown. And now, next column, you add the registration of the vehicle. In this case, it is these numbers. I don't need to tell you the registration. That's not... That's not relevant to the, to the stream. And the distance I traveled up until today is one, four, four, nine, 
two. Now that is my logbook current as of seven or seven a.m. I keep this up front in case the cops turn up because that is a legal document. They can check it. They will. They will check it if they stop. Radio's on. I keep radio next to me down here. Don't need phone now, but I will need it momentarily, so I'll keep it in my pocket. Now, I also set up uh, my stuff I'm going to need momentarily because it is coming into daylight, so it's gonna, I'm going to need sunglasses, and I hate faffing around for them while I'm driving, so I or always prepare them beforehand. I loosen a layer here. In here, I've got a couple of multivitamin tablets and a sunglass cleaner, lens cleaner. So we do this before we need them. Nothing worse than putting a pair of sunnies on when the sauna is blazing in your eyes and the sunglasses are all messed up. Dirty and scratched and crap, so I get it ready first. That's just the German in me. Preparation is key. That's that. So they go up there ready. This goes back in here. Then I get my snack ready. Oh, my gloves I don't need. I'll put them up top in case I need them later. Got a little snack action here. Little muesli bar for later. I'll put that handy. And that's pretty much everything that I need to start. Oh, lo log into E-Road. Now, the funny thing about E-Road, E-Road is a digital version of this. Why you've got to do two is baffling, but the logbook is the paper school, old school style, and E-Road is the digital version. So I log myself in here. Pick up, shh. There's my login, now I'm logged in. Now I can drive this vehicle legally for five and a half hours. Well, I beg your pardon, I've already been working since seven, so I can drive this vehicle for four hours and 48 minutes. Oh, sorry, that's fine. That's well, you do the math. So I'm gonna um, turn the lights off, interior style. I'll turn off my headlamp. We no longer need this. I will need it. Oh, actually, no, I won't need it. The days are getting longer here in, in NZ. I won't need my headlamp at the end of the day. Used to, not anymore. It's still daylight at the end. So um, we are good to roll out and we're gonna roll to the other side of the yard and we're gonna hold there. And I'll explain what that is when we get there. So hazard lights on while moving in the yard and just had a crawl here. This will be a test to see if that bounce, if the camera bounces away as well. I'm going to be driving pretty slowly so that it doesn't. I drive slowly anyway. So hazard lights off now. Indicate because we are entering a thoroughfare. Well, this is just a side street. But... Well, those um the step lights still on. Turn that off. So we're chucking a left on Gorge. If anyone's playing along. a truck parked in a bus stop. That ain't gonna work later on. And the camera's gonna fall already. So we're chucking a right into the other side of the yard. And then I'm gonna just park up next to, what's this? I didn't see what, was that M1? I'm gonna park up next to this bus. And basically, what happens now, I sit here with the radio on, waiting, it's quarter, it's 7.14, well, it's 7.14, and at 7, at 7.30, so this is a small bus, right? But at 7.30, one of the main buses is gonna drive from the station, which is the snow center, the center of town, the NZ ski building, if you like, and they're gonna pick up staff staff to go up to Coronet Peak. They're going to do the run from town and they're going to stop along the ways picking up at additional stops. Now my job as a shuttle is mainly on the mountain but in the morning on the way up there's no point going up empty so I do what they call a sweep. Myself and Jono, I think Jono's on. Who's on today? Maybe Jono's doing a school run starting a bit later. It could just be me. Uh, either way we do a run behind the main bus to pick up staff that are running late. 
If you're straggling and running late, I'll sort you out. So that's what the sweep is. And so until 7.30, uh, there'll be a radio call. It'll say, copy, um, copy Benon in S8 or Cor Coronet Shuttles in Benon. Um, I'm not too sure who I'm following, but they'll say, De Baker has just left the station. Uh, can, uh, commence your sweep after him. So then I'll go and I'll actually drive into town and do a loop around the back and I'll go through Robbins Road, literally literally where he's gone, but he's already been there five minutes ago. And I'll just keep looking at the stops. First stop is Creekside. I won't stop at the station. I'll, I'll First stop will be Creekside. And I'll look for staff. Now they've been told to wave us down with a light, with a flash, uh, with a camera, or be visible. Most staff wear the staff uh, pants, and that's the giveaway. It's got the word crew on them. Mine, mine don't, but F and B and whatnot and re rentals, they all have the crew crew pants. So I'll look for those pants mainly, because there's also public waiting out there, and I'm not picking up the public. I'm just picking up staff. So there's a few stops. There's Creekside, there's Indus uh, there's um, Gorge Road, where we just were, where that, <laughs> where that truck was parked. I think it's gone. Then there's Industrial, which is just further up Gorge Road. Then there's, I've never stopped at McChesney, but there's one there. There's also Top 10 Caravan Park. Uh, and then there's um, the, uh, what's it called? The, um, the last one. <laughs> Stop there, so many. I can't remember. The very last one, it's a hotel chain. And then we climb the peak. And at that point, I make a radio call into dispatch. Ben on in SA climbing the peak with 08, 8 staff or whatever. And that's that's pretty much the start of my day. That's the start of my day. Good morning, Craig. Once we get up to the peak. That, that's Craig, 730 public run coronet. That, that means I'm following after Craig. Cool, cool. So he's in the yard over there still. Okay, that's perfect. So that's 717. I've got to work out how I can make sure that... I've got to make certain I can work out how this camera isn't going to slip and slide everywhere because I don't like that it slipped and slid. There's no way I can do this, actually. It's going to slip and or slide, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna slip and slide everywhere, dudes. It's not gonna happen. We'll see, dudes. We'll see. I think this is gonna be a bit of a fail. So while I'm over here, <coughs> while I'm over here a little closer, oh, what I would do normally right now, this is in my sort of wait time on, on hold, I would usually check my um, check my crypto assets and see what's happened overnight. Well, what do you know? They went down. Don't forget, crypto is a very volatile market. Geez, it's a little warm in here. Volatility is the price you pay for the world's most... What's that saying that everybody says? Volatility is the price you pay for the world's most fluctuating asset. Something like that. Anyway, I'm down a lot. That's cool. I've mentioned this before in my cryptocurrency streams, but the plan here is to try to sort of accumulate a whole Bitcoin by the end of this New Zealand experience. Um, so then I'd, I'd, then I'd go and check Twitter, check my Twitter feed, see what's going on Twitter. But because this is an unusual day, it's a, it's a live stream, I'm going to just go ahead and have a look at the chat and see what you guys are up to. Make certain that this is working, right? Oh, and also... New Zealand experience. Yeah, cool, cool, so it's working. I'll just refresh the uh, trousers there. Also, this is a good time to say, if you're watching this stream and you're not on DLive, if you're not on DLive.tv and you want to be, you want to chat with us, come on over to DLive.tv. This is where I'm streaming. This is where this is going to happen. I know why that's not happening. I haven't put the... Uh... I'm going to have to put the vent on up the front here. Yeah, if you want to chat with us, come across to DLive.tv. Uh, you might be watching it on YouTube. Appreciate that view on YouTube. Appreciate all the views, but I am only going to be looking at one chat, and it's the D Live chat. I'm not looking at it. It's going to be pretty sporadic as I do look because I'm obviously focused on the drive. 
Um, but we're going to be here for 12 hours. This is uh, this is a 12 or 11 and a half hour shift. So I'm going to try. Actually, you know what I should do? Check on my batteries. I've got backups and I've got plans to charge batteries up at up at the the, the uh, base building and the staff room and and whatnot. Uh, we should be good, but I'm going to have to keep an eye on it as we go. But we should be good to, to roll with this all day. The only thing that's going to be concerning for me is do we expire all of our data? Because I've got a hundred gig on Vodafone. I've got about, I've used about two gig, just whatever. So I've got 98 gig remaining on Vodafone and I've got uh, 40 gig on um, two degrees plus one free hour of data for two degrees. So I feel like we're gonna to get to a point today where it's gonna possibly expire. And what that'll do is, it'll just reduce the speed and therefore the streamer looks really choppy and shitty. So at around about, I'm thinking around about two, three, four p.m., it could be all over. And if it is that way, then we'll just end it. I'm not gonna make you guys watch a lousy low bitrate stream. Um, just, just for the sake of it. But I'm willing to forego my entire month worth of data for this content. Because sometimes I rock like that. So let me just refresh the trouser. <clears throat> yeah, I'm willing to forego all of my data for the one stream. Rob Ozzy's in the chat. Good morning, Rob Ozzy. Redco's in the house. G'day, Redco. Hemping ain't easy. How you doing, man? Is this normally the bus you use in the stories? Yes, Rob Ozzy. This is the bus I've been putting in the stories. Um, good morning, 5 a.m. in Australia. It's earlier. Early. Yeah, good to see you guys. I apologize. I won't... I won't be chatting with you much. I will, there will come times when I can quickly grab it and, and check, but predominantly I won't be able to spend much time chatting with you guys. Put these lights back on. Back there. Um, also, I won't be able to um, take you guys around. It'll, you guys will be there most of the time. Now, when there's public, when we're doing the shuttling from car parks, there'll be public back there. I might have to, you can't even see them anyway. I might just turn the camera around. Actually, when we go, uh, you know what? I should turn the camera. I was gonna say, you wanna, you wanna see the drive up, don't you? Yeah, you wanna see the drive up the hill, not me. Hmm, I haven't thought about this. Either way, we won't have time to faff around with it, but... No, no, once we're up there, I'll... We'll work it out. If I don't take any staff members up, we'll work that bit out. But as, as it stands right now... That's how it's gonna roll. So, I'm also going to check the roster and just see if Jono is with me today. How come it's so warm back there? What's the temperature out here today? Temperature is 2 degrees. Minus 1 now. What? It's a lot warmer than that. Uh, let me just check the roster here. Who's on with me? Oh, Jono's on at eight. So Jono's doing a school run. Yeah, it's me and Jono, or Jono and I.
Who was that? Didn't see who that was that went past. So there should be a call come through pretty soon to get me out of here. Maybe that was something. I can also drive in. You know what I should do? I should drive now and get a little closer to... I just want to make certain the camera's not going to wobble over. I could do a small drive into town. I really want you guys to see the town. I guess you're going to see it through these windows. It is what it is, folks. If we have no, no um, staff members, we will stop and turn the camera around. It's a big bus. Uh, it's a 21-seater. Yeah, 21 including the passenger seat. No, 18. It's 20 seats. 19 including the passenger seat, 20 including me. Sometimes we put people up on the, uh, on the um, engine bay as well. Well, I'm gonna just um, do what I normally would, which is check uh, Twitter. Check my Twitter feed. Twitter's pretty quiet. Anyone following this PulseCon fiasco? Hectic. PulseCon 2022 is cancelled in its entirety due to any unforeseen circumstances. FreedomTV.info has the absolute right to reschedule the event or issue a partial full refund or not issue any refund. Okay, you want to Just to the so that message was for the Remarkables, not Coronet Peak. That's the other resort. I'm not driving up there, I'm only driving to Coronet. And conditions are probably pretty clear. There's been no fresh snow, and it's a bit windy, but other than that, should be, it should be a cold day up at Coronet. A cold day. Yeah, wow, this tweet. PulseCon 2022 is cancelled in its entirety due to unforeseen circumstances. Due to any unforeseen circumstances. FreedomTV.info has the absolute right to reschedule the event or issue a partial or full refund or not issue any refunds. The decision of the issuer in such case will be deemed final. So bad luck. You, wow man, sucks to have bought a ticket. That's what's going on. We got a couple more, oh we got one more minute. So I'm gonna go back to DLive and just check the chisel chats. About a minute until old mate rolls out. Okay, there's nobody on D Live. Awesome. Cool D Live. I'm streaming at an extremely unusual time frame for me, and there's no viewers. 
Thanks, D-Life. D-Rockin' it. You know how difficult this is for me to do while I work? Can I uh, please tell me I get a homepage slot today at some point? IRL live streaming from the job. By the way, I was told to do this, or not told to do this, but my boss said I can do this, I'm allowed to do this. He encouraged me. He encouraged me to make content while I'm working. And I was like, nah, I wanna give it my full attention. But a live stream's different because I can just set it up and then be done with it. Oh, let's talk about 4G. I feel like we'll be pretty good the whole way through. Definitely on the hill we'll be fine. Up in the car parks area, the 4G is strong as. There may be a section through Gorge Road that maybe it'll get a little, little dicey, like Arthur's Point may be a little bit dicey, but as soon as we start climbing the peak and the further we get to the top of the hill, the better it's gonna get. Because there's 4G up there, there's towers up there. Um, I know they don't extend all the way to the Remarkables. We tried to stream from the Remarkables and it didn't work. It works in the base building, but not on the actual mountain. So here it's, it's completely covered. Um, but like I said, like I said, uh, if, if we run out of data, that's a different issue. So that could be the concern I have, running out of data, data. I should, um, oh, no, I don't need to do that. I was going to say I should belt my, belt my bag in, but I don't need to. I've got auto ISO on the camera, so that'll deal with the correct uh, visuals. I'm just worried that it's gonna wobble over, which it, which it will. It's literally sitting on my jacket, my snowboard jacket. So it's 32 past seven. We should have had a call by now that so-and-so is rolling out. This is also sort of a bit selfish for me because I want to have a record of my day, right? My job. I've done this now since May. Oh, no, no, since June 8. So in the next month and a half when this job's all over. Yeah, when I'm... Go ahead, dispatch. You can start your sleep. Um, I think that's important that we Thank you. Copy that. I'm all over it, Bruce. So this, she just said Bruce is the guy that I'm sweeping behind. And so I'm going into town to follow his route. And we'll see how we go. And you'll see how bad the radio reception gets in Gorge Road. And that's not 4G, that's something entirely different. I saw a, I can see a staff member right, right there. Streaming from Steve Air. Streaming from NZ Ski Van. We need that double vision, the GoPro on the top, right? Just can't do that. So we're going down uh, Gorge Road. There's Fresh Choice Supermarkets on the on the right. Coming up the next street on the right is Robbins Road. I'll be coming out of that road shortly. This is the circuit around. I get a little visual down there to the bus stop and there was a whole bunch of people waiting. What day is it? Tuesday. Why are there so many dudes around? Just technically speaking, this bus is a manual auto, so you can use both auto or manual. There's no clutch, but the manual is really handy when you're climbing, 
uh, and when you're from a dead, sta dead stationary st standpoint, it's just better to chuck it in second. It's the second gear start, it's pretty rad. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of power to the bus, like the torque isn't great, but it's enough. So who was I talking to the other day? I think it was Brendan, and he was saying that, but these buses, they're not designed for what we use them for. They're not really up and down mountains. They're more like suburban commuters. So we do give them a bit, but we tr we treat them we treat them fairly and we don't push it hard. I'm at the intersection of Shotover Street and Stanley. I'm chucking a right, and this guy's gonna fang right past. PAF 941, I gotcha. Yeah, so I, I, I'm pretty slow to drive, like, definitely coming down the hill, I'm really, really gentle. Uh, I use the uh, exhaust brakes and the low gears. It's good to come up here to get a visual on how many are waiting for buses. It's just around the corner for Red Rock, not too bad. There's a fair few down there that are waiting. Errol and Craig waiting in line. ERR is the, that's what they call Errol. So now I'm cruising on Robin. Ah, oh, the camera fell over. Awesome. See, that's going to happen now. I can't get to it. Actually, I can, you know. I can pull up just here. I can pull up just here because I've got to pull up at this. Um, yeah, I can see Bruce further down, so I'm going to pull in here and just wait a moment. I'm just going to let Bruce pull out, otherwise there's no space for me further up anyway. And that'll give me the perfect chance to fix the camera and work out why I did it. And work out how I can rectify it to not do again. I don't know, folks. It's gonna be pretty sketchy. That fell over and we're just going pretty gently. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, Bruce is still in that spot. I kind of want to wait for him to pull out. Kind of want to wait for him to get out of the way, but what is it? Yeah, there's a bus in front of him as well, like a different company. That's a public stop. I'll at least wait for the first bus to pull out and then I'll, then I'll join the queue if you like. Yeah, that's gonna fall over, I can feel it, hey. We didn't even really go up and incline and it fell forward. So it's just sitting on the dash with the tripod. The tripod's kind of like bent to the left. It's a, um, uh, what's it called? A, um, <laughs> what is it? So, uh, so, solo, no. I don't know, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't know what the, the product is called. It's the one that opens up. You hold it by one hand, you let it go, and, it, and it's metal, and it opens up in a, in a circle. Anyway, it's on a side, and it's sitting on a jacket. It's a little strange. It's working, while it's clearly not. It's also going to be pretty strange, or well, not strange, but it's going to be interesting up on the hill, because what will happen when we start going down... Oh, okay, one of those buses has pulled out, so that might have even been Bruce that pulled out. Let's move on down. I should be listening to the radio in case Bruce calls me and says he's now full. I think that was Bruce that did pull out. This doesn't look like an NZ ski bus. Yeah, that's not an NZ ski bus. I'm gonna go right past this guy. Checking for, there's a lot of people there checking for pants. They're all public. That's all public. Yeah, that's all public. No staff there. They're supposed to wave us down, and they got, and they have those pants on, and they, no, no one was waving me, and they know by now too. Like they know the bus. So this is where I'll put it in manual, and it does. It's much, 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 much better in manual. 
Back up the road we just came down. This is this is Gorge Road, heading out of town now, heading towards Coronet Peak. So we're heading west. If you're looking on a map, Gorge Road towards Coronet Peak. I can see Bruce just pulled out. He picked up that person I saw before. Now I got an option. Do I pull in and wait here? I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go forward because he just pulled out. And I'm looking around the street. There's no staff running around. So there's no one else here at this particular point. So I'm gonna go past this bus stop. Just out of uh, curiosity, we're now passing the yard on both sides where I began the stream. That side's where the bus parks, that side's where I waited or held. So what I will do, we're gonna pull into industrial place. This is a bus stop that does get quite full. And we will see how Bruce goes, how he, how he loads his bus up. Is he even gonna stop? I don't even, he's got no indicator on. I don't think he's going to stop there. No, he is. He's pulling in. Okay, cool. I will also pull in. Right behind him. We'll see what happens. Looks like there is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, Staff members getting on. They don't have any gear, so they'll all go on that bus, no probs. And then Bruce, if Bruce needs, he'll radio me and say, I, I, there's leftover, I'm full, and there's, hey, I'm, I've got a full house and there's two more left or something, and then I'll pick them up. Swiss Bell, that was the name of the last one I couldn't think of ages ago, Swiss Bell. And by the way, I know this isn't level. I'm aware of the, I'm aware that the camera's not level. Deal with it. On this stream, I'm not, this is not my, my bus, this is not my setup, just deal with that. So now Bruce is pulling out, Bruce is in C1 by the way. So Bruce pulls out, I'll roll forward here. And I can see Gorge Road for quite a ways up ahead, less than a kilometer, but I got a visual on Gorge Road. Now I'm gonna wait and watch until I can't see Bruce. That'll put a bit of distance between the two of us. That means when he gets to Chesney and Top 10 and Swiss Bell, there'll be more time for him to do his thing and there's less buses all pulled up against the road because the bus stops aren't big enough to begin with and if you add more buses to the lineup, then you're backing up traffic potentially and more chance for an accident. So I'm gonna let him get out of sight before I leave here. So he's about halfway the distance now. Also something else that's worth noting, we are uh, playing <laughs> We're playing by the rules, obviously, we don't speed. And there's a, an automatic speed uh, checker on your E-Roads that tells you if you're speeding and you get marked down. And then at the end of the week, or end of the fortnight, you get a PDF of who's driven, who's driven the best and who hasn't been dinged for speeding and whatnot. Now, as we pull out of here, it goes from 40 to 80, but everybody starts speeding down the hill and gets to the 80 section and they're already hitting 80, but if you do that in these buses, you get dinged. You've got to hit the sign or it's a little bit in front of it. Okay, now I can't see Bruce, he's gone. So what I'm getting at is I'm gonna go quite slowly out of here, because I'm gonna take my time to get to 80. And I guarantee there'll be someone right on my tail. Bingo, there's someone already on my tail. The second you pull out, there'll be someone wanting to speed. So I'm now 26, 30, 32, haven't hit the 80 zone yet. It's gonna hit 40, it's got, there it is, now it's gone to 80, now I can go. And they're right on my tail, one, two, three cars. Always the way, every time, hey, every time. But now we're gonna to get to a point where the radio sketches out, we're in Gorge, Gorge Road in the Gorge, and I feel like this could be the only spot where the 4G says no. So if it gets a little sketchy from in, in here, it'll come back. Apologize, it could happen. It could happen. I've streamed over there before in that park, and I haven't streamed anywhere further from here until uh, the brewery, Canyon Brewery. So yeah, if it disappears, it'll come back. It will come back. Yeah, I hope it does. I'm 
I'm in auto by the way if you're wondering. It's an 80k zone and I'm still... That was actually pretty clean. I rest my case. You just can't hear radio calls in this area, you just ignore them. Keep them to a minimum and just ignore what ignore most of it. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm sitting on 70 k's an hour. The speed limit. I'm turning that down. The speed limit is 80. I'm on 72, and there's still dudes right on my tail. I don't want to get dinged, hey, I do not want to get a speeding fine. Just because some... You didn't see it. But a lot of, lot of Delikas out here in New Zealand, a lot of them. Changes to 50. I'm dropping right back because I don't want to get dinged. I'm on 60. Here still. We go down a little incline. Fourth, let the engine do its thing. And exhaust brakes and get a visual on Chesney bus stop. There's a truck in the way, no one's there. So this is a bit of a tight corner here, the Chesney Bridge, back to auto. And we kind of cruise around here, it's a little, this can get a little icy here, a little cold, a little icy. So no one at McChesney. <laughs> now if we did lose 4G back there, we should be picking it back up again. Because I've streamed from Canyon Brewery, which is just coming up on the left uh, as we go down and across the bridge. So if we have lost a little bit of signal, pretty certain we've got it back already. This is a one lane bridge folks, this is interesting. A one lane bridge. Not many of these left in New Zealand apparently. I think this is one of the only ones. Someone told me this is one of the only ones left. So it's basically a courtesy thing. This would not work in Australia. There'd be too many dicks wanting to just barge through, but you just basically look ahead. Oh, this guy, you serious? This guy should have stopped. Dudes, this guy just did not stop. That's fallen over a bit further. Okay, the next guy stopped though. Thanks, mate. Must be an Aussie. Arrogance. The idea is if someone's on the bridge, then the traffic can flow through, but if they're further to the other end of the bridge, that's your time done, and you stop, and then the next, then the oncoming can go. That guy gave me a nice move. So now I'm in manual, third gear. This is when manual comes in handy going up hills. Auto would be struggling here to choose a gear and it just, manual is much, much, much better. I can probably jump to fourth here. There's fourth. Coming up around this bend that keeps on bending. It's a strange one, it's not a full curve, it's like a half curve, then a bit more of a curve. Coming up around here is top 10. So I'll keep it in manual in fourth. Uh, top 10, sometimes there's staff here. Okay, Bruce has pulled in still, so that means possibly there's staff. I just see someone getting on, so he's good. So Bruce pulled in, I'm gonna pull in behind. This is a good chance to fix that camera. Let him get it. 
two back then, but this, the reception's so sketchy in that area. Work though, my phone's not gonna work because I'm using my SIM card in the stream. Now his right indicator's on. While we're here, fix that camera angel. Are we good? Are we still good on the stream ski? Yes. Is that alright? Stream still good? I don't know if the stream I can't see this. Either way. Just checking. Hey, just there, stay on. Stay on. Yeah. I guess we're good. I'm just going to assume that I can't. I can't bother to. to I can't bother. To, I can't. So that was Bruce calling. Bruce cl climbing coronet with 48. So that means he's full up. I can't bother checking. I can't, not bother, I can't. So, the radio's virtual. That's Jono arrived.
Primary or a nine o'clock pickup. So did we? Did have okay, you? Okay. I just looked down. Okay, so I'm at the top of the peak, done my staff run, and I looked down at the stream, and it wasn't live. So when did I lose you guys? Did I lose you in um, in Gorge Road, like I said I would? That sucks, but I was expected. Either way, you didn't see the drive up. That kind of sucks. Um. Yeah, that's not good. Are we live? I'm gonna go to, I'm not gonna go to D-Live, I'm gonna go to Restream. Please contracting you, truck and trailer. Just double checking if I can start make my way up to the car park number four. Where's my Restream? I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, what I was trying to say before is this is the point of the day when I gotta, I have to go to the bathroom and if I don't go now, I probably won't get a chance to go because now I'm at the top of the mountain, dropped off the staff and I'm ready to start my shuttling process and as soon as you start that, you get into the you get into the to the pattern and people you just don't get a chance there's no chance for you to stop and because Jono is not here yet I'm the only one up here so I have to take this opportunity to go to the bathroom even though I don't really need to go right now if I don't go now I won't make it through so I'm gonna just reset my modem, then I'm gonna go to the bathroom. It says three. G what are you talking about? Okay, I'm resetting this.
All right. Everything good? Now, let me just um, let me just re check the stream because I know that we had a bit. We had a little bit of downtime before, and it was um, expected. That was expected. Um, actually, no, it wasn't expected, but it happened. What I didn't expect was that when it came back. So I basically I just went to the bathroom. But the radio is like real like today for the first time I'm finding the radio really annoying. Um Yeah, so I I thought we might lose I'm just checking car parks two here. Uh car park two. We're not into three yet, so we're good. Um I knew that we'd lose signal on the way up. Oh I know I didn't know what I thought we might. But I didn't expect it not to come back. Why did I put these on? I didn't expect it not to come back to 4G. It came back to 3G. So I reset my modem. And I'm just going to verify that that did fix the 4G. Because I don't want to be streaming on 3G, right? Let me just check. Yeah, now it's back to 4G. So I, don't, so I feel like I lost you guys for a while back there. I feel like I lost you guys back there for a while. And that was because... It didn't come back to 4G, so let me just let me just see that it is good, and then we'll go down and we'll sit in a um, we'll sit in a car park. I might even turn you around so you can see some view. So where did I lose you? Did you see any of the drive up? Hope you did. So we're good now. We're good now, but where did I lose you? You guys, Charles. G'day, Charles. How you doing, man? Rob Ozzy doesn't have his bus pass. Giggle Pickles. Giggle Pickles had to go to work. No worries. Yeah, I'm working right now, so I, I can't really be too, you know, can't really be too engaged with the chat. I don't know if that's going to stay up there. Either way, let's, let's do a drive down and see what happens. Do I need these sunglasses yet? So we're now, but basically, if, if I lost you for all that time, we're now at the top of Coronet Peak. And now I'm, so I drove up, I don't, know, I don't even know where you guys got lost, but I picked up staff at Swiss Bell, drove up, I gave you a commentary of the whole drive up. We talked about the snow line, talked about the weather, talked about snow chains, talked about listening to the radio for important calls as you drive up. If, I, if you didn't get any of that, you missed out on some riveting commentary. I dropped the staff at the top of the drop zone. I came back to this little area where we kind of pick up from 1pm shuttles. And now I'm going to commence the shuttling. I'm going to go and do a circuit down through four and I'm going to wait. I could go to two, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I might go through two. It's just me up here though. Yeah, it's the first rep pile where the container is on the lift. See, that's already going to fall. That's already going to fall over. Okay. Man, the radio is annoying me. This, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. That just fell over straight away. So i got to remedy this. If we're going to do this, two things have to happen. The camera has to be able to stay by itself without me what without me doing anything how can i do that i can't do that and also the radio is going to have to just take a chill pill radio's on fire this morning for a day like today when there's no like snow no ice nothing why is the radio so charged up everybody's just chatting about stuff guess i'm getting a little irritated well not really and it seems like, for some reason, it seems like the heater in here is way hotter than usual. It's on 27. Do I normally have it on 26? I'm gonna go down to 26. I think I normally have it on 26. No, the, I have the um, interior 26. My cabin is on 28 usually. That's usually two difference. For some reason, it feels way warmer today. Either way, <coughs> let's do this. Don't you wobble around. 
I've got my eye on you. This, oh, they haven't done it. I thought the roads crew would have cleared this up, but they haven't done anything and it's still super, like because it's become sloshy and, sl and muddy, it's now bumpy and rocky. And uh, the roads crew haven't done anything to fix it. I'm turning my temperature down to 25 if it's gonna play games against me. Some big, I can already see that's gonna wobble over, hey. There's some big bumps coming up. So here we come down the loop road. And there is a massive bump, half or three quarters of the way down this loop road. I can avoid it now because there's no, there's no um, passengers, there's no guests parked on this side. But right here, dude, it is gigantic. It's going to stuff me up later on for sure. Third gear, and there is an epic, epic bump on the flat of this car park four. I'm gonna to try to avoid it by coming around the around the witch's cone, traffic cone. Dude, no one's done anything with that. It's just sitting there like it was yesterday. That's depressing. The camera's gonna fall over, isn't it? So this is a good test. This isn't gonna work, dudes. I don't know if I can do this. Like these, these are just regular bumps that we're going over. These bumps have been here. Skippy, skippy for me in. Fully. Uh, we're gonna have to go over that every single time. I'm gonna know, I don't know how it's gonna work. Did you find any gloves? Missing gloves now? Seriously? I might just have to leave the camera there. See, we're already. F I'm not going to go into car park two. I'm just going to pick up from car park three. Are you going now? Yeah, I can. I, I can't go to car I park two. It's going to be so bumpy out here too. All right, I'm now going to pick up passengers and I'll load their skis on. So I just gave the uh, heads up to the to the guests that um, I'm going to wait for a full bus. I mean, I'm not going to pick up one passenger and drive the whole circuit. So I said I'm just going to be waiting here. Um, and and from here you can see visually you can see the next um, you can see the base building. So I said you you might be better off just walking. She's like, yeah, I wanted to save my legs, but I can't like unless there's unless there's a whole bunch of people at the same time. Nice, yeah, right on. Yeah, you're clear. That's the, I guess that's one of the things about this job that you can't, like, you can't ever, you definitely can't predict and people will arrive at any time. People will turn up whenever they please and you can't predict that. Like, there's no rhyme or reason, there's no rhyme or reason to it when they arrive. But the best thing or the, I guess the takeaway from that is that you've got to keep people informed. So if she got on the bus and then I didn't say anything and she just sat there, she'd be like, what are we waiting for? But if I told her 
and then clear the peak and returning. The option here is you can either sit in the warm bus and wait until we get a, at least half a load, or you can walk up. At least she gets the option. How you doing, buddy? I'm well, mate. How are you? I'm good. We are just going to wait till we get a, at least a half load. If, if um, yeah, well, yeah. it'll be quicker walking or waiting for a half load. At this stage, it'll be quicker walking. Oh. Just be, the amount of cars coming in is pretty low. Yeah. I'll get my exercise yeah. on, yeah. mate. No worries, dude. Have a great day. See, there's a good example. I gave him the information and he decided to do what he will with it. And he, his decision was he'll walk. By the way, I think I'm going to keep the camera down here. I, up there, it seems like it's just going to fall. At least I can grab it here and I can like give you a bit more of an angle around and show you whatever's and that's probably the better option for, for this. Yes, I'll help you. Excuse me one minute. We'll be rolling in a little while, yeah. folks. We're just going to wait for at least a half of us. There's enough people here, though. Yeah. Yeah. So. I haven't been 
Yeah. We went there yesterday. What was that like? Uh, it, was, it was, you can go ski, it's all, it's all it's close to spring. Yeah. But that's cool. Here we are, folks. Thank you. Just a heads up, I picked you up in car park three for when you want to get there later on this afternoon. Cool, cool. So just a heads up, um, this is pretty much the day and I'm going to show it to you the whole day. So this is what I do, we will go down and shuttle, we'll pick up pick up guests, we'll take them up, we'll have a chit chat, It'll be fun, but this, this is pretty much the whole day. So I'll try to show you a, a bit more visuals when we're up here and whatnot. This is the base building, um, Coronet Peak style, you've got the view in front of us here. Hopefully the auto exposure is looking okay. And I'm gonna basically just have you guys down here. I think that's gonna be the way that that rolls. Seems like it sort of sits in there nicely. It's not the greatest, well, like I said, well, I don't know if you even heard this before, but um, if this was my vehicle, I would have set this up for streaming, obviously, but this is a work vehicle and this is a one-off stream. So it's just temporary the way it's, the way I got things going here, it's temporary, obviously. And I won't be able to check the chat, for, for a little while so if you are chatting appreciate the comments and uh, I just can't answer them obviously I'm I'm literally working right now so the chat has to take a, a back seat to, to what I'm doing um, why is there a garbage truck reversing up here okay oh he's, he missed the turn to Hardy's he's gone okay cool 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 so yeah if I guess I guess the idea of this stream is twofold. I wanted to document my day job, like my daily job while I'm here, just for historical sake. And also somewhat of a, somewhat of like an indicator of what you might expect if you take this job. You know, if, if you decide to come to Queenstown, New Zealand and work for NZ Ski as a driver, and you only have a class one license, right? I'm class one, I'm not class two. This is a class one vehicle. I'm passenger endorsed, got the P endorsement. Um, you can, anybody can get this though. Like you just gotta have a good criminal record and a, and a good driving history. Anybody can get a P endorsement. So you maybe you might wanna do this job and this, this can pretty much serve as an indicator of what to expect. Um, yeah, that's kind of where, where, where we're at with this or where I'm at with this. This is why I wanted to do this. Also, I was stoked to see that there's literally a 4G tower right there. Um, so the, you know me and streams, I love to stream wherever I can if, if the tech's good. I'm a little baffled by that drop before and it didn't come back to 4G. I had to reset the modem, but either way. Um, so yeah, if you want to hang out with me for the whole day, you're damn well welcome. I mean, I've got to charge batteries at some point, but I do have a, you know, I have a redundancy plan. I've got batteries that I can use in the time that I'm charging. So we're, we're going to be fine. It's going to be, it's going to work. Well, hopefully. The main thing is the data. I reckon I'm going to chew through my 4G data. 100 gig, 100 gig will go pretty quick. Oh, by the way, I should stop and show you here. So this is car park four and we haven't hit it yet. So there's no one in car park four yet. Um, and the time is 8.43 a.m. So there's no one in car park four as yet. Oh, you know what I could do? I want to... Yep, come on up. Oh, no. Dude, the menu, the radio is on fire this morning. 
it's normally not like like normally the the radio goes off like that when there's like chains from chain bay two and like heaps of cars on the road today there's there's no snow there's no rain it's clear sky oh it's a couple of clouds and the radio is absolutely firing I don't, it's climbing. I don't get why. I don't get it. Or is it just me noticing it more because I want to, you know, half focus a little on the stream as well? I don't know, but it's it's definitely notable. Notable note. Now we're back in car park three here. I'm going to pick up. See, everybody walks from car park three. It's pretty close, so that helps. That helps the shuttle drivers out. But then every time you drive past people, they look at you like, "How come you're not stopping?" Because you're walking past me the other way. You've gone past the pickup slot. The, the shuttle pickup is just here. People drive. People walk past it, and then they want me to stop and pick them up. And then everything goes to crap because you're out of location. Cars trying to park. So it's not gonna happen! Let's load this sucker up and do a run back up to the drop zone. I just picked you up in yeah, car park you. three, so this afternoon when you want to get back to your vehicle, that's what you need to tell the driver, car park three. Thank you, driver. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Bye bye, driver. 
Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? Another little view update. I'll give you a little update view. See the view. How well is the exposure? Oh, not good, dude. Change it, man. Look at that. Can't really see. I'll get a better view later for you. That's what we look at as we drive. Pretty sweet. I'll just change the exposure back. Actually, I'll just leave it at that. No, that's too dark. Benton? What a lousy name. Benton. Sounds like this Sadao is singing. Sadao, six up remarks and returning. Uh, clear of the remarks. That uh, high pitched voice, that's Ashley. She is enthusiastic, uh, always happy, always chirpy, but it does get a little. Andrew, do you I'll let you drive off, mate. So that's normal? You know, Andrew to Sadao. I'll let you drive off. Okay, thank you very much. But then when Ashley gets on. And it's like, whoa! You gotta let. Yeah. You'll hear it as the as the day goes on. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. And I will turn the camera around and show you the outside as well from time to time. It'll be a little tricky. It'll be a little tricky to do though. So Jono should be arriving soon and that'll put him in rotation with me as two shuttles. So he started at eight and did a, uh, a primary school pickup. I think he was doing shot over primary school. Um, so he'll be up here. I guess he picks up at 8.30. He'll be here by, maybe he picks up nine. I guess he'll be here by 9.30ish. And that'll definitely loosen. See, look at this. From up here, can you see car park uh, four? There's no one in it yet. Car park four is empty, so we, we're still, but that's totally manageable. When, the, when car park four is like it is, that's manageable. Uh, but that will change. Although, it might not change because like I said, the conditions, nothing has happened overnight. There's no, there's no reason to be up here unless you're a tourist and you have to be up here because this is the only, uh, this is your three day Queenstown escape kind of thing, your vacation. Okay, so now I see the first set of cars coming into four. So the roads guys are bringing cars into four. So I'll do one more pickup in three skis and then I'll come down to four skis, exclusively skis, and pick up from, from here alone. Um, yeah, that's the way that'll roll, skis.
now this becomes a tricky spot to get past. Just got to state your claim. Make it. Take it. Give the cute girl a wave. And so there are still people waiting at the uh, pickup here. That'll change though, once they start filing into four. You see what I mean about how rocky the road is? Hey guys, just a quick heads up. I just picked you up at car park three. So when you want to come back later on in this Arvo, that's what you got to tell the driver. Three. Last one, Jack. Three, Jack. Jack knows where to go. Stick with Jack. Jack knows. Jack's good value. Twee. Yeah. How do you spell it? You've nailed it. T W E E. I love it. Jack, you're gonna go far, man. He knows that's he knows that's wrong here. I like that. Yeah, he's got his tickets on. T W E. You were funny for us. T H R E. That's a bit weird. No, you're wrong. It's T W E. No, it's T H R E. He's wrong. Oh, that was easy in the morning. It was easy in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, folks. Well, sir. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Jack, Cheers. be happy now. Thanks, folks. Yeah. See you, man. Yeah. Jack is happy. Yeah. Thanks. So you left the lady with the baby yeah. go first. Yeah. I'm going to walk past the Everyone gets off back to the 
You've only got the Dow and M6 heading towards you, and that's it. That's one of the cool things about this gig, like just people are happy and like looking for a good time and they're all oh, hello, they're all over the road. Behind them or past them. Yeah, people are generally uh, in good moods. I mean that kid is 10 years of age and he was messing with me about the spelling. I like I like that. Oh dude, why'd you drive? Why'd you walk there? Yeah, I like that about this job. You you you're constantly seeing um, you know, they pay a lot of money to do this. Like, people pay, uh, pay and people only do it once or twice in their life. It's ex it's an expensive vacation. So if I can, like, entertain or at least enhance their, their experience, um, that's a huge win, right? At the beginning of their day, like, the first thing that they experience is someone who's willing to joke around with them. Then from there on in, hopefully, from hopefully they get that kind of experience with other staff members, and then their whole day, you know, seems more worth it. That's how I look at it, and I, I genuinely like people. I enjoy. I mean, obviously, I'm a live streamer, right? Like I enjoy people, I enjoy interactions, and I love the snow, and I love driving. Like all those three things. Loving driving, loving the snow, and loving hanging out with people. This this makes this job like ideal, right? Like fully ideal. But I will say this: on the other side of that coin, uh, it's not a. It wouldn't be a permanent job. Like if this was tw like 12 months of the year, like all year round, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Um, I definitely wouldn't do five days a week, two days off. So we're doing like 11 and a half hour days, uh, five days a week, and then you get two days off. And typically my last day is a, a night ski day, so my sleep pattern just gets messed up at the end of my week, and then I'm then I'm screwed for my days off. So, I mean, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I like it, but it, like, I, like I said, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be something I could do long-term permanently. I'd have to look at a change in the rostering or just the d different hour, hourly setup or, yeah. Um, but I, I do enjoy it. Here we are, car park four. Car park four is now filling up. So we are gonna be taking from here. Can you let me know I'm first to it, still And now everybody jumps straight in. But I'm gonna count them off. Hey guys, just 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 wait there. I'm gonna count you off because I can only take a certain amount. Right, right. Sure. There's four there. Not sure that's true. Three, four, at race. Yeah, not sure of uh, Goldfields or uh, Sherwood. You don't have to Oh, 
Hey guys, just a heads up, this is car park 4 where I picked you up from, so this afternoon when you need to come back, tell the driver car park 4 and everything will be good. Cool, cool. Spare seats every back there. No? Okay, cool. Cheers. Hey, uh, just get straight to the workshop and just let me know when you're on Lawrence Road. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks guys. Thank Thanks you. mate. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Will do. Ski safely. Yeah, we'll try. Thank you. See you later. Is there a shuttle bus from here to Remarkables? Oh no. 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 Definitely no, not. Yeah, go. this yeah. is just a car park. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting question. A shuttle shuttle bus from here to the Remarkables. Down through town and back up the Remarkables in a shuttle for free? Well, I don't think that'll ever happen. Yeah, you get all kinds of questions and you've got to be ready to answer them. Um, that one I've never had before. So what happened just then, by the way, uh, we loaded up in four and because it's just me shuttling, I then went through three to get out of four and there's people waiting in three, but there's no space for them. So I'm going to do a, di a direct line down to three and just pick those crew up. And then hopefully people get the message that we're now moving into car park four for parking. So like you can only, f you've got to focus on one car park at a time, basically. Well, not, once car park three is filled, if you're waiting in car park three for a shuttle because you found a spot there, what someone left early or something, you're typically not going to get a shuttle as quickly as if you went into car park four because that's the car park we're filling. But people will still try to find an elusive spot in three. And I see someone getting one too. Someone just nap, because sometimes people come up, like people that work in Queenstown, they'll come up to do two laps and then they'll go down back downtown for work. They'll literally get up here at like stupid o'clock and they'll do two lines, two or three runs, and then they're off back home. And that gives you a, a rare spot to, to find a, a, park, a, a parking spot. So there's two people waiting here at three, which isn't really great for me, but I will pick them up and then go through four backwards, kind of. 
I'll explain it to them. Okay, yeah. Sometimes you gotta coordinate these things, a little tricky. Just <laughs> grab that, we got a full load. <laughs> Quick change twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we have faith. <laughs> So just a heads up folks, I just picked you up in car park three. So at the end of the day, when you want to get back to your vehicle, car park three. <laughs> on the radio. That's early. G'day guys, here we are. Thank you. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, have a good day too. Thank you very much. Like I said before, the radio is alive today. Someone just, was that Astro just ordering lunch? It's like quarter past nine a.m. Now, just a quick check on the stream. We are good. I guess I should check batteries at some point too, you know? Yeah, I'm not going to. I'll check them later. I'll wait till Jono gets up here before I take a, a stop check and battery check and all that kind of stuff. Because it's just me. I, I, I'm all hands on deck right now while it's just me. I haven't even had a stop of, to drink a little water either. I'm a little, little parched. It's a little uh, dusty up here too right now. And I could do with a little swig of water. See, there's already dudes going down here. Three snowboarders leaving. Okay, they're probably like, yeah, too icy, man, too icy. It is icy. It's 
hold. Nose is dripping. Uh, what is the outside temperature? It says eight on the, the bus when you hit the outside temperature button, but that's never right. I wish I could uh, see a chat and see what you guys are asking questions about. If anyone's asking questions, um, how we, I guess we should do this on, on YouTube if you want to ask a question. Leave it as a comment. Ah, oh, uh, I don't want to be the one to ask for a super chat, but a super chat will, I'll definitely not miss it later on. But um, you could also just make a comment on the VOD. Maybe you want to ask about pay rates, maybe you want to ask about living conditions, maybe you want to ask about how to get a job with NZ Ski, maybe you want to ask about the interview process, maybe you want to ask about staff perks and benefits, maybe you want to know about snowboarding, maybe you want to know about skiing, I can't help you with that, I'm a snowboarder, but you do get a season pass. Three Mountain, Mount Hutt, Remarkables, and Coronet Peak. Also get access... No idea at this stage. I'm going to say I'm up at You also get access to uh, the buses if you want to take a free bus up the hill. So basically you can you can play on the mountain for free all season on your days off. Copy that, 44, 44. And on your days on as well. You can ride on your lunch break. your board on. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, Interesting. Jump on too early. Yeah, that's no, it's all good. Uh, just do me a solid. Do not let that board hit the window. It will yeah, smash right the glass. Right yeah. So right if, right it, if it hits that, it will crack. Yeah. Hey, Phil, can I jump in with you? And also, just a heads up, we are in car park four right. for when you want to get back here in the afternoon. Car park four.
So for those two that just got on, you just jumped on at car park three? Yep. Just for when you want to get back later on? Sometimes I'll do a little stop and ride there, like uh, pick up four, then go through to three, pick up extras. Uh, keep looking. Eyes alert. Here we are folks, Thank you. Thank you. have a nice day. drink of water. All that dust is just bah. Just give me a second. Get my water bottle out of here. Oh, that's going to move the, um, it's going to move my, uh, my tripod stand. That's not cool. I was using my... F1, climbing the peak wolf, 13, 1, 3, 12 kids and one teacher. That's Jono. Over there, Jono, 13, 1, 3. Oh wow, dude, I got dust in my mouth. Mm. Could feel it building up in there. So that's Jono on his way up. He's just climbing the peak. He's at the base. Sorry, the Bruce, uh, C1, climbing with uh, 45 children and three adults. And he'll be here soon. Is that gonna sit like that how it was before? Hope so. Everything good with the live? I guess I should pause. Get out of bit. Let me get off the drop zone. Let's get out of the drop zone. Now that I know Jono's coming up, that alleviates a little bit of pain for me. I'll do another run. I'll do another circuit, and then I'll check. Then I'll stop and check the stream. Actually, no. I'll wait till I see Jono. Yeah, I'll wait till I see Jono. I can already see the amount of dust on the lens too. Wow, man, it's super dusty up here today. Yes. Yeah, Thank you, Robert Really dusty. Copy that. Following through the car in Switching to road. It's 
Lifts open at 9, so 24 minutes ago was the first chairlift. Yeah, so I went through four and then I also left space for some in three. Sometimes you gotta make that decision and cut it off, like tell people no, we're full even though you're not, but you need to leave a little bit of extra space for those other ones. Some people don't like it as well. People get upset. Well, it's up to you to make the decision. From up here, I know you guys can't see this, but from up here I can see, well, a fair bit of the road to see where Jono is. I can't see him yet. And at night, when it's night skiing, you look down there and you see a long snake of traffic coming up, like a long line of traffic. That's not level, but who cares? H-Man, H-Man's on a cruise with Charlotte Rose, so we don't have to be level. We can get away with not being level because the H-Man's not here. Fine. Hey, put that snow back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kids throwing snow. I always make a silly joke like, hey, there's not enough snow to be thrown around, put it back. Funnily enough, or ironically enough, that's kind of true right now. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Oh, it's going to be tight. Always do a quick count as I pull in, see how many people are waiting, and if it's going to be more than 18. You guys got the wait. Just uh, load these guys in. Hey folks, just a heads up, that's car park four. So when you need to get back to your vehicles at the end of the day, that's what you've got to tell the driver. Or you can walk. Definitely walk, but if you want to take a bus, shuttle bus, car park four. Copy, 
Here we are, folks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, guys. See you later. Think of questions. If I think of questions that I think you, dude. If I think of questions that I think you might be wanting to know the answer to, I'm going to just ask them as if you're asking me. Someone wants to know if you're not on the radio, why are you needing it on? Someone wants to know that. Okay, what an interesting question. Well, the thing is, the radio is important to listen to uh, what's happening. Uh, coming up the mountain, going down the mountain, what's expected, I guess, uh, if anything's an emergency situation, or if anything that's been, anything's being advised from roads crew or from dispatch that I'll need to know about. That's why the radio's on. Yes, predominantly throughout the entire day, no one really needs to contact myself as a shuttle driver because you're pretty much left to your own devices to do what we what we've been doing already um, that's a little bit different in the situation that Jono's in this morning because he did a school run so he'll do the school drop at the end of the uh, what was that noise at the end of the day at 2 2 30 he'll do a school run back down so then he'll be on the radio informing he'll be informing his situation and whatnot and when he comes back up and whether he whether he does come back up or whatever but typically as a shuttle driver you're not really you're not really needed to be in communication the one the one or two times when you might communicate is when something's wrong uh, for instance someone someone can't find their skis or someone someone's stuck in their vehicle they've got a flat battery they've got a steve van and they've got a flat battery and then i'll radio through and then tell dispatch to contact roads and roads will come down and sort them out but typically i mean we I, 
at lunchtime we're listening for bus drivers that need to be parked up and need to come back up the hill so they'll park up in car park seven and then we'll go down and pick them up and drive them back up to the to the base building so we're listening to that but yeah typically not a lot is needed on the radio but it's important to have it have it there so i keep up and down in the volume you see me grab it and just lower the volume because it's kind of annoying like the 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 levels that happen yeah it's kind of annoying but it's necessary you know what else is annoying the way this camera is wobbling everywhere there we are car park four again for other pickup Oh, my bag's falling down, that's why. This is car park four again. Just a heads up folks, that's car park 4 where I picked you up, so later on you'll need to know that when you get back to your vehicles. You can you can uh, walk down to here quite easily or you can take a shuttle bus if there's one available. Yeah. Sun Creek one, man. Here we are, folks. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.
right, so what you just heard before, Jono's now up on the hill. He's in rotation. It's gonna give me a good chance to stop and put on some sun cream, have a swig of water, check the stream, check the chat. Uh, you, it's funny, you wouldn't expect you wouldn't expect sun cream to be a thing, right? But man, if you, if I don't put sun cream on, by the end of the day, I am burnt. My lips are all cracked and my uh, cheeks are burnt visibly. So I'm gonna just park out of sight of the public, just down here by the Peak Club members area. This is an exclusive parking slot just for Peak Club members. I'll just park up here momentarily uh, and I'll put on sun cream. Yeah, it amazed me. The first time it happened, I was like, I'm sunburned? And I'm not even, like, I'm not even really outside much, you know, like, I'm in the... Oh, I'm, I'm in the bus and I still got sunburned. It's crazy. All right, let's turn that down. I'm also gonna restructure my, um... I'll give you guys a view of the, while I do this, how come I haven't got, no wonder, no wonder that's hard for me to move. I haven't got um, the cable run. The cable runs underneath the bag. Dude, that's crazy. So I'll just put you guys up here for a while. Let's give you a view of the uh, Remarkables. I'll just change the exposure as well. Give you a little view of the Remarkables while I uh, organize myself here. How can I? That's lousy. Is that level? No, it is not. So let me just, what am I doing? I'm gonna use this. I can't leave you like that, that's lousy. This is the very, <coughs> the very unlevel stream. I can't even do it. Put you back there. Put you back there. So I'm going to put some, well, put sun cream on here. <coughs> then I'm going to use this as a tripod. I ne actually, I need to do that right now, don't I? Because I need. What is? I'm, I'm all kinds of wrong right now. Get that out of the way. Put this over here just temporarily. That's temporary. I need to get in here to get the sun cream. Yeah, I went up to um, admin at the very beginning of the season and said I need some sun cream in the bus, and they gave me a whole bottle of it. I think I think it was for all of us, but I'm the only one that look at this, just dripping. I'm not I'm not in a I'm not sick, but your nose just your nose just permanently drips up here. So they gave me a whole bottle of uh, sun cream. So I'm opening it here. I'll put the hazard lights on. And I'll just take a sque squeeze of this and close it. Do you want to bet Andre? Yeah, I just put in all my things. It was remarkable, all right? I've also learned putting sun cream on and not going surfing the sun cream eventually winds up in your eyes drop the exposure to that yeah I've learned <coughs> I've learned this putting sun cream on your face and not going in the ocean so not going surfing eventually if you put too much up the top it'll drip down into your eyes and by the end of the day my eyes my eyes will be all, um, it's kind of hard to explain, my eyes are all glassy, like I've got to keep closing my eyes and I feel like I'm tired. And I, it took me about two weeks to work out what it was and I was like, you're putting too much sun cream on, dude. So the key is not to put a whole bunch on, but just put a, enough, don't put too much above your eye because that'll just melt down into your eye. But I do need to put a little bit up there, but... That's pretty much it. I'm gonna close it like this. A 
because always more comes out when you close it. So I just do my lips again. And the, the nose again. Yeah, I think this block, uh, this block, this um, bottle of sun cream was meant for everybody, but to be honest, nope, I never hear anybody else talk about it. I'm the only one that puts it on, so I'll keep it in. I originally kept it in the bus, and then there was one day when I wasn't in this bus and I couldn't find it, and I realized I'd left it in S8 and it was, I was in S2 or something. So from then on, I kept it in my bag. And if anybody wants to use sun cream, you're definitely welcome to use it, but I need it. I, I don't know, I think I'm addicted to sun cream. Started off with surfing, right? I think I'm addicted to sun cream. I use it every day. Okay, so I'm gonna use... How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna use my... I'm gonna take this off here, put it up there temporarily. This is gonna be a bad angel for a moment. Just put it up there. Oh, it's not gonna work. Put you down there for a moment. I want this jacket to be in my bag so I can use it as like a little malleable tripod, like a movable, like I can position the tripod, almost like a cushion. Yeah. Like that, and then I can put this underneath my... Oh, is that gonna work? No, nah, that ain't gonna work, dude. That is not gonna work. No, nah, that's just not gonna work at all. Bad idea. Bad idea, take it out. That didn't work at all. In that case, I'll use my bag underneath it and the jacket on top of it. That's kind of better. That's better. Now I'm gonna check the chat. Actually, I'll check battery life and the chat. I'll do the battery life first. I do have backups for all these batteries if we need them, but we might not need them. But here we go with the check. Uh, the one I'm really looking at is so the modem's fine the one I'm really looking at is the um... oh 24% okay so the Teradek video go is on 24% when that goes flat that's gonna be okay because I do have um, it has its own power supply anyway so as soon as I've started using the, the power supply of the video go that's when I run up into the staff room and put this power bank on charge. That's the idea. We won't need to do that for a little while though. 24, I've found the last sort of percentages take a long time to, to deplete. So we're good for a little while. How can I show you? Put that back on. Oh, it's, I normally eat a muesli bar by now too. Check the chat. Let me check the chat. We'll go from there. Check El Chato. Why is my brightness so dim? So let's load up DLive machine. Haven't seen Jono come past yet. That's unusual. I wonder where, where did he go? Pertsky's in the house. Variant news in the house. M tag for sunscreen application. M tag for that. Hey, by the way, that's re really well overexposed, isn't it? We'll go. How will I do it? I'll go there. Is that going to be good? Get the bridge of your nose? I got the whole nose, dude. How you doing, Pertsky? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I apologize, um, as you can be aware, this stream, I can't really engage the chat too much. I'm working, but at least I can do the stream. Um, but yeah, I just can't, 
I just can't engage it as much as I normally would with the chat, given the nature of what I'm doing and my, my job, but I'm just gonna hoe down this. Is that gonna stay there? Yeah, I'll stay there. I've been living off muesli bars, so how, how, how about that exposure? Yeah, I've been living off these guys. Oh. I made the sickest carbonara last night. Wow. In the fresh choice, they had no basil, basil of any kind. No dry basil, no um, ba basil paste, no fresh basil, no living basil, no basil flakes, nothing. The only thing I could find was basil pesto. So I used it. And that might have been the key, dudes. It was so tasty. I got three leftovers of it. That's Jono. He doesn't know I'm doing a live stream. He doesn't know. He knows now. told me he does sun cream every day as well. I didn't know that. Good morning. After you, man. After you. See, that's an, in, that's an example of someone already finished skiing. Literally, <coughs> literally walking back to their car. It's 9.53 a.m. They've done their skiing already. That's how you, that's how you get a car spot. So you punk a good spot. Don't know it's good value. Gotta keep an eye on that battery though, 24 percentile. And uh, well, okay, I'll take, I'll say, I'll say I'll check the battery again at quarter past 10. It's now 9.53 p.m. a.m., my bad. At 10.15, I'll check that, and I might have to jump up into the staff room and whack it on charge, which is gonna be completely fine because we'll use the internal battery. Now we gotta go super slow over these bumps. Who's in? So I drive, no, I've got a little secret. I drive a little further forward so they gotta to walk towards me. That way it gives me a chance to open the door and then count them up. I'm up here for brains. Oh, I hit it over, so it's a good news. I'm gonna 
Hey folks, just a, a reminder or a heads up, this is car park four. When you want to get back later on in the afternoon, just tell your driver four and he'll get you there. Oh, or you can walk, it's up to you, but shuttle buses be running in uh, <laughs> circulation. Here we are folks, all right, have fun.
the juniors from Rethi. Okay, Bobby. Where are you at the moment? Uh, not far from the bottom, K2 with Kagan. Oh, cool. So you're back on your way up, are you? Slight change in plans. The now that uh, Jono's here, I'm going to uh, take a break. So we get to organize our breaks ourselves. But I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to go... So, because I'm streaming, I want to hang on my break with you. Normally I'd go into the staff room and just have a hot chocolate and lay back on the, on the couches and sleep. But because... Oh man, there's so much dust coming off this bus. I'm closing my window. Dude, that's like a massive dust cloud coming this way. Look at that. Did you see that? Uh, yeah, because that's that's gonna ha uh, because I'm streaming, I'm gonna go down to car park seven and take my break down there so I can hang out with you guys. Um, but I will run up and put that battery on charge. Actually, I'm gonna just get out of the way. I'm a little bit didn't really do that too well. I um, so legally I've got to take a half an hour break out of the vehicle. Well, not out of the vehicle, but with the ignition off. And normally we'd park up and do it up here, but because I'm going to do it with you guys, I'm not taking a break just yet. I'm going to go up, I'm going to put that battery on charge, I'm going to take a whiz, and then I'm going to... I can't... I'm not going to... I'm not even going to have a hot drink. I'm just going to hang out with you guys on the break. So, let me get that battery sorted first, and we'll go from there. Uh, Greg here, uh, at Robins Road. I'm going to need to do it like this. So, how much power do we have with it now? How, how did it, what did it get to? See, it's on seven. It's on seventeen percent. Seventeen, but I'll need to just take it. I'll need to unplug it and use it. So we'll take that. I need to do this. Need to do this. So I'm going to unplug this, and now you're going to be on power only. Power only for the Teradek video you go. I uh, video you live. The live the video you go from Teradek. I'm gonna go and put this on charge up in the staff room. And then I'm gonna take a slash and I'm gonna come back with you guys. We're gonna go down to car park seven. That's the plan. I will get out this way so that people don't think that I'm in service. Back shortly, you fellow Yahoos.
All right, that's that done. So I'm gonna drive down to car park seven and uh, we're gonna take a break and I'm gonna chill with you guys. I'm gonna get out of the van, out of the bus, take you guys out because we could, we got mobility and we'll go from there. So um, let's do that. Parking mode. Parking mode. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go off center line here. Come on, I've got a bit of a problem here. And then we can really check the chat. So if you got any questions, you know, start putting them in the chat now. Actually, for those that have been here, ha has there been anyone here the whole stream the the thus far? I would like to know... I would like to know how the stream's been. Aside from that little gap at the start when we came up the hill, uh, how's the quality and how's the... how's the connection and all that been? Um, yeah, we're going back down to... 
car park seven, which we did pass on the way up, but I think we were offline or we, the signal was 3G at that point, which was bizarre, but that's where we're going to, to, to park up for a break. And this is normally when like, see, I'm only gonna take a half an hour break, but we'll take a little bit longer than half an hour, like maybe 45 or something. But this is when you would normally go riding. Like, so today's an unusual day because Jono's doing the school run. So he's got to be back up at uh, 2.30, up at the drop zone to do a school run back down to, I think he was shot over or whatever, wherever he was. Whereas usually me and him would both be here at the same time for the whole day. And at that point, we can coordinate with each other our breaks and like, I'm a bit fussy with snowboarding. Like, I don't really want to go on lousy days. Like, I definitely don't want to go on a day like today. It's, um, the snow condition's rubbish. So I'm not into it, whereas Jono might be, and he would, he would happily go up. And so on a normal day, Jono, I'd give him the opportunity to have a longer break, like, and go up for an hour and a half or whatever, get a few runs in. As long as, whoa, hello. As long as our um, our job gets done, and as long as we can coordinate it between us, that's what we that's what we've been told. Like we we kind of run this this area is run how we we got to maintain it, right? It's up to us to maintain it. And I like that anonymity. I also struggle with that word anonymity. Just not 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 anonymous. What's the word where you're where you're autonomous? Autonomous in it. Autonomous vicinity. That's not a right word. You, you, you're you left to your own devices and you coordinate with your colleague and you get the job done. And um, I like that about this job. And you might too, if you do this job, you might like that as well. And if you're nuts for snowboarding and skiing and you wanna go every single day, you can definitely do that every, wow, well. The Baker goes nearly every day. Nearly every day you can go riding. Um, but like I said, I'm just not that, I'm not that into it like I used to be. I want good snow and powder. And I'm a little fussy, I'm a bit of a snob. So I haven't been for a little while. In fact, I went up with Avi on my day off to Remarks uh, last week and it was icy as, as all. And I did a, we did a run, myself and Avi did runs, one on, um, Every, every chairlift we hit uh, Sugar Bowl, Curvy and Shadow in that order. And every single one of them was just icy and lousy. And I just said, Avi, man, I know you're into it. I'm not into it, man. I'm gonna take the bus back downtown and go home. And he stayed in, like I left after three runs and he stayed all day until the last bus. Yeah, he's keen, I'm not. That's what I'm illustrating. Not that I'm not keen on snowboarding, I'm just not keen on snowboarding in those conditions. So we're gonna enter car park seven, I mean seven, where I got stuck on uh, night skiing, right about here actually. How mushy is it? That's uh, pretty solid now. Coming back, you know, clear remark. Coming in, clear air park up. There's nobody in car park seven except a motorhome. Oh, dude, I think I found a perfect spot to sit. That's a rock face with a little ledge in front of it. That's going to be perfect, dude, I think. I'll just have a look up here and see if there's a bow one. But I did, that's a pretty damn good rock ledge face. I'm going to get out with you guys. Yeah, I think the other one was the spot, the ledge. It's all snow and, and grit and shit there. Yeah, let's go back to that first spot.
that looking good? I don't know. Oh, I haven't got my, I haven't got my alpaca um, scarf. So I'm gonna kill the engine. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's go back at say, let's go back at say 11, log out there. Let's go back at 11, but let's make it say a quarter past 11. So glasses I'm gonna need. Uh, now I've gotta open the door though, you idiot. Okay, Alice good. So we're gonna get outside, stay warm here. How am I gonna do this? I'll just come around. Radio comes with. like an IRL stream now. We're on location. Coronet Peak style. So I've got to fix my tripod here dramatically. Lower the, uh, loosen it, lower it, position it, tighten it, have it, love it, get it. Because we're going to be moving into mobile territory. Like such, like that. Oh, I can sit on my jacket. That's a good idea. bag camera camera fell down so let me just put the uh, backpack on tethered streaming you know how much I love it all right now we're mobile can go for a bit of a wander. We won't be going far though. Let's get out of the bus and then I'll just adjust the exposure so that it's accurate. We'll go to exposure ISO 100 and then I can change it around how I need. I can give you a tour of the back of the bus or of the extremities of the bus. These are the rocks we're going to sit on here. So this is uh, this is S8. Actually, I've done all this on my street, on my stories anyway, but that's the bus I'm driving. So looking back up, this is car park seven, or seven, car park seven, and the action takes place up yonder. I don't know how well that's exposed for you. If I zoom in, will you be able to see? So that's the hill. That's the top of the peak, Coronet Peak there. And then Green Gates chair goes off up here. So the area of skiing is this area here. And the car parks that I'm running to and shuttling to and from are around here, down here. And if it's busy, we come down here. But this here, this face, I've actually boarded all the way down here. This is where I held my hand actually, early in the season. So this is usually covered in snow. So you get an indicator. You get an indicator of the snow coverage. It's looking pretty Grimsky's. So you can get to that. It's not a run, but you can get out of bounds and hike, traverse across and get onto this peak. It's not, even, it's not even that peak there. It's beyond that peak where you get, and then you can ride down. Oh no, sorry, sorry, it is that peak. My bad, I couldn't quite see the distance. But we are gonna park up over here with views of the Remarkables, the other ski field that uh, NZ Ski operates, and downtown Queenstown, which is in that gap there. So this is the mountain I drove up all this morning, which I don't know how much of that you saw. Um, and these are, the, these are the rocks that I saw here before. I was like, this is gonna be perfect to sit up on. So if I put, oh, that's gonna be the spot right there, isn't it? Look, I'll put my jacket down there and the camera, oh no, that's not gonna get the right angel. Um, tell me a jacket. 
Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna put the camera here. Camera here. Oh, that's not gonna stay, is it? I need to get a little wedge action. Little chop wedge. Is that a pro? Oh, hang on, where's my uh. Oh, that's level too. Dude, that's level. I've nailed that. We getting like that, it's going to fall like that. That's good. Is that level? I can't see. We're level. So let me get out. First of all, just out of curiosity, because we have exclusively the power from the video you go, and I want to just see. Another power bank, I'm good for that, but I just want how much we've used already to satisfy my curiosity. Um, so where are we? We are here and we have used... It's already down... A 77, wow, that sucks the juice. Okay, should I just plug it in there? Nah, not yet. Not yet. We might not need it. Yeah, but that's, that's inter interesting to note. Let me grab my... Dude, it's a beautiful day at the moment. So still. Isn't it lovely? What we need now is a big fat... I am on... I'm working! Dude, I can't be drinking beer. Oh wow, drop... Oh shit! Are we not live? The town. So you haven't. Dudes. This location is not working. So close to the. I'm so close to the, um... Maybe the bus is blocking. I'm gonna reset this modem. That's bizarre, dude. I don't get that. Like, I've...
Okay, so um, is everything okay now? Like, are we good now? I'm back in the bus. Like, I can't, I can't imagine that that's the issue. But we're we're within a, a meter of distance, and yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna just ring up, bring up my trousers, and see if that. Because I, I was sitting outside, within line of sight to the to the 4G tower. Now, there is something to be said about that. It could be a different 4G tower emanating. It could be a different tower. We're perfect. It's back. Dude, that is bizarre. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But maybe you're right. Maybe the bus was blocking the signal. That's so strange, though. It's perfect. That is so strange. Um, either way, from in here, can I show you what I was showing you? I don't know what you saw before, but there's a cute, beautiful view just out the window here. Uh, let me just change the exposure. So we've got the Remarkables. I've shown you that a hundred times on my streams. You've seen it, you know it, you love it. Uh, out of the way, bus pole. We've got in the distance down in there in that gap down there is queenstown my home where i'm living and lovely car park for a uh, car park seven my bad uh only a couple of cars just cruising around in here i think i don't know if you heard me but i told you all about the hill here and how there's no snow on it and i've ridden down from that that's car park seven you, you can you can ski you can ride down here but there's not much snow at the moment and yeah i don't understand because the 4g is back up there like we're, we're within line of sight to the 4g but we don't have it. That's baffling. Either way, we'll just chill here, hey? We'll chill here. I'm on break anyway, so. But I just get, um, just get frustrated. Like, the, the, like I say hundreds of times, I encounter so many different things with live streams and each one baffles me. Baffling. But we're good now. I'm gonna um, dust off the lens. There's so much dust up in the air right now. It's so bad. And I also gotta go outside and get my jacket and my glasses, which I left out there. So let me use my um, dry lint cloth to clean my lens here. Even though you probably can't tell, but I can see it. It's dusty out there. So anybody got any questions? Anybody got any questions? Anybody got any comments? Any Anybody sick of it? Anybody want me to stop the stream? Not a single drop frame since you were back in the bus. Dude, that is bizarre. I do not have an answer for that. Is it possible the bus is acting like an extender? Is that a, is that a possibility? So who have I missed in the chat? June Girl! Hey June Girl! Variant news. YouTube is a mess. They really need to fix things. My channel gets on YouTube. I don't know how anyone else is able to gain followers. I'm currently chopping out copyright segments on a video that started getting okay views. It's so frustrating. Probably better walking off YouTube, walking away from YouTube, but the platform is 5 billion devices. Greedy, lazy cunts. So the bus knows you when you're inside. I noticed you're leaving the engine running. We leave the engine running um, so that the uh, E-Rose doesn't stop. Viewer requests, some donuts in the bust. Um, so we do that when it's snowy and icy, but it's it's just not gonna happen right now. It's it's muddy and it's frozen mud. So it's like solid. Yeah, there's not gonna be donuts, dude. But we've done all that before. Uh, Lady Crochetta was here. Ah, and a few others. And apparently your YouTube is getting spammed by porn bots. Awesome, let me go and have a look at that. God bless YouTube. God bless YouTube. Um, my YouTube channel says it's live. 69mega.com, new AI dating, disrupt an industry. Here we go, hide user from channel. Can I just do that? Uh, hide user on this channel, done.
Uh, June Girl on YouTube says, your YouTube channel chat needs to be set to subs only to stop porn spam. No, YouTube need to fix it. Why should I change? Why should I make it sub only? YouTube should fix that shit, not me. Blop Jones is in that chat though. G'day Blop Jones, how you doing? Um, yeah, I'm going to go back over to DLive because that's uh, where I'm doing this stream ski. It stops porn bots. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Like, if you, ch if the biggest company in the world can't deal with bots, why should I care about it? Why should I care about it? Yeah, if you, if Google can't sort that shit out, do you think me as a nobody on their platform can sort it out? No. The next thing you'll say, the next thing they'll say is, oh, to stop bots, you've got to, you've got to have a stream that goes for less than 18 minutes and you have to have pre-roll ads and you have, and all this stuff, right? They'll make up some other thing and you're basically just playing along. Good Lord, give smack my head. Because it's your channel? Nah, dude. No. No, I'm not playing I'm not playing the YouTube game like that. I just put that user in timeout or I hide the user from channel. That works. YouTube is a fickle one. I'm gonna go and grab my jacket and glasses which I left outside. Just one second. Say, um, huh, didn't even know that was there. Got glasses, so I'll sort all that out in a moment. How are we? So, yeah, 61% man on that on the video you go, dude. That's that goes down quickly. Hey, wow, interesting. How many seats in the bus? Uh, so there is capacity for 18 seated, 19 including, including the passenger driver's seat, 20 including the engine bay where the camera is standing right now. Typically I load up 18 today. On another day uh, when I don't have the camera in the passenger seat, I'd load up 20 and I'd put a kid up the front and a kid on the, um, on the uh, engine bay. YouTube is the bane of my existence. I can't get enough. You can't get enough of YouTube? I mean, yeah, I, I don't, yeah. I don't use it so much. I use Odyssey. Any YouTube channel that I sub to, I watch their content on Odyssey and get paid in uh, library credits. Very, very little library credits these days. Um... So the idea behind this stream, just once more, just as a, as a reminder, the idea behind this stream was to sort of, or the idea behind this stream is to show you what a day, as a shuttle driver for NZ Ski, what a day, a typical day looks like. So that's the plan here, that's the, that's the game, the aim of this game. This video or the VOD of this live stream will stay on YouTube and I'll, um, I'll bookmark it and timestamp it so everybody can sort of see where things happen. But this is uh, this is what you might you might want to watch this if you're thinking about applying for a job here in New Zealand for NZ Ski, and you maybe you you're not sure about what's going to happen, how it's going to roll. I've been using Odyssey. I convert crypto to get library coin on Odyssey. Yeah, see, I don't. I just get I just get uh, LBC from uh, watching content. If you watch content on Odyssey, as opposed to watching content on YouTube, somebody pays you, so the platform gives you their own token. Okay, it's not worth much. Who knows what'll happen? There's got this this lawsuit and whatever, but who knows what'll happen in the future? Um, it, they used to give you a lot more. You used to get a lot more Odyssey uh, library coin on Odyssey. Now it's very, very little. It's a bit of a shame. There, there was a point there where it was actually quite good. Because I remember converting a bunch of my library coin uh, to Hex. 
and that was a couple of hundred hex. So, and that was when hex was like at about 12 cents, I think. I looked at buying library coin on Odyssey, but it doesn't function. Interesting. Breaking news, John Farnham diagnosed with cancer. Oh, really? Shit. Wow. How many, how long until the memes come, you know, the farewell tour, the final tour? Is it too soon to do that? Yeah. Um, I'm now, I'm now curious. What channel? He was a he was a teen pop idol. He was he was an uh, Australian icon, you know, like an Australian Bo boomer. Boomers loved him. He's been hospitalised and is in surgery. Oh wow! What kind of cancer then? That sounds like it might might be cancer in the brain or something. That's I mean, there's none of, none of it's good to joke about, but shit, dude. That sounds that sounds hectic. Hey, uh, let me ask you this. Was Aside from Rob Ozzy, who's not here now, was anybody else here from the beginning? Has anybody else been here from the whole stream? Um, I have. And I started it in, in town, and I th I f I'm, I'm really keen to watch this VOD back and see um, see where it disappeared, like where, where the stream cut and why that is. Uh, they just say he has a growth, no further info. Oh, okay. Interesting. He seems like Sinatra and those guys in the US. John Farnham is not like a, it's Frank Sinatra. I mean, Sinatra, different league. You joined late, Pertsky. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no worries. The idea was to do it. Well, the idea still is to do a 12 hour stream. I've got to keep an eye on that. Video you go. Battery down at 65. I mean, I do have another, I do have a power bank I can plug that into, but I'm kind of thinking I should just wait for the one in the staff room to fully charge and put that back on there. I only realized you were live when I opened up Twitch. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. So no notification on DLive. That's a shame. Um, this will be interesting to see. All th and someone has to check this. Oh, by the way, someone should clip these shizzles, right? Um, do I get any wheel love today? Any wheel love from the DLive machine? Doing a 12 hour or 11 and a half hour IRL stream. You'd think at some point during that 11 hours I'd get on the wheel. I'm, a, I'm family friendly. I'll have to check out John Farnham so I know what he sounded like. Uh, check out the album Whispering Jack. That's, that's, his, uh, a, that's his claim to fame, I guess. Whispering Jack. You're the voice, right? You'd know the song You're the Voice and Age of Reason. Age of Reason was on another. Age of Reason was on the album Age of Reason. So those are his two big songs. Two, I guess they're two um, uh, globally global success stories. Uh, You're the voice, and Age of Reason. Ah, some other crew here checking out the viewskies. While we're here, let me just check out my crypto portfolio and see how down it is. 38.335 plays 38.332. Okay, so Bitcoin is trading at 21.2. Hex is 4 cents. The big players in my portfolio is Bitcoin, Hex, and Pulse Dogecoin. Then Ethereum. That's the top four. Then Monero. Then TRX. Then Hedron. Then Maximus Cash, then Cardano, then Dogecoin, then Gaze TV. This is my portfolio, by the way. Then Theta Token, then Presearch, then Basic Attention Token, then Ontology, then Pulse33.com, then Kronos, then Algorand, then R Pirate Chain, then Shiba, then Quantum Resistant Ledger, then XRP, then One Flare Token, then Cos Contendos. 
then ONG Gas, Ontology Gas, then T Fuel, then Litecoin, then BitTorrent, then Audius, then Library Credits, then Zcash, then NEM, then Horizon, then Polygon, Matic, then Komodo, and then Vers Veruscoin. That's my portfolio in, in uh, descending value worth. I don't think I've ever seen you on the wheels since they geotagged it. The wheels been geotagged? Is that a fact? Touch of Paradise, true, Perdsky, another another song. So he was more pop hits. Yeah, yeah, he was more of an 80s pop guy, for sure. Rage on Crypto. Rage on Crypto. What time is it? Oh, 10.44, what time? Oh, we're going back up at 11, aren't we? What time did I say we're going back up? 11, right? Half an hour, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, we haven't even, yeah, we're good. I'm staking Solana in the Exodus wallet. It's becoming one of my main wallets. I didn't need, I didn't even know you could stake Solana in Exodus wallet. I've got Solana in my Exodus wallet. Yes, after all the drama, they localized the wheel. Wow. So how does that play out then? Like, is that why... So does that mean that no streamers from Australia get on the wheel? Is that what you're saying? No, no Australian streamers get on... But I'm in New Zealand, dude. Has... Well, actually, hold on. If... If... Um, if uh, uh, I'm going to say Perdsky. If... Grimsky has been on the wheel, then that's not true. That's not accurate. If you think the English speaking wheel is crap, you should see the German one. What is the wheel? So on the front page of DLive, there's a carousel. We call it the wheel. I don't even know who, who started that. Who was the first person to call it the wheel on my channel? Might've been Giggle Pickles. I think it was Giggle Pickles that called it the wheel. Yeah, but it's the car it's commonly known as the carousel. It's the featured channels, the loved ones. It's basically top duck on repeat. I think it's broken down by Turkish, German, English, then Spanish. I call it the carousel. Yeah, it's typically known as the carousel. Yeah. And I haven't I haven't been on there in like so long, like so so long right and there were times when and I'm, I'm just saying this just out of you know just curious out of curiosity I suppose there were times when I was on the wheel multiple times during a live stream so we do long format streams um, often these IRLs back in Australia would be eight ten hours and sometimes I'd be on the wheel and then I'd be taken off someone else would get on then later on in another hour I'd go back on the wheel and then back off then back on and this year, 2022, I've not been on the wheel once. Not, and but, but fair, fair point. I haven't really done anywhere near the amount of streaming because of mainly because of this trip to New Zealand. Um, so now you get streamers on the wheel according to your location. Apparently, variant. Apparently, that's what's going down. I got on there when I was streaming a game. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, there's the lo the the content is almost irrelevant, as witnessed by one channel uh gamer Faro is back he's live with three separate channels jesus is that on the is that on the wheel right now is he on the wheel is that what you're saying gamer Faro, that guy yeah he's, what is his channels gamer Faro one gamer Faro two gamer Faro three I thought he was gone again. It looks like he's back again now. Not on the he's not on the wheel. Okay. How do you how do you stream three channels simultaneously? He must have three computers, right? Or three three streaming rigs. That's the only way that could work, right? Three three separate OBSs. 
Why would you do that though? It's bad. It's hard enough to get an audience on one channel on DLive. What would you? What would you make three? Why would you do that? <clears throat> hey. Oh, Jono's behind me. Oh no, he's doing it. He's doing a um, a bus run, picking up the drivers. He is the most banned guy on D Live. They should send him a to the moon T-shirt. Also, that would take a good amount of bandwidth. Yeah, I mean, so he's obviously a smart dude, right? But then again, is that smart? Is it smart to make three separate channels, or in his case, a hundred separate channels that all do the same thing? Like, what? What's the point of it? Like, one channel gets banned for doing something stupid, and then you just fall fall back onto the next channel and do something stupid, and that gets banned. Is there any point to that? Like, I just... I don't see the point of it. You'd need a big upload pipe in your connection, yeah. Gotta give it to him, he doesn't give up easily. Yeah, what what does he get banned from? Like, what what are the reasons he gets banned? He has one person watching two streams, zero on the third. So that'd be him watching his own stream. He's on some type of spectrum. Aren't we all though? Aren't we all on a spectrum? I just I just don't think that that. Being on the spectrum doesn't allow you liberty to, like, obviously he knows what he's doing, right? So he's he's doing it intentionally, spectrum or not, just because you're on some spectrum doesn't give you the uh, upper hand to continually do something that's frowned upon and then get away with it. He had a psychological breakdown on stream then he went mental when they banned him. So then, so, but what, I don't get, I still don't get why the multiple accounts, like if, if the idea is to continue streaming, wouldn't it have been better to have just made a fresh channel incognito and then tried to come back as another streamer or as a different entity instead of just going Game of Faro 43? People need to relax and not get upset when they get banned. It's not worth it. I mean, I can understand it if you built up a substantial channel with a huge following and a regular streaming schedule, and then you get banned for something non, like something, something that's not worth being banned over. Right, Gibbs, but he doesn't get away with it. They keep banning him. Yeah, but isn't that because D Live have said? If you are a ban, and you said it before, terms of service. If if you have a banned channel, you're banned. Like you can't, you can't um, circumnavigate the banning by coming back with a different handle or a different channel. You're still banned. So why does he keep doing this? Like what's the, like, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like what's the point of it? He's trying to prove that they cannot ban him. <laughs> Is that it? Is that the the the, the game? The end game? Why would you bother? I mean, I'm trying to prove that I don't get on the wheel and succeeding. I feel d I feel drowsy now. I feel like I could have a little nap here. I mean, I normally do have a bit of a shut eye on a break, but we're not doing it now because I'm streaming. They nuked all three. So somebody is, so he got nuked just now. So somebody's watching, somebody's either watching our stream and then reported it or somebody's watching D live. I mean, more than likely, it's someone at, you know, someone. So, so he would get away with it if he if he used a different. Well, would that be the case though? Like, I'm just thinking, like, if the Joker came back on D live as something else, would he get away with that? Because his previous channel was the Joker. 
and he was always in a mask. You could argue it's a different persona. It's a different streaming persona. You, you could argue that, like... But it's the person behind the mask they're banning. It's not... Well, are... They? Man, this opens up an interesting conundrum. If you get banned, but your channel is not your is not you, right? So your your channel is a persona. Can't you come back as you and still stream? Because you're you're not that dude or dudette. He has two new ones already. He must have a script. Yeah, it's true. Who knows why people with mental problems do the things they do? The latest ones are 2,889 and 2,890. I mean, at that point, if he's if he's got a bot that's created him 2,890 channels, and there's the moment that, that one gets banned, it just bumps to the next one, he's probably quite tech-savvy. So this idea of him being mental... I don't, I think that's, that's a cop-out, right? Like, if he's mentally, if he's got a mental uh, incapacity, it's obviously not, it's obviously not something that's hampering him um, from streaming. He's qu quite tech-savvy to be able to do that. Or, or someone's created the script for him and just, he's just running it. It's still the same body and mind. Ooh. But then again, June Girl, and we don't have time to go too deep into this because I'm on a temp I'm on a timed break here, but technically So take for instance someone like um uh what's that streamer who no one he's just a he's just a um an emoticon? What's that guy's name? Um Is it lo love or lust or hate or Smile, smile. I think it's smile. I just think it's smile. I think there's a streamer called Smile, right? And he's just got the the smiley face. We don't know who that dude is. So, so if that guy and 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 Doctor Disrespect, for that matter, we don't know who he is outside of his mask. So technically, if someone bans Smile or Doctor Disrespect, they could come back and stream again as someone else and you wouldn't know who they are. They could come back and stream as themselves and you still wouldn't know that that was them. And they're both banned. Many nerds are on the spectrum. There's a lady who's very autistic, invented the human cattle shoots. That's a very interesting question that you brought up though because you can only ban someone you, that you know. You can ban me. You can ban Gibbs a minute and therefore Ben on. How's that battery looking? 56. Yeah, you can ban Gibbs a minute and you can ban me, Ben on. And therefore, I can't come back and stream unless I do it incognito with a, with a mask on. Isn't that interesting? A person can still have smarts in certain areas and be on the spectrum. Then what's the what's the point of bringing up the spectrum then? Like why why do we why do we find we have to say they're on the spectrum? Why do we have to say that if if they're if they're like you could say Gamer Faro is a tech savvy individual who wants to prove a point, but instead we always hear, oh, he's on the spectrum. He's got a he's got a disability. So what what what's the point of saying that if this guy is effectively beating the system? Shouldn't we be focusing on the good thing that he's doing? He's making a point. He's got a bot that can recreate an account the second the previous one gets banned. Oh, he's on the spectrum. I don't think we should. It's like saying, it's like saying you go to the 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 um. What's the, not disability Olympics, what's the, the Paralympics. You go to the Paralympics and you say, uh, that javelin player's rat, isn't he? He's in a wheelchair. Like, you don't have to say he's in a wheelchair. He's just a javelin thrower, right? And he's a good one, or she. 
Uh, it's because they have the aptitude for tech, but they can't. They cannot manage human interactions. Do we know that though? Like, do we know that as as like he's just a streamer, right? And 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 to be completely frank, that could all be shtick. That could all be part of his game. But I mean, you, for for someone to say this dude's some mental disability and he, therefore he can't deal with humans but he can deal with the tech it's a pretty big statement considering none of us really know the person all we know is what we've been given as their streaming persona and by the way i've never really seen i remember him coming into my chats a few times or one of one of uh, the early incarnations i remember i think game of Feroz 60 or something about 65 66 um i remember him coming into my chats and i didn't think didn't think much of it. I heard of the name, but uh, we know that of him. He had a complete. He had an ego explosion. Ego explosion. I brought up the spectrum to ex try to explain his behaviour. Interesting. Interesting. And then to to validate the behaviour, or just to explain it. Be kind of like that using that Paralympics analogy to be kind of like saying that dude won the 100 meters freestyle swimming event, but the time was so shit, right? The time was lousy, like it was like six minutes, but they don't have any arms. That's the way, like, you're using, you're, you're, you're explaining the disability to validate the, the lousy time. In this case, you're using, you're mentioning the disability to explain the lousy behavior. To try to bring some understanding. Yeah, okay, so so in that regard, that's answering the question, why would he do this? So you're, so when I asked why would someone do that, your answer ultimately is because he has a mental disability. Okay, fair enough. Well, it seems, it seems like we know that, or you guys know that. I don't know much about the dude. Um, I mean, I'm a little intrigued as to how he's doing it, if I'm being honest. Not that I want to do it, but I mean, I told you a little while ago, I was running a few Apple scripts to uh, hit crypto faucet sites and automatically gain faucets. So I'm interested in, in the scripting the scripting language and, and how it's done. I just don't think I'd... I can't imagine I'd have any need to do that. Imagine having a script run. Oh, you know what? That no, there is a, re, a re, there is a need for that. It'd be how you would run something like Top Duck, right? You'd have to have scripting behind all the back end of Top Duck to have multiple cameras triggered by this and that and different selections and when they come on and when they turn off and all that other stuff. Intriguing, very intriguing. You know, what else is intriguing, folks. I got to get back to work. I got to get back to work. It's 11 o'clock. June Girl says, right. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm glad we understand each other. I'm going to leave the chat on just for a moment while I set up, but I'm going to restructure my uh, my sit-up here, and then we're going to get back into work. Huh? Shuttle drivers. That's Jono, but I, I can do it. But I'll just get this organized. How's the battery there? Oh shit, 29%. I gotta plug this into a charge. I'll plug it in. I'll use. I've got another one here. I'll use this guy. We're still charging. We're charging. Okay, we're charging now.
Yeah, we're charging, I think. It's on 27%, we'll see how that goes up or down. Oh, it's not charging. What's going on with that? Should be. Wow, I checked this. Is that not charging? Oh, it says it's, it says it's plugged in. But it's on 26%. How come that's not going up? What's going on? I'm just going to assume that's going to charge. We'll check it out in a little while. Check it out in a little while. Let's put this camera back over here. So let's get this structured correctly. How are we going to do this? Uh, I'm going to close this up. I'm going to put it on an angel like such. I think. That's the angel. And then I'm going to put it up here. Like that. I think that's it. I think that's going to be an appropriate angel. That works. Take it easy, Ben. On, I gotta sleep. No sleep till Brooklyn. No sleep till Pertsky. Sweet dreams, Pertsky. Right, I'm gonna turn that off. Yeah, have a good sleep, man. Thanks for swinging by, dude. Uh, maybe I'll still be here when you wake up. I probably will be, depending on how long you sleep, you little princess. Um, Teasers. Oh, logbook. Logbook first. Logbookosaurus. Oh, I can't get access to my card. Okay, I'll do the lines later on. I'll do the lines on the logbook later. Oh no, I'll use my um. Uh, I'll do the lines later on. 10, 10 20, wasn't it? I'll go 10 30, because it's now 11. 10 30, coronet. Peak, 11. Coronet peak. And while I'm down here, I'm gonna just call out to, um, Copy any of the drivers in car park seven. Uh, this is Benon in a shuttle. I'm already down here. Anyone want to ride back up? I'm all good, thanks. Copy that. I think that's uh, Astro. Either way, folks, we're good to roll. Back up into it. Are you gonna stay there? I hope you are. Don't you go anywhere. Ah! I gotta work. Oh, keep an eye on that other battery as well. Is that gonna fall? No, that's, that's all good. Actually, you know what I could do? do this better. 
by turning this around a little bit. Like that. That's better. That gives me a little bit more leverage. Leverage, Jerry, leverage. You like it? You see how you wobble? We'll see, we'll see. So, now I might just go through a lower car park and see who's around. You know, I don't have to go back up to the drop zone yet. Just do this car park mission. I was gonna check that battery again to see, make sure that it is charging. Uh, right, I'm going okay. in yeah. car park five. Oh, yeah, copy. Okay, um, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, I'm just going down now, but I'll be back in a few minutes. Into car park five. Just checking out if we have people here. That's the remarks talking about shuttle. They only need one shuttle running. That's not here. Thank you, first, in the first few weeks of this job, I was like, huh, Rema a shuttle? And I'd talk about it, and they're like, no, no, that's the remarks. So both mountains use the same radio, obviously. So there was no one to pick up in five. We're going down to four now. I'll just go to the back of, oh no, I'm going to turn around here. The turning circle on this thing is rubbish. But yet, unlike steve Ann, the beeping noise happens outside of the vehicle, not on the inside. That's the strange thing about Steve Ann, hey. It goes beep, 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 as you reverse, but it's only heard inside the vehicle. It's not on the outside. Steve Ann, you little strange machine, you. So just a heads up folks, that's car park four. Yeah. Later on when you want to get back. Cool. You can walk or you can go to get a bus if we're around. Okay. 
you copy that to Baker, so what, I'll, I'll park up for a, half an hour and then you can do another half hour after me. Thank you. Now, I've got to go and check, oh, you know what, I'll get out of the drop zone, and then I'm going to check um, the battery that's charging there, and I might even run up and check the battery that's charging on the uh, in the staff room, because it doesn't take long to get a full charge, it's pretty, pretty sweet actually. Also, in that whole break I just had, I didn't drink any water. I'm parched as bro. Oh, Jono's gonna park right there. I'm gonna stop you, little beauty. You, you. Yeah, he took my spot. That's all right. I figured out. Keep the window shut and no dust will come in. Ah, I'm up there with the brains, folks. But then uh, it gets it gets too hot in here. Then turn the heat off. But I like the heat on my own feet. Now, all right. Can you get a 
People are leaving Kapak 4? What? That's unusual. I see three cars leaving Kapak 4 right now. That's very unusual. Oh, bang. As an entire family, would love a shuttle drive up the hill. I will recommend they jump in here. Come on in, folks. Right. I'll drive you up. You weren't expecting this. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, sorry. Thank you. Where, where do you drop? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Not a problem, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was a the weather's fantastic. Weather. Yeah. Not too cold? No, no, no. no. Oh, of course. Perfect. Good morning. Good morning. Are you doing some photography? This is a live stream. We're live right now. Oh, oh wow. You want to say hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. There you go. Yeah. So just a heads up to this was car park four. Yes. So when you want to get back there, you cannot. You can walk as you were, but if there's a bus, you might as well jump on it. Okay, right. we we'll yeah. just turn on car park four. It's yeah. fine. Live stream. Live stream. National tourists from Singapore. Hey, nice. <laughs> How long have you been here in uh, New Zealand? Uh, since uh, when? About a couple of weeks. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very so nice. this is the first season you're open to international tourists, right? Uh, last year, that's right. Yeah, last year was closed because yeah. of COVID. Yeah. But then um, when, so it was open for, for regular locals. Yep. But then they closed because of COVID and there was a big dump of snow. Oh. And they still couldn't, the people that couldn't come up onto the mountain to work to clear the roads and make oh, it all usable. So they couldn't open so it. So they couldn't open. Oh, dear. And by the time they opened, it was all finished, washed over and gone. So very sad. Yeah. So this year, everybody's excited about how oh, good it's dear. been. Has it been a good dump? It has been good. Oh. And right now, it's not so great. But apparently tonight, yeah. tonight, tomorrow morning, there's going to be snow coming. Wow. So, Back here tomorrow, then. No, we're not. We're flying off. <laughs> Are you flying out tomorrow? Yeah, yeah flying, flying, back, flying back to Wellington. Oh, okay. Oh, so nice. So nice to be able to see the country. It's yeah. beautiful, isn't it? it is. See the world. Yeah. How is this compared to uh, what's the other one? Remarkables. So, Remarkables is higher and typically it has more snow coverage ah. and more areas to ride, like more uh, skiable terrain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're both quite similar at the moment in terms of the snow coverage. I see. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so All much. Right, you guys. Have a great day. Thank you. You Bye. have a good time. Yep. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're most kind. Cheers, buddy. Enjoy Bye. your time. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you. See ya. She's got a stick there. Yeah, she's got a pocket too. Nice. Yeah, See you guys. This is when this job comes cool, right? These people, like people like that, like lovely people, friendly, enjoying themselves, having a good time. This is when it's satisfying, more, most satisfying. Now I better just check that battery. I'm gonna stop on. Uh, I'll, oh, no, I'll, go, I'll go out of the loop in a sense. I gotta get a swig of water as well. I'm parched as bro. Let me just pull up down here and I'm gonna do two things. 
first thing is to check that battery. Hazards on, park brake on. Move that out of the way. I'm gonna just lean over here and check how how does it go? How from does your battery go? Where is it there? Uh, oh, low battery. Plug in power, I'm already plugged in power. It's giving me a warning, a low battery warning. I've already got power plugged in though, that doesn't make any sense, but. The stream might go down for a moment. No, but it says it's, it's gone 2%. Try something. Hopefully, that's charging. It is charging. Okay, what? Why was that not charging before? That's particularly interesting. Uh, Craig, uh, clear at the top with nine. Top of that, Craig, nine, zero nine. It's charging now. Okay, we're good. Clear and park up. I don't understand why it wasn't charging before, Thank you. but either way, either way, it's charging. I was going to get a drink of water, wasn't I? Let me just get a swig of water here, folks. It's very concerning that people are leaving the mountain right now. That's um. That means, that potentially means, it's going to be a very quiet afternoon. Very quiet. So that's remarks again. Oh man. I've got so much dust back there. Super dusty out there. All right, let me uh, put you uh, who's back over here. Put this like that. That sits there nicely. Now let's verify that we are charging. Yep, it's going up to 3%. Okay. That's good, that's handy. Is that going to stay handy though? Yeah, that'll do. All right, cool. Let's get back out there in the circulation run route. That means I haven't got to go to the staff room to get the other battery because that is charging. I don't know why. Hello, I'm looking past you. It's on 3% and it's going up. Yeah, so I don't understand why it wasn't doing that before. It has a, um, it, it's a USB-C and USB-A and I had the USB-C I had the converter. It's I'm using Type C right now instead of the USB A. Is what I'm saying. And I think maybe the converter wasn't connecting because it is going up. It's at four percent now. Yeah, everything good. All right, let's do a circuit back around. Let's have a look at four and see what's going on down there. If the crew, people are leaving, man. That's. I mean, it's half eleven, but leaving the mountain. And there were four cars leaving. Kind of strange that's that's early early to be leaving the hill definitely early and having said that there's someone parking up so not all leaving This is the first day that the dust has really affected me like this, like it was similar yesterday but it was light drizzle so there was a little bit more um, dampening if you like on the dust but today it's there's no rain, there's no drizzle, there's, there's no ice melting or anything, it's just dusty man and it's really got into my throat eh? And I don't like it one bit! 
Yeah, see, we haven't even filled up. That's three, that's three quarters of four. Excuse me. That's not very nice to do while you're working, but man, that, that's just the, the dust that's come. It's everywhere, man. Yeah, the cup up four is not even three quarters filled. But there's people in five. These guys are waiting, but I'm gonna go through to five. That's not people. What? Dude. All right, that's my bad. I thought these were people down here. What is going on with that? Mortgage me. Okay, I could have picked those people up. That's 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 on me, but they're, but they're walking anyway. They're not skiing. They didn't have any gear. But I thought there were people amongst this, this you can't see. King's High School with a mortgage me trailer on it. What's going on down there? All right, well, we'll go through six and back around. Back to four, we'll go back to, we'll go, actually, I could do a circuit, I could do a full, uh, I know what I'll do, I'll go out of six and back in five, and we'll go straight back to four and see if those dudes are still there. They were, they were not skiers, they were just walkers. But, I feel bad because I didn't stop and pick anybody up. I thought I was gonna pick those good, those dudes up. Oh, dusty! I'm closing my window. There's too much dust right here. Fully. Clouds of dust. It's in my eyes now. Ooh, I don't like it. Yeah, I'll go up like this and I'll go straight back into car park five. And we'll go directly to three to four. back here isn't it a little rocky on the road oh we're getting near five hour mark aren't we we should keep an eye on the GH5 battery as well five hours is the limit on that and then we shit we might not make the whole stream we'll see we'll see I do have a backup obviously but we don't usually yeah, we normally, that's right, we normally have power in Stevan. So this is the this is an IRL stream all powered from a power bank or a variety of power banks. But normally the stream starts with the dual battery set up in Stevan, and that's how we get like, you know, four or five hours done and then we start IRLing. That's how we get easily we get 10 hour streams done. This time it's different, yeah, okay. Oh, those guys are gone. All right, my bad. Let's see if I can do a full circle turn here with this. I doubt it. I doubt it. Yank it. Oh, it's gonna make it. It's gonna make it. Oh, it's gonna make it. No, it's not. It's gonna hit that, that traffic cone. Bugger. Here we are. 
are a car park of foreskins. We'll just wait here because the crew will be here. Yeah, I might just do a little check ski here. Check on the uh, charge. Yeah, see 9%, we're still increasing fuel fuel. So we're good. Um, let me check the chisel chat while we're here, you lovely little chat. Yeah, how you doing? Have you guys enjoyed this stream? Have you enjoyed IRL streams like this? Working style streams, are you enjoying this chisel? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed the content, if you want to know more, if you want to learn about NZ Ski, you want to learn about the job, let me know. Where's my arm? Um, my telephonic device. I'll just check the chisel chat while we're, here. Well, we're just chilling here. Um, let me just open up the chat machine skis. From whence is it? Sidetracked here for a second. Um, D Live. So it's still stuck on Sweet Dreams Purdy. Purdy, I like that. Purdy. Ooh. Reload, my channel. It's June Girl, had the split. Take care, Gibbs, and everyone. Have a wonderful day, night. Thank you, June Girl. Tactical soap friend, drift the bus. No. Hendrik, hello, hello from Curry Color, Curry Color Key. Curricular key! Ah! Hendrix is back on land! Is your cruise done, Hendrik? Good to see you, H-Man. We've missed you, dude. We've needed you. I've needed to know whether... Is this level? Is this level? It hasn't been level for quite a while. Varian, I have to say I'm enjoying the stream. I love the mountains. I used to live in Colorado. Well, smackety dack. I appreciate that, Varian News. Oh, we got some customers on the back. i got to go and do some work. They're just loading their skis on. No worries. Oh, he could just bring him to the bus. He's struggling to get him on. Hey, buddy. It's just him, so I suggested he bring his skis on board the bus. Yeah, it makes it easier if it's just you, dude. Are you good on you? Yeah. Yes, there you go. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, it's the is looking for you. Just do me a solid and, and hold the skis, because if they slide and hit the glass, they will crack the windows. Yeah, no cool, thanks, man. I haven't been up myself. I haven't, no. no. I've been a little fussy. Yeah, fair enough. Because of that rain came. Yeah, true. It washed everything away. Yeah. It's pretty sad. It was terrific before that. Yeah, it was terrific up until that point. But there is snow forecasted tonight. Yeah, that's cool, eh? Hopefully that happens. Yep. Um, Just a heads up too, I picked you up in car park four. When you want to get back there later on, car park four. Uh, car park four is getting a little bit busy again. Yeah, copy, I'll start rolling at 11.45. Red eye up.
Yeah, you can see that there, can't you? Yeah. It's got a sheen on it all the way across. Yeah. I'd be sticking on piste if I was you today. Yeah, I'd just take the cruises, right? Yeah. Just to get fresh air, good. This is true. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Will do. You'll do better on the hill. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Thanks, man. couldn't say while I was next to me, but he was really struggling to get down the steps and get out. I was like, yeah, you'll do better on the hill, don't worry. The skiing will be fine. Getting in and out of a bus with ski boots on and, and skis and poles and yeah, you're gonna have a shocker. Everybody's gonna have a shocker. Well, not everybody, but. You know what I haven't done yet, folks, and no one's reminded me? I haven't activated my free one hour of data on uh, two degrees. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. When am I going to do it? Pretty much just in a second. Free one hour of data? Hey. I pay. I was going to say, I pay for it. No, you don't. That's free. You get one hour free out of uh, every day. Might as well use it. So let's just park it here momentarily. <laughs> As it lights on skis, let's open up the uh, what's it called again? There's an app called um, Data Clock. Data Clock is opening. Free data hour. Start the hour. Start the clock. Uh, hold on, we're doing clever things. A pack has started successfully. So now we got a free hour of data on uh, two degrees. Can feel the dust in my throat. Can feel the dust in my throat every time I croak. Might as well check the chat while we're here, hey? Shadow Rose! Drift the bus. We do that, we do that when it's snowy. It's not snowy, it's dusty and dank. Good to see you, Shala. Good to see you. How's your cruise? How was the cruise? I will not be drifting the bus. I will not. How's the battery there? It says 12 percentile. Thank you so much. Lucky I checked when I did. She, it was down to two skis. Don't need those on. Drift the bus. Bad enough, I'm spitting out the window. I need a big bottle of water that I can just keep sipping, push the... I need to swallow the dust, basically, because that's... That's all I'm... It, you know, it's better to spit it out, right? It's better to get it out of your throat than to swallow it. Although, is it? Because, like, little dust... Dust particles inside you is probably not a bad thing. It's a little, little fiber, right? Keeps you... Keeps me regular. Super dusty there.
is so different to the busy time. When we were busy, wow, we were busy. This is so chill now. That's me going over that bump so slow and I still get a little airborne activity. It's a big, it's a big jutter bar. That's Kiwi for speed bump. Jutter bar. It's a big one. Massive one. Huh? Hey? Hey? What's going on? What are you looking at? Departing, that guy's leaving. Hello. You it up? Yeah, yeah, Br bring your board on. Yeah. yeah. I just got someone coming. Yeah, no worries, just two of you, that's cool. Thank you. No probs. It's looking alright, not too busy today. Very quiet, yeah. I love it. You guys are gonna have most of the mountain to yourself. Worried with the warm weather. Yeah. Today's a bit bit on the colder side, but yeah. yesterday has been pretty warm. Yeah. Hey bud, yeah, bring your skis on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All good. It's just you two. Isn't this great? Private service. But do me a favor and make sure that the skis and boards don't touch the glass windows because yeah. they do have a potential to break. Okay. That would suck. Yeah, totally. <laughs> And just a heads up too, this is cut bug four, so when you want to come back later on, you can either walk or you can tell the driver four. Okay. Sweet, thanks. Yeah, yesterday was a, a warm day, but today it's dropped back to the cold, but there's still no fresh snow, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at the report, they said maybe tomorrow or the next day. I, I mean, we've all been hearing tonight and tomorrow morning. Yeah, okay. But uh, they often get that wrong. Yeah. They get it wrong to our advantage and to the disadvantage as well. So <laughs> okay. Hopefully it swings our favor. It doesn't look too bad though. It looks like you can still skate. Yeah, yeah, you can still get some good lines on piste for sure. Yeah, okay. And it's groomed as well, so you're, it's good, but yeah. just don't go off the run, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't plan to. Not today. I'm a bit of a beginner. It's been eight years since I've skied last. Oh, really? Yeah. Eight years, dude. Yeah, so, right. And today's the first day back? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My advice, go super gentle, yeah, go right. easy. Yeah. I want to take you guys back to your car this afternoon, <laughs> not a stretcher on an ambulance. You see like a lonely little crawl in it. <laughs> where, did, where was the last you skied at? What place? Uh, Japan. Oh yeah? yeah? I don't remember, Hokkaido? No, that's the island, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's the one that's in Tokyo in three hours. Okay. Yeah. They had the winter in the so I don't remember.
All right, here we are, folks. Thank you. Have a good time. Take it easy. <laughs> Quick question. Yes. Do you reckon uh, Corolla would make it up to the remarkable car park in these conditions? Uh, or should yeah. They book the shuttle? You make it up to one of the car parks and yeah. you can get a shuttle from there up. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, do you want to go back down? Can I get a ride to three? Yeah, to three, yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, truck and trailer, do you want to make your way up? I've got to wait for someone here to walk your past you somewhere. Oh, that's the last two. Yeah, that's the last two. Yeah, that's the last two. Yeah, that's the last two. Do you have a look around up there or? Yeah, my yeah. older daughter is in ski school, so um, we were up at the weekend. Oh, uh, cool. And we thought, oh, she's new to here. She won't know we were skiing during the week with some friends and some young kids. Oh, yeah. And so we brought her up the weekend, just the four of us. She was horrified. Really? That she had to hang out with mom and dad. Ah. Uh. So we were flying out now. So we managed to book her in for ski school this morning. So we've just sat and had a coffee, and she's done ski school for the morning, and so she's happy now. <laughs> Three-year-old and knows what she wants. Three years old and she's devastated. She's got to hang out with the mother. Yeah, she's like, put me in ski school right this minute, mum. Right now, she's like, wow. her face pressed up against the mesh on Sunday. Like, how ah, can you do this to me, mum? Why would you put me in there? Wow. Whereas, like, there's like several kids on the other side doing the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Why? When you said your eldest daughter, I pictured like, you know, 11, 12, 13 kind of thing, no, off no. doing her own thing. No, no, three years old and this is her first taste of skiing and she loves it. Wow, that's cool to hear. Yeah, yeah. S uh, skiing or boarding? Skiing. Yeah, cool. Her daddy is very proud. Yeah. I'm very much a beginner skier. Um, and Fine, I know we we're then starting to get into it and then it was interrupted by two young children. But Fair enough. I will get back into it. So she can out ski you then? Pretty much, pretty much. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on next season. Yeah, there's work for you to be done. Yeah. I just need to persuade someone. There was all these grannies sitting in next to us with all the little babies and mums out skiing. I was like, I need this set up. <laughs> I just need to adopt a granny that would do it. Our, <laughs> our grandmothers are very busy. Who are they? Who are they? You're flying out today or something, are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm coming down to get the car. Yeah. And my husband's gonna go and grab her, and I'll grab her at the door, and we'll be heading straight for the airport. Wow. What what time's your flight? Two. It, we got this. We got this. Shit, it's an international flight. Nah. Just, just domestic. The, yeah. yeah just then, the then you're good. Yeah. Good. Just so, as soon as you throw in luggage for um, the two small people. It yeah. A bit messy. Where's your car? I'll oh, try we're to. Up the far end. At the very end. Yeah. Oh, there we are, there. Yeah, just up here? Yeah, perfect. Which one? Oh, the easy? Oh, I've already passed it. Oh, I have it? Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Nice chatting with you. See you later. When she said she had to be at the airport, I was like, dude, you're really cutting that fine for it. I was just, I just, because of her accent, I just pictured it to be an international flight. Hey, Corey. He's hitching down the hill. Corey, I want to take you up the hill. Corey is a man who, two things. He reminds me a lot of a person I know, Gary. G'day Gary, if you're watching, Gary and Matey. Um, and the second thing is, he uh, runs a thrift store called Happiness. And at the beginning of the season, I needed a pair of boots. And he had a pair of boots in his store that were just a bit too small for me. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't know, I can't, they're too small, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, just take them, just have them. And he just, he gave them to me. He said, look, these have been here for too long, no one's, no one's buying them. You just, you just take them for free 
And if, if you don't, if they don't fit you properly or whatever, just on give them to someone else. How cool is that? So I couldn't decline them. I, I used them once or twice and they were too small. So then I put them in the staff room with a note up saying, uh, free. Um, there was a couple of issues with them. They weren't like, they weren't factory. Oh, where am I going? They weren't factory conditioned. Um, but they were still good. And they went within maybe two weeks, someone took them. Free, free pair of snow boots, snowboard boots. Yeah, and that was from Corey. What a lovely chap. What a lovely man. I don't know if you'll ever see this, Corey, but thank you for those snowboard boots that time, you lovely man. How about that for a story? And there he is just hitching. He volunteers up here. Helps out uh, emptying the buses up at the drop zone and whatnot, and then I guess he's just hitching back down. Let me, uh, a little battery check here, folks. Can't see anything. The sunlight. Yeah, 17% on the... Okay, so it's increasing, obviously. Um, let's bring your, bring your gear on the bus, folks. Bring it on. Yeah, bring it on the bus. That's good timing. Yeah. You're going to walk down. Yeah. How you doing, man? Just come on. Yeah, bring, bring your gear on. Thanks, mate. No probs. Oh, that's good fish. Good. Nice and hard. So where can I take you? Uh, four, please. Go back four, okay. Do me a solid. Uh, make sure your boards and skis don't hit the windows because they can crack. They will crack, actually. It's happened before. It has, yeah. Not for me, but I've been told if you let people on with their gear, let them know that because it's very easy for them to slip and then crack the window. It was just that big flat one down there, right? That's right, yeah. yeah that's right. So what was it like up there? It was... It was alright. It was alright. It's slushy now. It's getting quite a lot of ice in patches. Yeah. All the snow scraped off and the yeah. ice is remaining? Yeah, okay. I mean... It's, it's okay, you get, you get a bit, bit going and then you're running off ski school or something. <laughs> yeah, bloody ski school. <laughs> it's just, there's not enough to go off, you know, off the real pieces. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd stay on, on piece today for sure. Yeah. But we got some good runs in on it all the time. Oh yeah. Worth the ten bucks, huh? <laughs> you want ten bucks? I'll give you ten bucks. <laughs> You're half muesli bar. <laughs> That's got to be a big muesli bar for ten bucks worth. <laughs> nah, it's all good. I think these shuttles are a good idea. Um, they do help people, especially oh, like are. the down, like this, like right. after a day of riding. Walking up, you can do it, but coming down, you shouldn't have to do it. It's probably a good warm-up, hey, walking up. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Thank you. All right, folks, this is Paul. Thanks very much. Thank you, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. A couple of Sherbets in town now. That sounds perfect. <laughs> I'll meet you there. <laughs> hey, guys, hey, jump on. How you doing? Yeah, I know. I was watching it get past.
Look at this guy with his little chair out. <laughs> That's how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little croissant going on as well. Here we are, folks. Right. Cheers. <coughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're at five hour mark. This is usually around about the time when uh, the battery for the GH5, the power bank, dies. So what'll happen is when that does happen, it'll all just go black. Um, you won't even, it won't even say, um, dang, who took all my 4G? It'll just be a black screen. But I'll see it, and I'll put the other one on, so we'll be good, but just to, just, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna let it happen. I'm gonna let it happen. I'm gonna let it happen. When it happens, it happens. And then also, because of the way, and this is now talking work, talking shop, but as it stands, because Jono's gotta go back down for a school run at 2.30, we have to, I've, I've got to take my second break. So you can't drive, you can't drive for more than five and a half hours. Now, if I don't take another break now or soonish, it's 12 o'clock, if I don't take another break soon, what that'll mean is Jono won't get his second break before he's got to go down at two, two o'clock. He's got to load at two and drive at 2.30. So he won't get his chance for his second break. And then, and then if that happens, he won't be able to drive, he won't be able to last, he won't make it through to the end without having to log another break. So we have two breaks, it, it kind of sucks, like two half an hour, 45 minute breaks or whatever, close to each other. It's not ideal, and it's only on these school run days. When it's, a, when it's not a school run day, I'll start at seven and I'll take my break at 12.30 and till 1.30 and then I'll just come back and, go, and work from 1.30 through to 6, no problems, right? But on a on a school day like today, or a school run day... By the way, how cool is that? These schools get skiing as part of their curriculum? That's rad. Yeah, but it makes it just a little bit di more difficult for us. So I'm gonna probably park up pretty soon and take my second break. Um, again, I'll take it with you guys. I'll, I'll go up and take a whiz and come back. We won't... We'll go... We'll go down to seven, but we won't get out of seven. I don't know. I kind of want to sit somewhere out of the... Maybe we'll go to four. We'll park up in four and I'll show you some... Yeah, we'll get out of, we'll get out of four. There's not hardly anybody here. This is four. We'll, we'll get out of here and have lunch. But um, I'll just get a visual with Jono about it as well. Make sure he's, he's down with it. He should be. He's, he's good, but... I'm scared that if I go out of the van, that the battery's going to go flat on the GH5, and I'll, I'll be out for a while. I'll, I'll tell you if that happens. So I should think it's it's yeah five past twelve now.
Each time I come past here, I get a little more jealous of you. If I come past one more time and you've got a beer there, I'm coming and joining you. Thank you, wife. It's a good idea. a good idea. Very good idea. Yeah. It looks cozy, huh? Yeah. What's this person doing? It is, it is quite one, yeah. Did you get a few rat laps in? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've had actually good morning. I'll go up again and have a few more before I keep her out. Yeah. No, good one. It's a bit really cut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard going for a fellow like me. Gotta have your sustenance. <laughs> Enjoy. See you, buddy. It's funny, where that guy is, is almost the same spot as some dudes a couple of days ago that had a table and chairs and they had cards and beers. That's cozy here. Yeah. Almost the same car spot, maybe a couple across. I see Jono at the drop zone, I'm gonna have a chat with him. I won't go all the way up though, I'll cut in. I'll just jump out and catch Jono's attention.
Yeah, I'm gonna go up and uh, just get this battery sorted. Take a slash, get this battery off charge. Get out of the way here for giant. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna take another break here, but I'm gonna see what may happen. I'm gonna get out of the bus here. I'm gonna go up, take a, take a slash. I'm going to get that battery back off charge if it's fully charged. I'm going to, that's it. But, but, but what might happen while I'm gone, the GH5 battery may go flat. And if that's the case, if that's the case, um, I'll put the other one on when, when I get back. But if it goes black, that's the reason. It's the GH5 battery. So I'm gonna go and do this now, and I'll be right back.
Oh, GH5 is still running. Sweet. That was cool. So the other good news is, um, well, that charged to 100%. So that power bank is going to be, I'm going to put that back in. That'll get us through the whole day. Uh, now let's go down to car park four and I'm going to take a break. Car park four, I'm going to park up. Hopefully we don't lose signal. Jono, man. Jono and, I, Jono and I have this little gag, little gag that we play against each other. Whenever we sort of see each other driving, we'll like pretend we're asleep. So like, even drive, even driving, you'll be like, <laughs> and he just came past to pick up people, and he had his head on, he had his head on his shoulder. That signi signifies he's uh, asleep, asleep at the wheel. Of course, uh, it's all in jest. He's not really asleep at the wheel. So we're gonna go to car park four. So that's not as low as seven. I don't really know why we lost. I can't understand why we lost 4G in car park seven, but I'm not willing to test it again. I'm gonna just go to car park four. It's, it's quite local. And um, that's where I'm gonna park up for lunch. Yeah, there's the back of car park four. There's nobody down there. There's actually a launch pad for um, uh, the paragliders. So maybe we'll sit on that. Yeah, swish. Good views of the remarks. I'll have a sandwich. And we'll chill. How does that sound? i tell you how it sounds. It sounds delightful. I got a sandwich already made. Didn't get a beverage. I'd, no, I'd normally have a hot beverage at each break. Usually a hot chocolate. There's Milo and there's hot chocolate, drinking chocolate. It's really, really quite nice, actually. But um, yeah, in this, in this instance, I'm not having it. I'm hanging out with you, Yahoo's instead. How do you like that? Into car park four. Bit bumpy coming up. Bit bumpy. Bit bumpy. Sorry about the bumpity bump, but I did warn the that it was coming. Open the door this time. Engine off, log out, lights off, handbrake on, keys hidden. There, it's a good hidey place, isn't it? So I'm going to um, just come around. with this GH5 battery? How, it's going on forever, dudes. Five hours is the max. We've got 41... 24% there. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna leave this power bank off and I'm gonna just use the one I'm using now. Why change it? It's, it's, incre it's powering up. I might as well just use it, eh? And then if I need to, I'll go back to the old power bank later on today. There's no point using it if I haven't got to use it. So I won't use it because I don't have to use it yet. So let me just do some organizing. Put this guy back underneath here. Yes, 
So this time around, are we going to work? I'm going to grab it. Which one is it? This handle. So we're going to go out of the bus. Oh. 15, clear. Okay. Going to grab my uh, sand sandwich here. Oh. And there we have it folks, the five hour mark was hit. That's what it looks like when we hit the five hour mark. And now we go back to where we were, uh, ISO, oh ISO was on auto wasn't it? But that's what that looks like, um, well that's how long that lasted, about five hours. I was just getting my muesli bar out for later, I've got two muesli bars in there. Okay, that's not what I thought. Did I, not, did I not already eat one today? No, I did. Dirt wizard. And we'll go outside where it's cool, uh, warm, cool. Hopefully we're still good. I'll come back for that. I'll come back for everything actually. I'll just take the uh, camera. Stream gear, we'll get a spot. Last time we got out of the bus, it didn't like it. I don't believe that's, I don't believe that that was legitimate. But either way, this time we'll find out. We will find out if it was legitimate. Let's get out of the bus and see what happens. Hang on a second. Let's put you down on a bit more of an angel. Let's get out and see what happens. Did it turn off? Of course it did not. So let's put the exposure. Oh, that's because we got auto ISO. So we, now we've got to change it to 100 and then we ramp the shutter speed accordingly. So here we are, car park four folks. And this is what you didn't see before when I was explaining, but uh, car park four is usually completely chock as full. Like we'd be, how is it that exposure? It's still too bright. Usually we'd be like, all this area will be filled. People will be coming in at this time. That's the base building right there. That's where the 4G is. And the 4G is on top of the hill as well. That's the runs up there. So we're gonna go this way. That's uh, S8, my bus. We're gonna park up over here and have views of the Remarkables for our lunch. This is a launch pad for um, the paragliders. So I could park up, I guess I could just park up here. Put you Yahoo's down like this. Put you Yahoo's here. And then I'm gonna sit on this tussock. I'm gonna go and get my jicket and sit on this tussock. I just want to verify that we're still good. Everything's good there, still good, live. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, uh, how's that level, Jerry? Not great. I can't see if that's better. Either way, I'm going to go and get um, my jacket and my sandwich and I'm going to come back. I'm going to park up right there.
So I've got sandwich, jacket, just park it on the ground. And I'm just gonna sit like this right here with you fellow yahoos with the glasses on. That's not level, dude. Hendrik, where's the H-man? He's out getting boozed up in Curricula Quay. A little booze hound. Him and Charlotte are probably at the um, Shangri-La. Although she said that's not her favorite anymore. She said it's something, there's a change. There's been a change and it's not her favorite anymore. By the way, where's the remarks in the frame? Are we off to the side of the remarks? Yeah, but should I be on, should I be facing this way? I should be, shouldn't I? I'll face this way. That way we're looking towards the remarkables. So, the, oh, but that's right, don't you wear sunglasses because the, they're polarized. So let me reload the chisel chat machine. My channel. Profile, my channel. Uh-oh, it's all black. Are we not live? No, it's live, it's good. Oh no, there we are. Strife, Strifercast. Man, what a life. I'm actually working right now, dude. But yeah, I'm pretty lucky, pretty fortunate. And I will repeat that this has been something that my boss did say I'm good to do. He wanted me to make more content throughout the season. He wanted me to make more content. Um, I found it difficult to make content and work. So this is me working and live streaming. Oh, that was, that's better. I've been live since I started work this morning at seven. It's now 12. So I've been streaming this whole day's work and the idea is to do the whole entire day, but I don't think the batteries will last. You ever been where they filmed Lord of the Rings? It's right there. I don't know how well you can see the, the separation in the land, but there is a, so that's the Remarkables, the big peak, the, the, the mountains, that's the Remarkables range. Come down towards me in the center, there's a smaller mound, that smaller mound, right next to it is Lake Johnson. Lake Johnson is where we went on a stream and we climbed up to do the aircraft landing. Music Man wanted us to do like a tracking airplanes landing at Queenstown Airport, the airport's on the other side of that. That little hill there looks towards a bigger hill, towards the Lake Wakatipu, the lake there. And that bigger hill is Kelvin Heights. And that's where they filmed Lord of the Rings. Or well, that's where uh, some of the sets for the Two Towers took place. How do I know that? I was in the film as an extra and it took place right there uh, in the year 2000. So yes, I have. We're on the Manly Ferry. Oh, Shyla, I'm jealous of that. You guys are going over to Manly to get boozed up. Oh, last time I did that was with Doug and family. That sounds cool. Meme man with the host. Good day, meme man. Thank you, dude. El Capitan. Hi, Captain. Did Coin Captain come in? Meme man with the ice cream. My Eunice. Wow. Thank you, man. Jason. Hi, Gibbs. Good day, Jason. How you doing? Strifercast with the follow. Yo, Strife. Thanks for following the Gives a Minute D Live stream. Now this makes you the latest giver right here on the channel. Now why would this make you a giver? Well, let me explain. You see, you're giving me your time to consume the content, whereas me, I'm a giver because I'm giving you my time to create the content. And so you see how we're both givers here, and this is a two-way valley. And you're the latest giver on the Gives a Minute D live stream. Thanks for the follow. Do I just turn that off? Uh, yes, please. Uh, just give me a couple of minutes. I bet it's super chill. It's actually kind of warm today here. Kind of warm. Let me have a, have a bite of my sandwich. Looking to go down from the pickup point. Is it fun driving that thing or is it unwieldy? The O of T. Um, it's a good bus to drive. It's a good bus. There's about five of them in circular or in, in operation. And they get, 
they're older, getting progressively newer. And obviously the newer ones handle it better. The old ones have their cons and pros. Look how beautiful that place looks. Totally, man. Like, super lovely here. Rob Mack in the house. Good day, gives and gives. Rob, how you doing, man? How you doing, dude? Good to see you, buddy. On a work day. I really wanted to do this stream, and I reckon I picked the best day to do it. It's so chill. It's, it's a very quiet day. Richard Santic in the house. G'day, Rich. How you doing, man? Not a bad idea, to be honest. Show the perks. The perks of the job. Mm. The good vibes. Feels like I've been here a year since I last joined, but not quite, but it feels like... It. Yeah, the time, the timing, right? Like... I don't normally stream in the middle of the day because I'm doing this job, I'm working. But here we are. We're doing a 12 hour stream or at least until the GH. I should, I'll get another five hours out of this. It, yeah, I should have brought, you idiot. I may be able to still power one at the end of the day. We'll see. Did you get that toque in Canada? No, I didn't. Uh, it was a gift. I did, I did spend some time in Canada, but then the happy Canadian, a giver, sent this to me about six years ago, five years ago, as a gift. Hmm. Pretty rad here, pretty rad. One might say it's remarkable. You can see that, right? If I zoom in. That's nice. Very nice. Or is it unremarkable? No, it is not unremarkable. Very remarkable. I could probably turn this around a bit more. You can see a bit more of uh, the Lake Wakatipu and Queenstown. Unfortunately, you get a lot of this crap in the foreground though, don't you? Hmm. I don't like that crap in the foreground. I'll try to better that. Richard says, Must be awesome whipping around the town without snow, then heading up the mountain into snow. Had that when I was in Austria. It's interesting. Yeah, that's a good point. Like the town, it, I mean, it has snowed twice uh, over two days in town. I've got video of that. But yeah, it is interesting when it's like that, when you're up here and it's, and you're down there, then you're up here. I think people say that thinking it means speechless. Oh, unremarkable. Can't make, you, you're without speech. Oh, okay. So from up here, you can kind of see, so there's a snaking river. It's winding its way. The most, the most of it you can see is kind of over. If I zoom in again, can you see it? I, I think you can. It's kind of like most of it's down here somewhere. I, I can't see where I'm pointing on the screen, but it's somewhere down there. There's a river and that's the shot over river. Now that shot over river winds its way all the way around from Arthur's Point around the back of Queenstown Hill 
kind of comes on this side of uh, Lake Johnson, around the back of that mound, the Lake Johnson mound, and then it joins up to uh, Karawara, Karawara, the one that I can't pronounce. It goes under the bridge, the main bridge in and out of Queenstown. Now I was thinking it'd be pretty rad to do a live stream where I get a bus to that bridge and then I walk along the banks of the shot over or along the edge, however I can work it out. And we walk all the way along it, traversing until we get to Arrowtown, uh, sir, Arrowtown, to Arthur's Point, at which point I get a bus back to Queenstown. So it would not be a, there's no need to t take a car and dump a car. It's just a straight up one, two bus rides and a heck of a walk in between. And we could get drunk on the way. Does that sound like a plan? So that's another stream I want to do at some point. Sounds like the best kind of plan. It'll be fun, right? I've asked a couple of dudes that, like there's a guy that I met the other day who does a, he runs the um, quad shuttles, quad bike shuttling. Shunt, no, quad bike, what do you call them? I can't remember what he called it, but either way he runs it. And he said, yeah, you can definitely do that. He said there will be places where it's a little bit difficult to get past, to get by, but you can definitely do it. Might get some odd looks streaming at the pub. No, I didn't mean go to the pub. I meant take beers or take whiskey with us for the, for the walk. But I, know, I got no problem streaming at a pub. We went to, we went to, um, what's it called? Searchlight. We stream from Searchlight. Go back in my uh, YouTube channel and look up the... If, you, if you're not watching on YouTube, come to DLive. I'm now doing the opposite. If you want to go and see the old streams, because DLive delete them, go back on my YouTube channel. There's a playlist for all the IRL streams I've done here in, in, in New Zealand and Queens, uh, Queenstown. And there's one from uh, Go, using my GoPro as a streaming camera and Searchlight Brewery. And we went and streamed in the pub. Gibbs, you ever fly a drone? Yes. Yes. Not here. Uh, this whole area, entire area, is a no drone zone. Um, there's a lot of aircraft uh, carriers operating here, like helicopters, joy flights, air balloons, uh, paragliders. There's so many people in the air, and drones are not allowed. But what would be cool would be to RTMP a drone footage back to the stream like imagine just being able to go all right i'm going to choose that feed now instead of this feed from this camera i'm going to choose that rtmp feed and where's it coming from the source of that is the three, uh, 4g on my drone that'd be sick i've got a, fa a, a phantom 4 yeah it's it's had its day i suppose those those drones there kind of cumbersome but Still got a rad image. Any questions about the uh, the job? Any questions about working for NZ Ski? While you think of the questions, I'm going to go and grab a, a little swig of water here, folks, because uh, I left my, my water on the bus. And I'd like to drink from it. So I'm going to go and do that. And you guys can think up some questionnaires.
All right. Hit me with your questions if you got any. I'll try to answer them. Do you get good benefits? So we get a uh, free season pass. Uh, that's access to ski and snowboard. It's access to the chairlifts at Coronet Peak, which is where I am right now, at the Remarkables, which is across the valley, and further north, there's another ski field called Mount Hutt that NZ Ski own and operate. So we get that as a benefit. Um, we also get uh, free transport to and from the mountains, uh, both on your days off and on, obviously, if you need transport up the hill for your job, I drive the bus, so I don't need that. Um, we get, we just got a pay rise. So for most of this season, the pay was not comparable to other jobs of a similar nature, which is always, uh, well, for me, I'm, I'm not a bus driver, right? I'm just doing this for the shits and giggles. But from hearing other drivers speak, they were all saying it's really low pay comparable to the other industry or the other uh, players in the industry. And the way that they sold that to people or to staff members was that you get all these benefits, right? NZ ski, you can ski and blah, blah, blah. So there was the, the pros and the cons of it, if you like. And then all of a sudden uh, they offered a, a quite a substantial, quite a, a, a decent hourly rate increase. Let's just say like that, the change that they made to me was like, oh wow, that is a notable change in my fortnightly. It's, it's every second week here. Yeah, so I that was very welcome for me. I was, I was pleasantly surprised by it. I didn't really mind the other, the other pay rate. I, I was, okay. And the way they worded it was strange too. It was like, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a pay negotiation happening. Negotiation? No. Evaluation. There's a, there's a salary evaluation. And I was thinking, Everybody was like, oh, wicked, man, pay rise. And I was thinking, well, salary evaluation could go the other way too, right? It could be a pay decrease. And luckily I was wrong. And yeah, it was, it's, it's quite substantial. It's, it's notably good. Um, so it, without trying to reveal too much of my financial, my personal finances, my goal here or one of my goals here was to do all the streaming and showcase this area. But the other side goal was to any additional uh, income that I come by, I wanted to put into Bitcoin and Hex. And the idea was to continue to DCA, I suppose, if you like, into Hex and also to f somehow accumulate a full Bitcoin, like one whole Bitcoin. Now, I've, my crypto journey began a number of years ago here on DLive, and I've been slowly buying into Bitcoin, and you, you could say, yeah, but, you know, now's the time to buy. Of course, now's the time to buy. It's 20,000, 20, 21,000. It's the greatest time to buy Bitcoin, but I don't have all that kind of money just to go, here's 20 grand on Bitcoin. But if I can keep adding to my stack by buying drips and draps here and there, and that's what this job has done for me. I've, I've not... I've not lived without wanting here in Queenstown. I've had everything I need. I've got a great place, great pad, uh, great housemates, great food. Uh, I make I made the sickest carbonara last night. We drink whenever we want to have a beer or a whiskey. I, I go and buy it. I'm I'm not I'm not skimped. I'm not tight for cash, and I've managed to put extra onto this Bitcoin and Hex plan uh, for this time. And then they gave us a pay increase, and I was like, wow. This is really helping me on that goal. Um, and then Bitcoin plummeted and Hex also. So like, I don't want to hit a cliche, but my future self will thank me for doing this now, I think. And if not me, cause I might die, then my uh, family, my kids' sisters, uh, my kids' sisters, my sister's kids, my kid's sister? My sister's kids will thank me from the gray. Hey, thanks, Uncle Benny. I can't hear you. Uh, you, you know, you, you feel me. 
Uh, roughly how long is New NZ ski season? I know it depends, but ballpark. So the last, I've got this calendar marked actually, the last day here, which they have already uh, taken forward a week. So the season close is Saturday, October 2. I fly out of here. Uh, they keep changing my flight. I fly out of here a week and a half later. And so my plan was originally, because the season close was meant to be September, September 25. And that would mean I would have had two and a half weeks left here in Queenstown or down there in Queenstown. And my plan was to go back and work at Bespoke Kitchen with these really rad people that I got a bunch of work with earlier in the season before the mountain opened. But now that they've pushed the week back, I'm probably not gonna work at the kitchen. I'm, I'm probably gonna just tell them, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take that week and a half to myself. Um, yeah, because, because of A, the pay increase from NZ Ski and the fact that it's only a week and a half. So yeah, so Saturday, what is it? Saturday the 2nd of October is closing day. Now, they brought it, they pushed it further back, but they could also bring it back forward if it's really lousy from here on in. There's meant to be snow tonight and tomorrow, but anything could happen. Richard, I'm actually missing the daily surf vids. Dude, I am so pumped for surfing again. And I know it's the grass being greener, you know, like when I'm out there surfing, I'll be like, dude, I really miss Queenstown. Of course, but I've been missing the ocean big time. They're, yeah, missing the ocean. Uh, there must have been attrition that usually... Why is that? Why is my chat off screen? That usually something? That usually... Good to hear? Why is my... I'm gonna refresh my trousers here. My chat's kind of like running over the screen. I don't know if that's normal. Well, I know it's not normal. I've never seen it before. Long sentences are just running over the page, over over the screen edge. What? Oh, there you go. Okay, so now it's working. There must have been attrition that usually pre precipitates a pay rise. Right. Attrition is people leaving. Yeah. Good to hear. Uh, what's the importance of having a whole coin? Can you do something extra with once you have a whole coin? No, no, no. Nothing. No, nothing like that at all. It's just um, one dot zero looks better than. 0.08897632 One Just looks, it's Yeah, it just looks better. It's just, it's It doesn't mean I mean at one point or at some point it, it means that whenever I see the price of Bitcoin I know I have that money Aside from the, the uh, chain fee, but I have that dollar amount if you like I guess that's one way of thinking of it, but I that's not why it's not why I'm trying to do it. I guess one, the next step is to two, right? Can I get two Bitcoin? So yeah, there's no, there's nothing more to it than that. I'm a bit, I'm a bit like that. Like, I'm a lot like that actually. Everything's got to be all structured and nice and neat and tied together with a number. I don't know why I've been like that my whole life. I can't see on that dash, on that center display. The birds are out. This is a sign that spring is coming. You hear it in the morning as you're walking up the streets, you hear birds chirping. Before, I guess, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, you would never hear birds chirping. It was just dead silence. Saw my first New Zealand spider as well. That was pretty cool. Guess we should be thinking about rolling back up. What? Yeah, we should. Yeah, at one o'clock. I want to be back on board so that Jono can have his soon as well. Gotcha. I know nothing about crypto. Probably only lose money in it. Yeah, uh, and I'm I'm um I'm not here to tell you that this is a good idea or that you should do similar or whatever, but. The way I look at it and what I've learned from crypto is it's here to stay. 
you, it's here to stay. People have and people are making a lot of money and it's at an all time low right now. Add those things together to, to, to come to a conclusion and whatever the conclusion is you come to, I know I'm saying conclusion wrong, whatever the conclusion you come to is your own, but people have made a lot of money off it. It's here to stay and it's at an all time low right now. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. What's going on? I can't, I can't bring up my, um, I was going to check these out, check my modem, my modem, hey, that's all good, everything's good, but I just can't see my stream on DLive, that's not, that's not unusual though, there are times when DLive just goes, and this could be one of them, Either way, we're going to move out. We're going to head back up into the bus and get sh get shit organized. Um, I also met. Oh, okay, it's coming back up now. I also mess with stocks only to see stuff pl plummet. Oh, really? But is it here to stay in its current form? Will the coins we use now be the same ones we use in the future? No, there'll be ones coming and going for sure. There'll be new coins, there'll be old coins. I can pretty much be assured that he um, Hex and Bitcoin and Ethereum will, will maintain. They'll stick around. Guy on a buffalo, how you doing man? Good to see you. While you're up there, can you tell us if the earth is flat or round? It's neither, man. It's all jagged. It's all jagged edges here, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, it's all jagged edges, man. Good question, though. Definitely a question worth pondering. Another time. I've got to get back to work. Come with me. Yeah? Afternoon shift. What'll happen now? So... Just for those interested, unconfirmed. Jagged Earth confirmed. It's a Mick Jagger Earth. So what'll happen now is from 1 p.m. through till around about 3.30, it'll be pretty quiet. At two o'clock, Jono will go up and start loading school kids onto the bus and then he'll depart at 2.30. Go down to, underneath the Remarkables is a township called Shotover Country. That's where he's gotta to go to return the kids back to school. Then we've already decided that he he probably will get asked to come back up. So dispatch, it's Bridget on dispatch will say uh, clear and return. That means clear, clear your bus and return back to Coronet Peak. Now we've already decided from how, how chilled it is here today. At that point, I don't think I'll need him uh, given that it's so undersold, like there's hardly anybody up here. I'll be able to do the afternoon shift without him easily. And I said, as long as you don't mind not because we get paid for every hour or every minute we work. So if he clears and parks up, he goes back to the yard, washes his bus, bus down and goes home, clocks off, goes home. He, that means he loses an hour and a half, maybe potentially two hours worth of pay, approximately. He's like, no, I don't mind, dude, I'm, I'm, I don't mind. See, my goal, as I said earlier, to get the Bitcoin, I want to be able to do as much hours as possible. So I'm happy to stay up here alone and clear the car parks, given that there's so little, hardly anybody here anyway. So, but what'll happen is around about, so 2.30 John O will split. From 2.30 to 3.30, it'll be pretty chilled with just me doing ups and downs, mainly downs. And then at about 20 to four, it'll start to get busy. And when I say busy, I mean like busy because the lifts close at four. So at about 20 to four, it starts to ramp up a little bit. Then at four and at 10 past four, it's quite busy because literally everybody is coming off the hill because they can't use, there's no more chairlifts. So everybody comes at once. And then by half past four, maybe 20 to five, it's virtually done, virtually done. There'll be stragglers and I'll, they'll straggle down and I'll take them and fill and the car park will slowly deplete. And then at around about, 
either 10 to 5 or 5, probably probably earlier today, 10 to 5, I'll radio dispatch and say um, car parks 4 is empty and 5 is empty, 3 is long empty, and, two, and, and then dispatch will say, um, I'll say, do you need me? And she'll say, oh, well, you can do a staff run back down, or she'll say, no, you can just clear, clear and park up, go back, basically just go down the hill without anybody. So that's how that's going to work. So let's go and do that. No night skiing. Tonight is Tuesday night. No, night skiing's not on tonight. But that reminds me, let me check my roster for tomorrow, because I think I might be on night skiing tomorrow. No roster has come out yet. Uh, all upcoming shifts. No, I haven't sent out the rosters yet. Fair, fair point though. So I'm going to um, bring you guys back to the bus, then I'm going to come back and pick up some stuff from here. Did I turn that radio off? It's been very quiet. Oh, I did turn it right down. No, I didn't. That's weird. No, there's been no radio activity for quite a while. That's always concerning, hey, like, it's like, how come there's no one on the radio? What's going on? You fear that you've got the wrong channel or something? All right, let's close up the big pick. That's New Zealand for backpack. Grab this. Grab you, Yahoos, and we'll go back into the bus, and then I'll come and pick up my jacket and everything else from here. Sunglasses, mainly. Cool, cool, cool. We'll get a proper angle for you as well in the bus. Put you Yahoos down there temporarily. Don't worry about that angel, it's not finalized. Out of the way. Get this one up here. The actual big pick that I use for the stream. Finally, radio comes into life. Does that mean to bacon? Oh, Jono's up there. Okay, all right. So, to position myself accordingly in the van with the according light, we will just go to auto expose, or auto ISO, so this way, and ramp the shutter speed down. That'll deal with itself. Um, I'll get another cig of water here before we start. I'm using the, this backpack as a little, almost like a tripod. I'll get some more water. Mm. While we're here, I'll do my logbook and I'll be able to do it with my ruler. Got a business card here as a ruler. Come here, Logus Bookus Macamus. Logbook has to be done. If you're not sure about this, check the earlier part of the stream when I did it this morning. And we're just adding to it now. We didn't do it, or well, we did it, but we didn't draw the line when I had my other break from 10.30 to 11 skins. So draw a line down to 10.30, draw a line back off 10.30 to off time. Now draw a line down to 11, that's off, and draw a line back out to 11, that's on work time. And draw a line down to 12.30, and then draw a line back out from 12.30, to off time, 12.30, draw a line down to 1, which is the time now, draw a line back out to work time at 1, and then you write in 
12.30, Coronet Peak. And then you write 13,000, Coronet Peak. And I don't know how well you can pick this up on the camera there, but that's the logbook, that's how that works. And basically, um, you have a record of your off time, on, on hours, off break, back on, off break, back on. And then this will go down to, I'll probably finish tonight about 6.15 or something. And that's a legally required document, which you need to have handy in case uh, the boys in the blue come and require it. Just one of the things. How many muesli bars do I have in here? Yeah, I do have another one in there. Okay, well, I won't eat it unnecessarily. So let me put this logbook Maximus back up here. Oh, shit, my pan fell out. Get that back in there. Hey, hey, I said, get that back in there. There's a the logbook goes in there. Um, okay, so let's do this with the... Oh, I was going to have a sip of this, wasn't I? Alright, let's put this back over here. Make a little tripod action. Using the bag. Now we will lower this down. Copy, Rusty. That's the Rhodes guy for the remarks, Rusty. Let's drop this down. Oops. Like that. I think that's how we did it. So that just wedges itself in there. Oh wow, they um oh press the um my bad. Bit of copy, Rusty. I guess Rusty's not copying. Rusty? Rassy. He mustn't be there. Okay. That'll sit there nicely, I think. Will it sit there? Yeah, that'll sit there. Okay, cool. Phone. Let me just refresh the chat before we roll out. My channel. Dude, D-Live's taking a long time to load. No night skiing, it's still on that. No night skiing. Do we have an issue? No? 4G's good. Okay, I'm gonna just assume that we're all good. And I'm gonna start driving. Oh, let's go and jump in the driver's seat first, eh? Yeah. All right. Pieces. Road, log in, make myself legal. Window down. Let's roll. There we go. 
will go out through uh, this side of car park four skins. Everything good? I said, is everybody good? <laughs> we are good. We good, man. Jono was literally like this, on his wheel asleep. Classic. And here we are, back up at the pickup. Car park shuttle zone. Check the chat time. So it still says no night skiing. That's concerning. Gotta go. But neat stream, looking forward to more in the future. Thank you, thank you, uh, Strife, Strife, Strifecast. Thank you, man. People play bus driving simulators for fun. You get paid to do it. Right on, right on. I'm, it doesn't, doesn't get more. Dude, can I tell you, this job, this job has infiltrated my night life. Like my sleep. I should be sleeping, right, at night, and I should be, like, regenerating myself for the day ahead, like, getting, um, what's the, what's the phrase, what's the terminology, you know, getting, re getting replenished for the next day, instead, I'm, I'm fumbling around in my, I'm fumbling around in my bed for the door opener, and I'm driving, like, on ice, and I'm, think I'm gonna slip and slide, I got my, my socks on at night, and I feel like I'm slipping all on ice and shit, I'm up, walking around my bedroom, this job has like overridden my life, hey. I'm not lying, I'm not lying. Like I, this happens to me when I start a new anything, like a new job, new relationship, new house, whatever it is. It really, it really plays on my mind and I can't turn it off. Like last night, last night in my sleep, I was doing this stream. I was, I was talking as if I'm doing this stream right now. Just, it's, I just can't switch it off, eh? Uh-oh. You're going the wrong way, love. It's a one-way street the other way. Thank you, 
Yeah, all good. She's gone the wrong way. Hey, Jono! What's up? Want to say good day to the chat, man? Good day, guys. How are we? Good, dude. Yeah. Well, just explaining our sleep, our sleeping gags. Hey, you're oh, one. Sweet. Oh, sweet. You're one like this. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that was the best, eh? Hey? Uh, take park up, take a break, man. Come back too. Yeah. Easy, man. Yeah. Sweet. Two is. I probably might have. We'll probably end up having to park up. Yeah. End too. More than likely. Have a chat with Ashley. Yeah. It's oh, it's all good, man. It's easy. Three quarters four. Where are you going, sir? Down there. Down there. Four. Okay, no oh, worries. Two episodes of Family Guy just sitting up there. <laughs> There's no one. Oh, you were just up. Yeah, I watched a, uh, one episode. Did you hear that? I would be. We're dead. Oh, you are here. He says he watched two episodes of Family Guy. <laughs> two. <laughs> Did you uh, get some skiing in or? Oh, probably up. I don't know, maybe like ten rounds today. It's just 10, that's a lot, dude. No, uh, but this time of day, it's just, it's virtually scared. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it'll freeze. You want it to freeze up again? Well, if it freezes, I can, at least I can knock all the tops off, get the grooms out, do something, you know? Ah, oh, that's true, yeah. Because it can't do anything with the bones and keep warm. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's forecasted to change again, Back to cold yeah, and snow. No, but I think it'll probably rain. Mm. Yeah. You might be right. It's September. We'll have snow again in September, it always does. Ah. How uh, how certain are you of that? Well, you know, you get about four snowfalls a year here. And that's it. Yeah. You know. I mean, when you think about it, 1650. That's like the lowest level of Courchevel. Yeah. You know, so virtually, you know, you're, you're skiing at the bottom of a lot of the Alps. Yeah, you got, gotcha. So you're pretty lucky to have any snow at all, right? Uh, so you get about four dumps a year. They came early this year. Yep. So they're usually around about, probably just towards the end of September, about the 17th, 18th, we should get one snowfall that could last maybe two days and then really that is it that's the end yeah, yeah. okay and then you just hang around for the last day which they've put back a, a week now right uh, what's the start last day now uh october 2nd second yeah oh, it was about the 15th last year 17th no 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 that's remarks oh what's to you right yeah. close to you really isn't it yeah 25th something here 20 23rd or something yeah, september that's right yeah that's normally the water yeah. water skiing day Water skiing. <laughs> yeah, like you've been here before. Oh, I know what you mean. Going across the um I dig the a gap. Big hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a big hole river and. Uh... I know what you mean. Yeah. When you said water skiing, I thought you meant it's just so slushy and, and shitty up there. It's like water skiing. Well, they big, dig a big hole. They just get one of the one of the cats out and dig a big trench from about here to that, you know, that grey car. Yeah. Yay yeah, wide, and then right down in front by the yeah you know, by the base station, and then you just cruise down Pan Am. Yeah. Take a, you know off the shirt front, take a you know sharp turn, keep your speed up, yep. and then try and get across the walk. Get across it, yeah. yeah it's and extra points if you, if you dress silly. Oh, heck yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's great fun. It's not just about the skiing over water, it's dressing silly. Hey, we're here in the mountains, you know, you can't complain, can you? Might as well. Yeah. Cheers, fella. See you, buddy. Yeah, yeah I'm hopefully, hopefully I'm not rostered on that day, and I'll be, uh, oh, the last day I'd want to, I don't know, hopefully, either way I'll come up for that, you know, maybe I'll do a live stream. Who knows? We'll see. I wasn't working on both opening days. That was pretty cool. Opening day here, Coronet. Opening day remarks. I managed to get up and go riding and I made a vlog of each day. On the channel film. Hendrick and Charlotte are uh, on a ferry to Manly 
I'm jealous of that. I really am, actually. You know they're going to have a boozy afternoon, too. Yeah, we'll start back up again at 1.30. Um, 2 o'clock heading downhill. Yeah, we'll start back up again at 1.30. Yeah, we'll start back up again at 1.30. Hey guys, if you want to ride down, just you can bring your skis on board with us. Make it easier for them, huh? Bring their skis straight on the bus. Yeah, just hello, how are you going? Four, we are. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. I can do that, yep, yep. No problem, jump on. How you going? Good, I'm well. Do me a favor, folks, make sure the skis and boards don't hit the glass windows, because they will crack the, the glass. And where are we going? Four? Just the usual. Four, Four it is. Amishfield. Say again? Amishfield. Amishfield. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I show you. <laughs> okay. We have a deal. <laughs> Everybody have a good time up there? Yeah. Yeah. Snow was good or bad? Looks like sugar. Looks like sugar. Okay, that sounds nice. Apologies for this bump, folks. It's a big one. That's why I asked you guys to hold your skis as well. I knew that was coming. Imagine hitting that at speed. Like, that was going really slow. Imagine hitting that with a bit of speed. Whoa. Uh, yep, I think you mean seven. <laughs> um, all the way down there? Yeah, that's seven. I can go down there for you. No worries, guys. Yeah, this is four. Better than remarkable. Still better than remarkable. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. Like there is a jump right at the top. It's crazy. Ooh. Cheers. Thanks. See you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Thanks, See you, bud.
Yeah, just to confirm, sir, you meant the one that's right down there? Yes, yeah, see yeah. those three paper bands and the first one there was parked there at the 7 o'clock this morning. I'm that... sure whether I could bring my band up here, so I didn't bother. Those are buses behind you, but I see what you mean. Yeah. I, I stood around for about an hour thinking, no, there's not going to be a shuttle because I haven't filled up the top. Yeah, not, yeah you, you're right. Oh, was that you walking up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I saw that. I, I drove past you on the way up and I was really confused how you got to be walking so far down the mountain at that early. I was like, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I was on jump. wasn't familiar with the road. Right yeah, now. yeah. I mean, I, I, I knew that you weren't in any trouble, but I was thinking maybe he's walked up the entire way. Like, Well, that would be, mate, if I'd done that, I wouldn't have been bloody... Uh, at all for the day. That's true, yeah. But I, I, I took, oh, that guy's got a bug to you, won't you? That's funny that it should be you on my bus because I, I literally saw that and I was, I you made were comment. Back, you were bringing people up. Or yeah, that was my first run up. It was like, I don't know, 20 past 7, well, no, I'm, no, 28. I'm, I'm from Auckland, so I've been skiing here because we're opposing the. Yes, yes. And I've uh, been so bloody frustrated about this uh, transport up the mountains because we're okay, it's like, Parking down the bottom. Okay. Uh, with the, you know, goats going up there at the time. But, um, so I went to Mount Lyford and the stand couldn't get up there. What, there's no transport up? Or? No transport. Snow down right now by the lodge. And, uh, I tried to ring all the numbers. I'll pay someone 50 bloody bucks to come get Were they open? Uh, they said they were, but uh, you know, the local vehicles going up, I suppose, put the thumb out there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's strange, because I saw you on this corner down here. Yeah, yeah, I just saw that right there. Yeah, and I was like, I didn't know that there was a motorhome in there, I didn't see that. It was tucked around the corner. I was like, how's there a guy walking up there? This I just couldn't. Nothing I could conclude would work out how you could be there that early. Well, I wanted to get early because when I'm in Brewer Paver, I stay in the local campground. There's a dock thing and I drive up at 6 o'clock and piss them off so I can get a parking space. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, they don't like it. And a couple of years ago, they, they actually didn't clear the snow from where the camper vans were normally going. Ah, uh, that's a sign. The next They're telling year, they bloody learned their lesson because yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and now they've been in snow for three years. So. Well, well look at this, man. I'm going to put you door, literally to oh, door. Gosh, I appreciate it. Look at that. I'm going to get it exact. Okay. <laughs> so I'm okay. Like, from what I can get, I'm okay to drive up um, almost to that bottom car park. Absolutely, yeah. I'll come back for the stairs, mate. Yeah, no problems. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Now the mystery... I was the a bit fatigued and I thought it's time to leave. Otherwise I'll wind up on my bloody bag. Fair enough. You don't want that. Much appreciated. Thanks Thank buddy. You. Bye bye. Hey, if you see me tomorrow morning... I'll, spot, I'll pick you up. Yeah, I'm, I'm working. I'll keep an eye out. Now that I know you're doing it, I'll keep an eye out for sure. Well, hopefully I'll, I might need a day of rest. <laughs> That's a mystery resolved, because like, yeah, I, I think that was when my stream was down, when we were coming up. I hope it, I hope it's not, because it, that would be pretty cool if it was on the stream. Because, um, yeah, I literally saw that guy walking and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, the because uh, like, there's two car parks below this one, and they're not car parks, they're, there's the Grit Bay and there's Chain Bay 4. And there's no cars in the Chain Bay, and there was no cars in the Grit Bay. So we, we were not using those areas as a car park. And why would we at that early hour of the day? Like, there's no point. There's no reason we would be in there that time of the day. So I saw this gentleman walking and I was like, that does not compute unless he's walked up literally from the bottom. That's all I could, that's all I could think of. Um, you couldn't see into car park seven, so I couldn't spot that there was a motorhome tucked around the corner. Yeah, and there it is. That's the gentleman. The mystery man, the walker, the walker man. Margin Walker. It's funny. I like it when things resolve like that, you know? Like, not that it was bugging me, not that I was even thinking about it, but you know, it was a thing.
change the shutter speed down a little. tired now because I haven't had a sleep. I normally have a little sleep at lunchtime. A little bit of shut eye. Didn't happen today. I was too busy with you yahoos. Hey guys, you can just bring your skis on board the bus. Just jump right on. Yeah, I often let people just bring their skis on board if there's only a few people waiting, and then sometimes they take so long, other people turn up. It's not yours? No, we just borrowed it. Oh, that's cool. Does the person know you borrowed it from them? No. Yeah, bring it on. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Where can I take you guys? Oh, four, please. Four. Four? Four yeah. it is. I'm like, maybe one of the first right here. Make sure your skis and boards don't touch the glass oh. windows. Yeah, that's potential for uh, smashing. I can do that for you. Where, where's your car, ma'am? Say again. Okay, yeah, no worries. I apologize for this bump coming up. It's a big one. Hey, you liked it. Folks, cut back four. Thank you very 
Thank you. See ya. And there we go. Come back for Dunskis. Now try to avoid this big dip by going right at the edge over the water table basically. All right. Now that I mentioned birds earlier, the chirping birds, I'm seeing so many flying birds. It's unbelievable, like birds that I've never noticed before. I mean, yeah, didn't notice them in the winter. Well, technically it still is winter, but it's warming up. Yeah, just seeing birds skipping through the air everywhere you look. Hey buddy, you can just lay your skis on the back, Thanks, just lay them on. down, don't stand them up. And then just jump on. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I'm just trying to check the um, battery on the uh, video go. I can't see it, it's around the back of the camcorder. Camcorder? Yeah, 67, okay, that's good. How are you doing while you're there? Yeah, yeah, hello. All right, you want me to close the door? I got you, man. At least you've got the bus to the door closes. Yeah, yeah, this you saw the other when I was on the other night when it yeah. wasn't yeah yeah. Pretty annoying. What's this person doing? Coming up, wanting a ride where to? Down? I think she wants to go down, I'd say she No wants. idea. She knows. I can't hear you. Yes, yeah, so you gotta put it in the back. Oh yeah. Are you are you going down to a car park? Yeah, you actually just bring them on, just just hop on with them. I'll go yeah. back and you sit right at the front. Oh, you. You, you confused me because you were coming up the hill. I know, well I came and, and they said, oh, there's a shuttle and I couldn't see you. And um, so I kept on going down and I All good. It worked out in the end. It worked out in the end, thank you. Is that your camera? It looks serious. Yes, I'm doing a little live stream. Yeah. A day on the job. Yeah. Whole lots of people asking exactly the same questions that you've been asked. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Seconds ago. This is true, a lot of repetition. <laughs> I mean it comes with the nature of the job, driving yeah. around the same circuit. In circles. Do you get dizzy even? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go left. Yeah, I'm going yeah, right all the time. Yeah. There's always something different. Always, like for instance, yourself walking up the, hill. walking up the hill. Yeah. Like, like at this time of the day, people aren't often coming yeah. up. I mean, some people yeah. do, but I walked round, but I didn't see you 
I didn't see you there. Had you been there for a while or you just... No, I'd actually no. just, just turned oh, up and I then must have just, loaded it. I just missed you and yeah. wasn't quite sure where to wait. And... Ah, it's all good. Yeah. Now, I can actually drop you guys close to your cars if you can point them out well, roughly. You see, see that guy um, with it sitting with his feet dangling out of the car? I see that, yeah. Mine's the blue one just to the right of it. So okay. It's really Mine's close. about 15 up from there. 15, 15 up? Like to... Yeah, towards that direction. Okay, what I'll do then. You'll compromise? I'll just stop in front of this row here. Yep. And that'll be. That's good enough. Yeah, that'll yeah, be good for both of you. Pretty jolly good. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, that way you can just walk down yeah. there and yeah, then you can. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for coming up your, so it's all right. your front seat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're um, live stream. Thank you. Well. Thank you. What lovely manners. <laughs> <laughs> Over there a bit. See ya. Thanks, I'm just gonna grab my speed. Yeah, of course, man. Yep. What a lovely lady. See what I'm saying? It's always something uh, new and potentially interesting. Like she was lovely, she was kind, she was she was happy. And so is that guy. And everybody's happy. It's at that time of the day when the sun just goes right on that angel. I'd rather there be a cloud of, like a dark cloud up there. There's meant to be clouds too. Where are the clouds? Is? Where's the snow? It's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to snow tonight. It's not going to happen. It saddens me. It's not going to happen. I can feel it. I just don't have a good vibe. It's too warm. You can tell it's warm. My window's open and I'm not... Probably too hot actually here. Hey guys, uh, you can just load your gear on the back, just lay it flat, don't bother standing it up, and then I'll take you straight down. Thanks, yeah. See, this way, if there's hardly anybody, they can lay, lay it down, and then I don't have to go back and adjust anything and sort it out, they can just pick it up themselves, and that's much easier for everybody. No, we'll go now. There's no one else around. So where can I take you? No problem. Good day up there? Very nice, but it's very nice. 
Yeah. Plenty of people to crash into. <laughs> Plenty of targets to take out yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get as many people up here mountain biking or? Ah, uh, in the spring and summer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not so much in the winter. I've seen a, I have seen, did see a guy up here today though. Okay. Yeah, and I saw a guy running as well, like running up the hill. Yeah. yeah. That's keen. That is keen. I do, I live in town, yeah. Just okay. just for the winter, just for the season. Okay. Hey, where's your car, guys? I'll try to get close. Uh, oh, it's okay, just with the park. Yeah? So, okay. Yeah, that green van. Yeah, that juicy Google or whatever it's called. Even if you park it up first, don't it? Yeah, I'll go the first, first line here. There you go, folks. Thank you very much. Too easy. Have a good one. Thank Thanks, guys. Bye bye. So now I can, I've got a rear view camera here. I can just spot and see what they're doing and make sure, you know, they pick up their gear and everybody's happy. I guess you guys couldn't hear that over the car no or the bus noise, but there was some scraping going on then. S -s Skiing's happening right in front of me where they're coming down the mountain. Hi, it's a bit too much. Hello. Hello. Um, I have got three hotel bus. It hasn't left yet, but we've got three Dalton people. So can we do a transfer of your gear? Hey buddy, jump in man. Cheers. I'll just see where these guys are going and then we'll be off if they don't come. Like yeah, lay them down. Thank you. <laughs> 
Very cool, thank you. Yo, Jono! What's up? Uh, for later on, after I drop kids off at school, yep. I'll radio in. I'm not too sure if she needs us to drop people home in town. Yeah. But I would rather not, because S1 going downhill with passenger is horrendous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I'll if we don't have to drop people off, it's amazing. If we, drive, if we have to drop people off, we have to come back up. Well, what if, if you radio in and then she says copy, um, clear and clear and re return, I say, do you need, unless you need Jono for a rundown, I don't need him up here. Yeah, car park like, yeah this car park is yeah. dead anyway. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. But I highly doubt it. Within the next hour, we will be clear for. That's what I'm thinking, hey. It's, yeah. It's like what? I was at Smoker area, it's like counting like 40 cars left. Yeah. That's two loads. Yeah. Off drivers. Yeah. Alright, All right, sweet I'm man. I'm just gonna loop around and I'm gonna go straight up. Yeah. yeah. Very quiet one today, folks. Yeah. That number four, yeah. Number four, and where four else? Four. Four it is. Was it uh, good up there without with less people or? Oh, it's still pretty. The blues up the top aren't too bad, but it's uh, when you when they join in down to about three down the bottom, they're very, very, very messy, especially with your board. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's and all the last three days. It didn't soften. Yeah. yeah. Save the heat tomorrow. Well, the, the forecast is for snow tonight, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. I don't know about that, looking around. Yeah, no, it's pretty. Yeah, it looks like overnight. Stage. Don't we need clouds and, and to make snow? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, these ones aren't rain clouds at all, are they? Uh, we'll see and what happens. Next temperature will be right too, I suppose, too. Don't you? It's it's true. Between, yeah. Certain temperature trying to do it. Mind you, so that we were in Japan last, we went to bed, no snow, nothing anywhere. Woke up the next morning and the whole place was covered. So. Wow. That's cool. We want what they're having. Yeah. No wrong. Get ready for a bump here, folks. No, it's a big wrong. one. It is what it is. Today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is as far as I can go into car park four. No dramas, Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. You have a good day, mate. Thank you very much. happy and everybody should be happy because they've had a happy time skiboard riding skiboard riding where's my um oh, I can't see because the sun's on it skiboard riding love a good skiboard ride stop in the shade and have a look I didn't I looked at my video you go and didn't see anything on the display that's not good just get up here in the shard I 
Let's have a little look ski. Oh, there is no shard yet. The sun's still too high. Only shade from the backs of these cars is no there is a bit of shade there I can check it here the bus is creating its own shot and let me just pause here the bus is going on or is it just these oh, it's these polarized dude it's the polarized glasses everything's good hello by the way I'm looking past you but I'll come over and say good day to you as well what's going on hello skis you good skis I keep forgetting these are polarized. I looked at that and there's nothing on the display. And that does not compute. Polarized glasses are great for, for some things, but for other things they're just annoying. Like, like reading a phone with polarized glasses on. Forget about it. All right, come on. Jeez, must be doing like 30 Ks an hour. You flaming drongo. Slow down, it's a car park. And it's a ski field. You still think you're on the hill, don't you? Calm down, Speedy Gonzalez. Russian will get you nowhere except wherever it is faster. That's a fact. <laughs> Ain't that the tooth? Move it, move, move, move. You silly, silly boy. Oh, silly boy. Slid out there on the road like a flaming drongo. All right, folks, let me check the chisel checks. Say good day to you, Yahoos. <laughs> Uh, the Yachu machine, the Yahoo, the D-Live machine skins. Just gonna open it up, skis. See what I've got, skins here, skins. Nope, that's not gonna have a time to do that. Hey, doing, man? How you? Good, buddy. Good. good. Why well, does go? Go, okay, dude. Let's do it. We're the only ones, I reckon. We'll just see where this guy's going with the uh, yeah, with his kit, camouflage kit on. Kid. Kid. <laughs> Not kid. <laughs> Look at his little boy. Oh, he got a mini boy. That can't be his. Surely that's his kid. No, he's got oh, his tiny. Yeah. Hey, just a quick question. What time is yeah, the Nova South Cup uh, for Remarkable? Oh, please. Let's drive past it. Thank you. Uh, where am I taking you guys? Uh, car park four, please. No uh, problem. Thank you very much. Car park four. Clear day. It is clear. Very clear. Guess what? What? Um, you know that I'm careless skiing thing. I got to go on it and I made it all the way down, but with a couple of stacks. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's cool. No, there's some proper big stacks and they still didn't work. Is that the T-Bar? Yeah. Oh no, he had a crack on the... Um, Bridget from Dominic. He's been on the Magic Carpet the last couple of days, so he had oh, first go on the first green one back down, the big one. Nice. Nicely done, dude. Yeah. Meadows or something, it's called Green Meadows. Probably I'll park. Nailed it, Billy's going to be impressed. He'll be spewing when he went over. Billy and Pam were spewing when they went over. Yeah. 
Ready for a uh, large bump here, folks. Cop, cop this. This one's big. Nice shabby. Yeah, nice. Shit. Alright, where's your car, man? I'll try uh, to get close to it. Where are we? We are... Sort of down the back over there somewhere, I think. Okay, that's, that works, because I can go down there, actually. Yeah, nice. I'm really frightened, this dude. Yeah. Go straight towards them. I didn't even notice. Okay. Not a dip. No, I, I got <laughs> that wrong. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised there. Maybe I was the one frightened. Maybe. Uh, somewhere down Whoa. here? Or? Yeah, just here, man. Yeah. Then we'll just press the lock button until we find it. Yeah, them. yeah. <laughs> Too easy. Can't even remember what hike I up. Lovely. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. See you guys. See ya. Good luck on the chair, man. Well done. Sometimes I go all the way into the car park. If there's, if I know that there's a exit route, I'll come all the way in. If, if they, people can spot their car, then you know I'll try to take them as close as I can. Why not? Picking up is different. Like picking up in the morning from the designated pickup spot. That's, you know, that's always a given. But in the afternoon, when it's just a couple of people in the bus, I don't mind trying to get as close to their vehicle. You know, they appreciate it. They've had a long day skiing and. Less walking, you know, kind of helps out everybody because in a very, very small way, they're probably a little better to drive then because they've, you know, then the, then the downward drive on the road is more safe for everybody because you've got less, I don't know, like people that are tired and over it, whatever. It's a little thing. It's not, it's probably like 30% of it, not even 15%. You can come up here and park lakeside, please. Probably. Just a little thing, folks. Little things. You know. Probably a remarkable bird. You know how it is. Coming. Do you know? Yeah, I'm just going to advise that Phil's on his way up to the bus. Live chat machine, bring it up, bring it on, bring it out. Get it Red out there. To Dino, Dino. Pablo's in the house and Shyla's in the house. I'd love to see the bus inside and out. We did the outside when we're on lunch break, but here's the inside, dude. Here's the inside. I can't, I can't really get out and show you here now because I'm uh, working, but we have done the outside at lunch break. Uh, we had two different breaks and we had a little look at both Both times we showed you the bus. First time the uh, 4G turned into 3G, third, third 3G three, three didn't work the next time it did, but here is the uh, internals of said bus. Yeah, and um, I just put you there because it's cosy. <laughs> I know it's not level, don't tell the H-man. 
What I do been on. This is cool. Thank you, Pablo. Okay, Thank you. Okay. Been doing this all day. Oh, this guy's standing his skis up. Uh, just laying down. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna hop out and help these yahoos because. Uh, hey, Craig, I'll get you the pawns to drop them, please. They need it. Let me on help. That's good timing, isn't it? That's good timing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we can. I thought, thought you were offering me. That. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I thought you want to. I mean, you want to. I'll just wait and see where these guys okay, are going, yeah, sure, see sure. if they need a bus. I say you get some nice views with that, some nice pictures of that camera, do you? Oh yeah, we're we're live live streaming right now. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Live onto the internet machine. Oh, cool. Okay, these guys don't need a bus, no problem. It's just you guys, your own private... So we're in uh, Car Park 4. Car Park 4? Just where? Sounds good. Yeah, that was good timing. Have you been, have you been there long? I just got there actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you just keep going basically? Pretty much, yeah. 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 It's a bit of a, a never ending circuit. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's the worst time? First thing in the morning? The worst time? Uh, no, the worst time is right on lift close. Oh, of course, yeah. Four, yeah. What's that, 430? Four, four o'clock. Four o'clock, yeah. yeah. Okay. When that's when everybody really, really wants to leave. Yeah, so you'd be filling the bus every trip, would you? Pretty much, yeah. 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 Today might be different though, because it's it's pretty quiet today. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Any chance any chance of snow on the next day or two? Apparently so. Apparently overnight tonight. Oh, excellent. Yeah, but um, I mean, looking at the sky now, it doesn't, it doesn't really look like, like it, does it? No, it does not. But it's still, uh, it's still well, I, I've not to compared to it, but it still, still seems like it's pretty good skiing and snow. Yeah. There's plenty of life left in the slopes, I'd imagine. On piste only, bro. Like off piste, there's nothing really to be hit. Right. Yeah. But that's all right. Yeah. So when the, when does the season end? Does uh, it depend on the snow. Well, it does, but they have called it. They've said that uh, the second. No, is it the 8th of October? Oh, really? The first Saturday in October, yeah. Right, so they're expecting a lot more snow than that? They are, yeah. yes. Uh, I suppose the only advantage at the moment for us is that we don't have to put snow chains on. Yes. <laughs> and you too, strong, although yeah. you'd put them on, you'd have them on all day, wouldn't you? We'd leave them on all day, yeah. yeah. Does that damage your tyres? No, no, it just damages the chain oh. after, eventually. Hey, where's your car, yeah, folks? Just uh, straight, we're actually very close to the drop-off point. Oh, Thanks. Okay. Yeah. I think oh, okay. we're about the second or third car down. Oh, beautiful. So we, well, actually, we're about the tenth car down, but it's pretty easy. Thanks for that. No problems. What time do you finish? Four, uh, five o'clock, half four? By the time everything's done and the buses get washed and cleaned downtown, I'm usually clocking off around about quarter past six. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, big days. Big day. What time do you start? I start at seven. Oh, okay. That is a big oh, day. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks, for that guys. Enjoy the rest See of you day. later. Yep. Bye bye. I'm sorry, I'll just get myself. That's all right. Okay, thanks very much. You're welcome. Oh, oh you got your skis, of course. Let me help yeah. you. Oh, my gosh. Hey Charlotte, if you're still in the chat, are you guys at Manly right now? I'm gonna be telling you, I'm a little jealous of that. I'm a little jealous when I heard you were on that Manly Ferry. Uh, I love that ride, and the last time I did it was with Dugski and family. And you should do a little walk up, uh, like where we did, um, on the, not the ocean side, the bay side. There's just walk along the beach, you'll see the, the trail, and just follow the trail up. It goes to nice little coves, and 
take some jack and just sit out there, watch the harbour. Of course the grass is greener on the other side, I, I wish I was there, and then if I was there I'd wish I was back here, but you know what it's like. But this is um, a day on the hill, this is what I've been doing since May, or it started in Ju on June 9. June 8? June 9. Training was June 9, I think. And this is the this is the job. This is what the job entails. This is the job. I like it. I find this enjoyable. But I enjoy people, you know? That's why. People sometimes uh, can make or break a day. Like, if the people are good, then the day can be good. If the people are pricks, then the day can be lousy. But typically, everybody... So, I had this... This is my theory. Everybody up here is acting like children. You know, people are acting like kids. You're very childish. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. Because we're all here to partake in a childish activity. That childish activity being sliding down some slush on a fucking bit of wood. That's skiing, right? That's childish. It doesn't get any more childish than running up a hill and then sliding back down it on a plank of wood. And that's exactly what all of this is for. Everything here, millions of dollars of buses, million dollar base building, million dollar chairlifts, all of it is to act like kids and slide down some slush. So I think everyone has the right to act like children. Now we've got a few people here, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna load them in properly because there's a fair few waiting so we'll, we'll start packing in properly. Leave it with me, I'll be right back. Folks, where can I take you all? Three. 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 Three and four. Sounds good. Three will be after four. Logically done, yeah. Inverse.
that was about Apologies for this bump, folks. <laughs> I saw you at the back there. <laughs> Alright, folks, this is Car Park 4. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> I've never parked any closer. Oh, is this good for you? <laughs> Which one's your car? Oh, bam! Yeah. Whereabouts is your car, folks? In three. Far end. <laughs> far end yeah, for everybody. We split the difference. Uh, about here? Uh, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Down by those silver ones. We're, well, yeah, we're, we're <laughs> we're just there. You're just there? Okay. Then I'll just go. About here is about halfway for all. Very kind of you. There we are. <laughs> nice having gravel on the car park to the mud. Oh, gosh. That slush is just awful. Man, I gotta drink some more water again. All um dusty. It's like, oh, has it been half an hour since lunch? No, one hour, one hour and nine minutes. Oh, my water bottle's in there though. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move you. I'm gonna have to move you over there. That ain't gonna work. You can look at the roof of the bus on a strange angel, because I gotta get some water out of here, man. Man's, my whole. Mouth is just dry and crunchy. I can feel. Dude. 
I can feel s sand. It feels like sand back there. That's the thing. Now I've messed up my uh, makeshift tripod. While we're here, yeah, that's all good. Everything's good. Put you back up there like that. How did we have you? I think we had you like that. That's actually a better angel. Forget that big, big sunlight up there. Is that gonna stay there though? I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I got the, this is um, I really wanna cough up, hock up a big golly, but you know, I'm representing NZ Ski here. It shouldn't be s spitting everywhere, but that's just the, look at all the dust in there, look at it. I don't know if you can see it, but. There goes Jono departing at 12 at 221. Back to shot over country primary school. To get that out, this. Hello, you little specimens. What's cracking in your neck of the town of the woods? Hello, skins. What? What? Say good day. See if I can get to the chat before anyone wants to come on the bus. Just as soon as you get going, it's like, oh, here's my new, here's my shift. Here's my shift for tomorrow. Am I doing night ski or not? Let me see. I don't mind night. Night. I'm on night ski tomorrow. Whoop, 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 whoop. I like night ski. So I get to sleep in the, tomorrow morning. Oh, night ski tomorrow. Are you going to the car park? Yeah, man, yeah. Lay, hey, lay your skis down flat. Don't bother standing them up, just lay them down. Night ski. That means I can sleep in tomorrow. I like that. It's cozy. Wake up late. Actually, to be truthfully told, I still get up at the same time. Ah, no, 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 no. No, it's not true. I don't sleep in, though. Thanks, man. Oh. How's your day been? Oh, it's been good, man. Yeah. Is it just you there? Oh, no. oh, it's me and my dad. You and your dad. Hey, dad. Oh, what are these guys doing? I'm not sure. Are they? Jump on, guys. Cheers. Yeah, welcome. Thanks. Well, you can walk if you want to walk. <laughs> you don't go until it's full? No, I'll go now. Well, as soon as you guys. As soon as you sit down. Oh, there's some more? Yeah, so hurry up, Jenny. <laughs> Uh -huh. No more. Good to go. You, we should have said yes, we only go when we're full and then <laughs> drive straight away. Drive straight past you. Yeah. yeah, and hit the horn. <laughs> bastard! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wouldn't it? See ya. I, I thought that, that driver was so nice this morning. <laughs> it's been a long day. Change. Do you do a bit of filming as well? I'm I'm live streaming right now, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. Oops. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't should be swearing, man. Yeah, like a bit of a, a day in a day in the life of a shuttle driver. It's really exciting. It's riveting. Circle round around circles. Conversations get repeated. Uh, people are wonderful. See, I like people and I like snow and I like driving. So this all works in my favor. And probably 98% of the time people are lovely. This is a good estimate, 98. I'd, I'd agree with that. The first crew. 
off that night, you just let them off early. That's right, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I don't go to that car park. Yeah. Hey, Clay, just taking the inner part of the 40 people, or zero. Nice. 36 and 3 out of Apologies in advance for this bump coming up, folks. It's a big one. <laughs> and you're in the back, too. There's a third jump I've done today. All unintentional. These are moguls on the way down the hill as well as skiing. <laughs> All right, well, this is car park four, folks. Thank you, mate. Thank you. See you guys. Have a good day. Rest of your time. See what these guys get off the back. You're in uh, car park three. We are, yeah. yeah. Good memory. Two E's. All right, they're good. Is it really? It's good. Yeah, how, how does it compare to your regular then? Uh, well, ah. <laughs> so anything's better than that. This so year. that's that's closed, isn't it? Um, so we we just heard today that Tura is closing for a week, but I wouldn't you know, imagine it's probably likely to be longer than that. Yeah, it's number four. Um, um, but we heard a going on. Yeah. But we just haven't had many of those good days. But what we've, had, we've done uh, a week at uh, Mount Hunt. Oh yeah. Which was lovely. We've yep. Four days out of five, which I reckon is a pretty good going. We had good weather, good snow. Uh, we did remarkables yesterday, which was great. And our week at Mount Hunt was after a week of terrible, terrible weather. Ah. A month ago. And this is where we found on a week of Uh-oh. This guy's left his boot open. Do you think he noticed? I don't know. I'm going to flash. Oh, he's got someone else there. <laughs> he knows. They didn't know. Did you hear somebody... Um, this is Carpark 3 anyway, folks. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, yep. Got sidetracked by uh, that car. <laughs> the going's on. Yeah. Okay, have a great day. Thank you, buddy. Cheers. Hopefully see you tomorrow, mate. Yeah, I'll be here. Yeah, take care. See you later. Bye. I'll be here, but I'll be here on night ski. <laughs> Yeah, what you didn't see, obviously, was that the car in front was driving off with their boot open. So I was flickering my lights at them to get their attention, and it worked because one dude got out and closed the boot. Shit, that means that means um tomorrow uh, if it snows overnight I can technically come up early. Am I taking over someone on I hope I'm bringing up my own bus tomorrow because that means I can come up whenever I want. Andrew, you're fine. Is that truck and trailer coming up? That means I can come up. Thank you. Yeah, the w. Doesn't tell me which bus to take. Night ski drivers. Doesn't tell me which bus to load. Dispatch to Ozzy Yeah, 
Yeah, that's interesting. Let me, just, let me just check this time sheets. Yeah, so you're all good. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say I'm probably getting between the end of the day tomorrow. Let me Wednesday. know, but um, yeah, the idea that I didn't have to. Wednesday. Copy that. Well, just let me know when you're at Arrowtown and we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll just say I'm probably getting between the end of the day tomorrow. Let me know, but um, yeah, the idea that I didn't have to. Wednesday. Copy that. Well, just let me know when you're at Arrowtown and we'll go from there. Okay. S8. That's Tuesday. Oh, it hasn't been filled out yet. Okay, I'll check that later on. Night ski drivers, I'm on. Transport assistant, freight. Buses haven't been allocated yet. Anyway, I'll work that out myself. Let me go back to the Discord. Discord, the DLive chat machine. Yeah, uh, I was just trying to think, because if it snows tonight, then I can come up. I'm not starting until three, but I can take my bus whenever I want to come up the hill. So I could drive up at like, Eight if I wanted to, and ride the fresh pow pow. Shout out, Johnson. How you doing, man? You're riding with the world famous Gibbs. A minute, give him a hug. This is the Gibbs bus. As long as the person that landed on didn't mind. Pablo says, "We on the bounce, on the bounce. Got to hang out on the inner child as long as you can." Bug Nana in the house. Good day, Bug Nana. Beauty of a day in Sydney town today. We're back at Circular K. Uh, Curricular Quay. We were just killing time till we can go to the airport to check in. Oh, no. Oh, you're out of there. Okay. We always want what we haven't got. Yep. A driver I would trust to get me safely to the top of the hill, Johnson. Thank you. Thank you. I guess, I guess you're talking about me. She might not have been about me. Uh, how's that shutter speed? I could probably change that to a little bit darker, right? Should we hit ISO instead of auto? We'll, we'll, hit, we'll, make, we'll choose an ISO. We'll choose one. We'll choose 400. It's looking a bit better. Great view. Okay, so I'm catch I caught up with the chat. Oh, the loogie. That was ages ago, dude. That was ages ago when I did that. She, how far back are you in the stream? Come on, I'm up to speed with the chat. You must be, press the live button. Hang on, that's a YouTube thing. You want to see a little bit of view? I know you wanted to see a little bit of things. I'll give you a bit of the view here. Um, ahead of me is the loop road we drive down all the time. This is the base building here. Uh, if we zoom in a little, we got the Crown Range in the distance. Over here we got the Remarkables. Uh, you can't really see past it, I guess you can. Down here in the distance is Queenstown. Um, what else have we got? The car park we drive through down there. Um, we got up there is the ski field. That's what I'll show you. We got the ski field. That's where the action's taking place right now. Um, so yeah, that's that's the action on the uh, M1 and the Express coming back. There's also over this way is green. Oh, you can't see, but behind the dark doors, that's green gates down there. That's the uh, that's how it, that's how it looks, folks. At the Coronet Peak ski field, part of NZ Skis Operations, whom I'm working for for the winter. And um, it'd be nice to have that view as we drive. How can I do that? Can I set that up for, for a singular singular route? If I put the camera... Do you know what? I could do a run... Uh, not really. Thanks for the view. Thanks, Pablo. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try putting it here and see if it just sits there for a run down. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wangle it. I'm gonna wangle it like that. It's wedged in. The microphone's basically holding it there. We'll get it. We'll get a vista. We'll get a run down like that. That'll be our vista down. Hopefully, it stays there. The bump might get us. I'm gonna go super, super, super slow on the bump. But good point. Good point. 
just to prove that this is uh, actually happening live. So that you know that that was live, I'll drive you is what I was saying. That's a great view. I want to do that again in the sunlight. That's gonna be my thumbnail. That's gonna be my thumbnail for the YouTube stream. How about I check if people actually want to run down now, huh? So we got a customer to go down. You. We'll go down. I was. Um, we just have to get into Queenstown. Oh, uh, I'm. I'm only doing car park runs. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you were. You. Oh, no. Yeah. We're, we're. We live in our town, and all of a sudden we had a meeting in Queenstown, and uh, oh, do we walk as fast as we can down there? And then you turned up. Oh, I'll stroke of luck. So good. You save us five minutes. This is working for everybody then. Every minute does count. God, that's a set to be going there. So, so uh, what I've got going there is a live stream, and we are live streaming my day on the job. And we haven't done this angle yet. We've only done the angle of me driving. So I'm trying to, and it's not quite, it's not really sitting there properly. It's just on my jacket, but I figure we'll drive nice and slow. I avoid that lovely road on your right. Yeah, that bit there I'm going to avoid. <laughs> I'll steer clear of that. And why, why live streaming you today? Why? Why live streaming you? Yeah. Uh, that's what I do when I'm not uh, driving a bus. Oh, uh, cool. So, oh. yeah, I am. Um, Day in the life of, is it? Yeah, more or less, yeah. And what's the, what's your website that you run it from? So, I'm on a bunch of different streaming platforms, but predominantly, I guess, I'm on YouTube. That's probably the biggest platform that you guys might know. Yeah. Um, I'm on that platform. I'm on a bunch of other little ones at the same time, so I restream it out, like I broadcast it across all of the platforms. Um, but if you want to tune in, you can go to Gives a Minute. Gives a Minute. Gives a Minute on YouTube, and you will see me literally live until I finish tonight at about 6.15. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you're picking up sound as well? Like yes, yes, there's audio on this. Can you stop at the Prado down here, or do we have to go to the car park? Uh, uh, third car down. Do you know what? I can, because um, that's going to help me out. Oh. <laughs> as well as you guys. There you go. Win-win. Thank you. Not a problem. Is this all you guys here in this Prado? No, uh, just, no, no, just yourself. Okay. All right, well, that's, that works I'll out for you. I'll probably take the skis here. It's all right, mate. It's probably on top. It's wrong. So, Gibbs a... Gibbs a minute. All right. Oh, sorry about that. The door didn't open the whole way. That's my bad. Gibbs a minute. Awesome. Thank you, guys. All right. Now, okay, why is that not embraced the call out? I am surfing. Hold on, okay. this could get a little dicey if I'm a broadcasting and someone is taking over. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I'm just in the sun. Yeah, you're in car park four. I'm gonna hit this bump here very, very slowly. It's a big one. Going super ginger over this. Yeah. 
All right, now where is your car, sir? Can oh, we? It's, it's, uh, it's in the front row of this, you know, it's only about five cars down in the front row. Front row, so basically where I picked you up at the yeah, drop zone? Yeah, me up is pretty cool. Okay, no props. Got another large bump here. I'll go nice and slow over this one too. It's a, it's a decent one. Yeah, that's a big one. All right, I'll just pull in here for you. Yeah, perfect. Here we are. Excellent. Appreciate Thank you, man. That. Cheers. I'll tune in and have a look. Yeah, have a look. Give us a minute. Okay, mate. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. See you later. Bye. So just for those uh, in the chat, I have been manhandling as we drive. I've been holding the uh, camera. It has been wobbling a little and drifting, but um, I can probably, now that we're going back uphill, I can probably leave it and it should be good. So we just did car park four and now we're gonna scoot back up to the base building. We're gonna cut through car park three, which is to the right. Car parks five and six to the left, folks. We're going to the right. And there's a whole bunch of holes up here, which I'm going to have to go super slowly around the sides of. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, holes right here. If I can get, I see it's wobbled now. I reckon I can jam that in there better. Once we stop, I'll, I'll do a good Jimmy Jam. I'll jam that in there in a better position, I think. So you guys get to see, could be a nice sunset too tonight. That could be fun. And here we go, back up now towards the base building. There's a gas truck coming down, but he's gone right left. If I go slow enough up here, you can look ahead and see the roads crew playing cricket. There's no one behind me, I can I can just can see that. Oh, this I'll just go slowly and look at this, the roads crew. Ah playing cricket. That's cozy. They're bowling and hitting with a with a shovel, a snow shovel. So I'm gonna see if I can make this better. I'm gonna do this, because we could leave it on there for a little while, right? I'll try by putting, um, I think my water bottle will fit in there and jam it right in tightly. So we'll do a few more circuits, then we'll do a sunset circuit. When the sun goes to the setting of the sunset. Let me jam my water bottle under there and we'll see how well that sits. Is it going to sit like that, the water bottle? Not really. How can I do it properly? I guess I could just turn it around a little. It's going to be pretty sketchy to do. There's my water bottle. If I can jimmy that underneath it. No, that's not cool. It's gotta go. How? It's gone the wrong way, dude. I've, I jimmied it the wrong way. I jimmied it the wrong way. 
You j oh, Jimmy's loose. Jimmy. Now I've messed it up. I had it perfect almost. I had to touch it. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Oh, we have some customers. Hello! Is this the car park shuttle? It is indeed. Okay, wait, so can you drop us off at car park four? Well, I can do that. Lay, just lay your gear down. I think we've nailed that in terms of sitting there. I might even ask you guys what you'd prefer. Would you rather that view or, or my hideous head? I think you'd rather that view, surely, right? What a beautiful day, eh? Cracker, huh? Absolute cracker. Good to go, huh? No, not yet. Oh, no, not yet. People still coming. Why is people standing there right? He's up now. Because you're not there to help me. Oh, there's Uncle Mike. Oh, right. well, that's okay. We'll come. We'll fuck him up. Stop picking him up. Oh, no. Mike, we'll pick you up. We'll pick you up. All right. Do you go up there or no? No. Just down to the car parks. Which okay, car parks are you in? Four. Four. Four? No yeah. worries. going to say that actually. Oh, <laughs> I was going to be cheeky and correct it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James and I were having lots of fun. Yeah, Luca. <laughs> That's silly. Where were you brung up? It's good England now. <laughs> Where were you brung up? Where were you brung up? Where were you brung up, bro? <laughs> Rather large bump coming up, folks, or a set of bumps. Okay, thanks, Apologies. Mate. Thanks. I'll go super slow.
All right, folks, this is gut bug three, uh, four. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. nice family now okay so there was no one in three I am um, speaking to the chat here I gotta check my um, video go I, I don't think it's getting a charge anymore because that means we've expired one of those battery packs Wow that's that's a big pack to have already expired depleted but either way I'll check it but this is kind of working better this this setup now on the dash Actually, yeah, how about now, at this particular point, tell me, would you rather have that vision or would you rather have it how it was before? Tell me now, and when I stop up to check the uh, battery thing, I'll, I'll check the chat as well. What would you prefer, the vision you've got there or the vision of me driving? And, no, the, and we can also swap it around a bit here and there, you know? One's not always got to be the, the way. pull up here and create some shade and have a look at that um the video you go what's going on with the battery charge sitch I've gone too far around the shadows gotta be just my head now okay this will do just check it here give me a second to do this and then I'll check the chat so it's yes yeah, it's not getting a charge anymore, it's down to 51 percentile. That means this power bank is depleted. That did not last very long. Well, I'll keep an eye on it, and then we'll have to use the second power bank. Which I was kind of saving for the GH5, but we'll have to go with what we've got. We'll have to go with what we've got. We'll work it out. 51%. Now I'll check the chat and see what you guys say about the idea of the angel, the camera angel. Let me refresh my trousers. Refreshing the channel here. This is better. Awesome view. Okay, we'll leave it on that then. Pablo made a clip. Thank you, man. I forgot to tell you about clipses. Suki gifting a sub out. Hendrik with a saw. What, Suki? I wish I could stop and chat with you, you lovely yo. Who's longer, but I gotta drive. Ah! I gotta drive. It's now 2.54 p.m. And in uh, the next little while, oh, these guys have a beers, yeah. Uh, in about an hour and a bit, the lift closes, and then we do get sort of busy. So it's good to have this kind of sussed out. Oh, that's a bit wobbly. Actually, I can fix that. Just give me a second here. I can fix that. Wobble-a-thon. Oh, 
Hey, copy dispatch. Uh, unless you need Jono for a run back, it looks pretty manageable down here for just one shuttle at the moment. Copy that, Ben. On. Well, I won't need him if you don't need him. I mean, I like the guy, but I don't need him. Yeah, nah. I feel you there. All right, Jono, you still going? Go on. Copy that. So that's Jono. That's we just that's the radio call that we were talking about earlier. That might have happened. That did happen. That will happen. That should happen. That did happen. Uh, Jono is clear at Shotover Country Primary, and he was told to clear and come clear and return. But we don't need him up here. So. Bridget in dispatch doesn't need him. I don't need him. So he's just gonna get, park up and he's done for the day. That's a short shift, but you know, he doesn't mind. He said he doesn't need the money, he doesn't need the hours. While I've got time, I think I'm going to change that power bank over. Because, yeah, I'm going to change it now. I'll go in front of the van. Boss. I'm on the other side now. I'm going to just change this power bank over because probably what will happen is I'll get busy and I won't get the Oh, you know what I should do? I should take a slash. Yeah, I'm going to go up and take a slash, folks. I'll change this power bank over and then I'll go and take a slash. Oh, no. I'll go, I'll do the slash first. Yep, I forgot about this. I've got to go and do a slash. This way I prepare myself for onslaught later. Cool, cool, cool. Back in a moment, folks.
Okay, I think I should have fixed it. It crashed right as I left to take a slash. Interesting. Okay, that's back up. Yeah, interesting. How you going, buddy? Do you want to ride? Hey, buddy. It's building up. There's three now. Got your wish, uh, little guy. So, car park's for, for both of you, yeah? Yeah, we're all good. Yeah. Yes. Good manners, man. Thank you. This guy here, yeah, for. Thank you. I didn't know that shuttle service. You didn't know there was one? So we have a free shuttle. Uh, there's two of us usually. There's only me on at the moment. Yeah. And we just do a circuit around. And whenever, I mean, I was just in the bathroom before, but yeah. coming in and out whenever I'm here. And Usually we wait for a full load or close to a full load of people, but yeah, it's pretty quiet today, so yeah. It's actually super mellow out there, it's uh, been really nice. Oh yeah? Yeah, a lot less busy than um, a few days ago. That's good to hear. Pretty large bump coming up, folks. I'll uh, go slow over it, but still is notable. <laughs> That'll be the one. That's a big one. So I don't know where your cars are, but I'll go sort of halfway in and yeah, that way. Halfway in. Is work best for both of you. you. Somewhere here is about halfway in the car park. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Just Thank don't you. forget your skis on the back. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks guys. So in the chat here, uh, Hendrik, I did activate I did activate that free hour of uh, um, two degrees internet. Thank you for reminding me or uh, just checking with me. Appreciate that. Um, what I think happened before, often the video you go loses connection with the server. It's happened a number of times and it's and it's notable. It sucks, but it's notable. Honey girl's in the house, Mr. B's in the house. Good to see you, honey girl. Pablo, oh snap, smack my head. The stream won't is not M tag, so I won't mention my problem. Okay. I have a found I have a drone problem. I made three clips for it so far. First sucked next to a better. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave it with this vision. I guess. Yeah, we're gonna leave it like this. I'm going to continue driving, but this. So it's now quarter past three. 
um, it's going to get slowly more busy. Like for a little while, it'll be busy. Not busy, busy, but this car park here is usually a lot fuller. So we've already we've already done, or I've already done most of the work. So come come four o'clock when the lift closes, there'll be a little bit of a rush, and then it'll all be over pretty quickly. Um, so keep with that in mind, let's go back up to the to the uh, shuttle zone, drop zone. go from there. I'm gonna have a muesli bar too pretty soon. Worth noting is my phone is getting quite flat too. All of my things are getting flat, um, but the one thing that I'm really intrigued about is how much data this is used. Because I've got 100 gig for Vodafone and 40 with two degrees. And they both work up here. So I wonder, and I, and I had like almost fresh packets, like full, full health is what I'm just trying to say at the beginning of this stream. Well, 98, I'd had, I'd used two gig of the hundred, of the main one, Vodafone. I really need a chat, hey. I wanna ask Hendrik, are you at the airport now? And you and Charlotte having an airport bevy? guys just come and jump on hey dudes just lay your boards flat in the rack at the back like lay them down because we'll just take you guys and these other guys just go on yeah i'll just go forward a bit awesome. jump on man Good timing. nailed it yeah we got a number five, so that's oh, five. Sense. No worries. <laughs> yeah. Five, buddy. <laughs> so you guys are in four? Yeah. Four. And five. Beautiful. That's the camera in the front for. Doing a little live stream. Oh yeah? Yeah, been live streaming a whole day of my job, like from when I started to hopefully the batteries last. I end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See what's going on in the mountains? Just, uh, yeah, seeing what happens and it's kind of like the way this, the, what, what I'm thinking is this video might help people that might want to apply for this job. They can search it up and find it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Watch the VOD and then see what it's actually like for a whole day. Yeah, yeah. Do you use chains often? Uh, yeah, yeah. Use yeah. chains quite a lot, actually. Yeah. yeah. In the last week or two, we haven't, because uh, there hasn't been much snowfall, but before that, yeah, most days. Uh, for mud? Yeah, not for mud. It's muddy over on uh, Remarkables. Funnily enough, I did get stuck last Wednesday night during the Catch a Fire gig. I got stuck <laughs> at the entrance to Car Park 7, which is the furthest one away, yeah. in mud. And I made that same call of mud need mud, uh, chain, chains for mud. <laughs> Yeah. The fireworks are on too, it was all the things were happening. Yeah, wonderful. It's been a while. Yeah. So there's a big bump here folks, I apologise in advance. Yeah, that's a bit hectic.
All right, so I don't know where your car is here in four, so I just kind of went halfway down into yeah, it. You do. Is this good for you? Yeah. yeah. No props. You're welcome. You're on five, right? Just five yeah. On the, road in, yeah. on the road in on five, or are you sure you're not in three? No, five. It's a long walk. Okay. is down here. Yep. That's where all you guys are, yeah? Yep. Sweet, yep. okay. This is our taxi right home. <laughs> You're going straight to the airport, yeah? Yeah, fly out of five. Oh wow. Domestic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the uh, back right just the side of the GC. Okay, gotcha. Do you have gear on the back? No. Oh, then in that case you can guys can go in front of my bus and you'll get straight to your... That's great service. There you go. Perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Thanks guys. For the stream, uh, you guys haven't been in this car park yet, so that's kind of handy. We've come down into car park 5. We're going to exit through car park 6 just because of the way the car parks are laid out. Uh, I can't turn, so car park five continues to the right and car park six, six veers off to the left through this mud, which we're gonna avoid. Uh, you do get an abso, can I swear here? Abso, fucking lutely beautiful view from here though. Can we just pause? Like I gotta crack a muesli bar, have a swig of water. Look at that view, look at it. Isn't that wonderful from up here? Hey, I can't, I can't have a swig of water because my water is holding my camera up, but I can crack a muesli bar here. Look at that view, folks. Like, this never, ever gets... I never get tired of this. Every day I look at it, I see it, I'm enthralled by it. It's magical, it's wonderful. Unbelievable. And that view's pretty good, too. <laughs> the muesli bar's rubbish. It's just a cheap one. So we're in car park six here. Further down the mountain, you can see car park seven. Chain bay four and the grid bay. You might not have seen that, but. Yeah, and on a busy day, all this whole thing will be covered in cars. I forgot about that bump. I forgot that was there. My bad on that bump. Yeah, and from here we just go right. We swing right and go back up. An MAN coming up the hill though. There's one coming down. Now, you guys haven't seen this all the way down from car park six back up. On the right is car park three. One of the earliest to fill up that car park, car park three.
there's the mountain ahead of you, the ski field. <coughs> That's the uh, Coronet Express still running. For another 35, no, 45 minutes that remains on. Here we are, up to the pickup zone. Pickup point, not zone. The shuttle pickup point. <laughs> and that's how we roll. Hi. Hello. Are you going up or down? Right I'm now? going down. Okay. Uh, not to Queenstown, just to car parks though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jump uh, on. Can I get it? Do you go all the way down to five? Yep. For sure. For a Jump on, man. Cheers. Oh, man, look at this. What's going on? It's an empty bus. Yeah, empty, empty just for you, man. Nice, nice, I'll nice. just see where these guys are going. Yeah, sure. If they want to jump on. Can you back up, Where are these guys? Man, you got the full setup. Camera, mama, yeah. mic, everything. I'm doing a live stream here. Oh, shit. It's a good view though. Oh, it's a great view, you man. You could do the, uh, you know there's a, uh, there's this like a uh, trend going on these days where uh, you play like a uh, repeated background on your computer. Oh like yeah. Study or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you could like, uh, you know, put this up on YouTube and then people will just see Queensland, you know. Dude, I'm way ahead of you. Oh yeah. I've already done that on oh, my shit. channel. Damn. I did it with a, a couple of lakes around here in oh, Queensland. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, no, Queensland's pretty beautiful. And the most recent one I did was the Remarkables on a clear day with no clouds because it's got to be a loop, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't have a cloud go and then stop because then it will loop back. Yeah, yeah You yeah. want it to be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I stretched them out. Uh, so we're the designated... Yeah, drivers, yeah. Okay. Where, where'd you park? Oh, I parked four. Oh, wait, I'll just go in and then you can... Uh, yeah, car park four, please. Yeah, no worries. <sighs> Just lay, lay your skis down, on, just lay them flat, and then just jump on. Yeah, and I stretched those videos out for 12 hours. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. the AdSense revenue. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. Is that why you do it, or is it just a hobby you decide to upload I, it later? No, I, I, I have been doing YouTube for seven years now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. What's your channel? I'll subscribe for, yeah, the, man. for the views, bro. You'll hear yourself on this stream. It's called Give, Gives a Minute. Gives, gives a Minute? That's right, Gives a Minute. And it's live right now, you'll see it there. Are you guys going to four as well? Yeah. You're f oh, your guys are in five, four and five. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. You found it there, man? Yeah, I found it. Sweet. Some of this on replay. <laughs> Couple of last runs, though. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. The one before. <laughs> I could have enjoyed the better life. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little path. <laughs> that's, that's probably the better way to do it. You actually treat the mic like a little bit. That's awesome. Without hitting it. Yeah, if you leave a stiff leg on those, you're going to pop off. Oh, that's what I was I'd lose my legs. Yeah. <laughs> you really listen to the Oh, no. Yeah, I can. Because yesterday I couldn't power all the way on blues. Yeah. yeah. I can do it on blues today. Oh, nice. And I was, I was pretty safe until I went on that one. Like oh, that, that the stupid section. Yeah. yeah, the icy yeah, part. Like kind of... everything apart from the icy part, I'm like fine. I'm yeah. great. It's a workout, but I'm like not 
crash. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Because like the icy yeah. one, like you speed up a lot, but then you can't stop. Yeah, and, and the turns don't work as well. Like yeah. everything I've been taught just doesn't work. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's really slow. Unless uh, I just right, say horizontal and just like literally slide down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that Even works. Horizontal can yeah. slide down, right? It's out of Yeah, but that's just such a workout. Alright, right, folks, this is Scott Park 4. Yeah. 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 See you later. See you, Jay. Uh, is this us? Yeah. I can't tell. You can't tell? <laughs> Thank you, mate. See you guys. Cheers, buddy. Dad, you're forgetting your... Oh my god, I was going to say, you're walking off. <laughs> he forgot. <laughs> Do you guys have lessons up there today, did you? Uh, no, no Helen, no. she did. Yeah, okay. Um, but I, I didn't. I just, just you know, trial by fire. Yeah, nice. Tried, tried to, <laughs> tried to stay alive. Uh, it's like they got everything off the back there. Yep. The road's just dusty. That's the that's the only problem when you're gonna have dust. Yeah. Yeah. The, the car, the car's covered in mud. It's a white car, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's yours, man? Uh, it's just what, it's like a little bit further up. Okay. It's on one of those. Uh, it's that white car. That, uh, gotcha. Oh, it's still here. <laughs> still pretty clean too. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty surprised to be honest. Take a long, long last All look right. at that. <laughs> Have a good day, man. Thank I'll you, man. See you around. See you, dude. See you later. that it was on a replay? My stream's on a replay on YouTube? Is that what I, I think he said it's on a replay. That can't be right. And I'll never know, because I can't stop and check. I could probably stop here and check. By the way, that's two cars to, two uh, drop-offs to Cup Bug 5. When there's no, no one around, that's kind of rare. I don't know why he would have said that's on a replay. I'm just gonna stop here and try to get this. How can I get this straight? How can I get this straight? Stay straight. Okay. Well, that's got the water bottle in the vision though. Have you guys been seeing the water bottle the whole time? I hope not. I really hope not. Um, let me just do... No, nah, I gotta... It's... No, nah, it's... Oh no, it's still, it's still early. It's 3.33. I will just check what that guy was talking about. I'm gonna go to YouTube here. What was he talking about? It's on a replay. That doesn't seem right. YouTube. Go to my channel. Huh? It says it's live. Why would he say it's on a replay? It literally says it's live. Maybe he meant it's live. He meant maybe he's playing the replay is live game. Either way, I'm going back to the DLive to check the chart here. DLive machine, my profile, my channel. If they're he helpful with advice stories, better trip. Pablo, maybe a fiver. This is really cool. Thank you, honey girl. Thank you, Pablo. No water bottle in the field of view. Interesting. That clip is the best one yet. They're good, Pablo. Good clips, okay. I'm out of practice. Timing is key. Yo, Kevington! 
Kevington with the follow. Yeah! How do you like that for a follow welcome? Ah, oh, yeah! Davo's in the house. G'day, Davo, how you doing? Oh, I gotta keep driving, folks. Gotta keep moving, I gotta keep rolling. Gotta keep this show on the road, so to speak. Cause it's now 3.35, lifts close in a 25 minutes, and we gotta be up there because there's gonna be dudes that want rides back. And dudettes, people, people, pu pu uh, guest customers. Nah, man, something's wrong with this. Hang on, let me just. Why can't this sit? Let me let me figure this out, dudes. It's constantly sitting to the left. Why? I don't know. How can I fix it? I think this will fix it. Well, while I'm here, get a swig of water. I'll lift up my jacket a bit higher. That's better. That is better, I think. There's my bottle there again. Okay, we've, we've, we've nailed it. I think. We'll see anyway. Alright, pick up points. Uh, of course, there's a massive bump here. Super bad. And here comes an MAN down. Let this guy go. That's Craig. That's Craig kicking up a dust storm. Doing his thing. Up we go. Oh, that looks shit. The water bottle's in the way. I gotta get that water bottle out of it. What is. Oh, that's fourth, man. That went from second to fourth. I did not put that in fourth. Apologies for the water bottle. You got a good view of the water bottle though. Look at that. That's a New Zealand water bottle, folks. All the way from the ski fields of Coronet Peak. A lovely view. Of the water bottle. I'll get it out of there. Get it out of there. Get, get him out of there. That looks kind of strange though, doesn't it? The view through the water bottle. <laughs> Alright, I'll fix it now when we get in here. Alright, I'll fix it now. Just let me park this up. Open the door. I'll go and help these customers as well. Let's get that water bottle out of the way. We're good. How you doing, folks? Jump on. Oh, you're 
You can sit up here, ma'am, if you want. There's a. Sure, I'll sit around with the Oh, and I just. Sorry. <laughs> what do you need, Joe? Sweet. So, where are we all going to, folks? Uh, three. Four. 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 three and four, okay. Three. I'll hit four, I'll hit four first, then three. <laughs> up on the hill. I see. I see. Yeah. Oh no. But hopefully I think they were saying overnight it should be a little bit better. This is what I've heard uh, snowfall snow forecasted tonight tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because it was also the first day for us today so I'm out of practice. So oh yeah. The ice <laughs> was a little oh, bit more challenging. A hard day to start on. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean look at the sky so yeah. can't have everything. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Sydney. Oh, nice one. Me too. Yeah. Oh, really? Where yeah. about? I'm the shy boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. my, mine and my sister's parents live in Cronulla. Oh, is that right? Yeah. But um, me and my partner live in Northbridge. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But are you also in Cronulla? Or? No, actually, I'm I'm on the south coast these days. Oh, uh, so but yeah, born and too. born and bred in Oyster Bay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. There's a couple from the block from me, like, from Oyster Bay. Is that right? <laughs> Oh, I haven't watched it. Oh, oh, is, there, so is, is there really a couple from Oyster Bay <laughs> yeah. on the show? Okay. Yeah. They Maybe were I'll check it out. Late starters because a couple pulled out. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's definitely worth a watch. You might even know them. What age group are they? Like, I'd probably say like early 30s. They've got okay. um, young kids. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'm guessing this is number This four? is Car Park 4, yeah. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You.
Hello. Is there a chance we could get dropped at Vincent's hut, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to swing around to car park three. Vincent uh, Ski Club. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Appreciate that. Not a problem. That's awesome. Have you got gear in the back? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Okay. No worries. Uh, Now car park three, folks. Here we are folks, car park three. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thank you. Are we sure? Are we, sh are we sure we're not getting any of my jacket in the vision? That's my jacket there, isn't it? Oh, we're getting a little bit of jacket. Jacket? Get that jacket out of there. Maybe it's bouncing up and in. Who cares? Can't be perfect. They can't all be zingers. Like I said, this is not my not my bus. I'm just temporarily streaming from it. If it was streaming from Steve Ann, I'd have this set up 
perfectly for a stream. We'd have two cameras. You know how I'd do it. This is just a one-off occasion. Hey, last time we came up this bit of road, we had a bottle in front of the vision. You know? It is now 10 minutes to four. 10 minutes until the lift closes. 10, 10 minutes. Ten minutes to the close and look at the people coming. Where can I take you all? Four, please. Four. Four it is. And then 27 Apologies in advance, folks, for this bump. It's a big one. Wow. <laughs> All right, folks, this is Car Park 4.
what I was saying then to the camera was I hope you're okay. I said, are you okay? I hope you're okay. I hope everything's going well for you. That's what I said to the camera. Because I want you to be okay. Even though you're on a bit of an incline there, not quite straight. Not level, H-Man, I apologize. He's probably flying anyway. He's far from level right now. He's vertical. He's up in the skies. The H-Man flies. There's my jacket in the frame again. I want to fix that. I will fix that. Watch out for these bumpers. Four minutes till lift closes, and then there shall be a little bit more of an onslaught of customers. Happy customers at the end of an exhaustive day of skiing, snowboarding, and frolicking amongst their family, enjoying the dining experience at Heidi's Hut, perhaps having a champagne, perhaps just snowboarding until their legs fall apart. Let me fix this. I don't want to see any of that jacket. Get out of there, jacket. Get him out of there. No, nah, it just bounces back up, doesn't it? This jacket's, this jacket's got a mind of its own. This jacket. That'll have to do. That'll have to do. Yes, uh, not long until the lift's closed is what I was uh, getting at. And at that point, you know, technically it's going to get busier. Well, it'll be a short burst of uh, eruptions. People will be keen to move and get out and that's just sliding everywhere, isn't it? I might change the angle back to down, down angle for a little while. We've seen enough of the road, right? You've seen this, you're seeing this as much as I'm seeing it now. Maybe I'll go back to the downward angle. I can't get that to sit properly. You're just seeing too much of my chicken. This right here. There's my jacket. Jump on, guys. Sorry, I asked you the helmet, bro. Folks, where are we off to? Four. 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 I'm hearing four and four alone. Yeah, four. four it is. It's got a magic number. That's gone well. Nine and three quarters. <laughs>
Folks, well, this is car park four. Amazing, thank you. Thank you. Tell me a little time lapse of your drive. Uh, it's a live stream, actually. Live streaming. <laughs> Um, I feel like I'm not going to change the angle. It seems like it's sitting there well. I feel like I'm... Uh... No, I'm going to change it because we're going to go downhill soon. And then when we go downhill, I'll put it back to that angle. So for the rest of the, uh, the busy period, so to speak, we're going to have this angel. Yeah, I'll put it back over there. And then when we go down the hill, I'll turn it back around. And then at this point we will drop the shutter speed right down. Okay, so that's a different, that's a bit, that's what we're gonna have for a little while. And then when we when we when we descend with some stuff, maybe we'll put it back on that way, I think. Because you want to see the downward descend of the entire mountain, right? That's gonna wobble forward, isn't it? Just lean back there, dude. Just chill back there. Yeah, lean it, lean back. Because it's now three minutes past four, so the lift is closed and people will be uh, lining up for the bus. More or less, maybe not too bad. Let's not forget it's a free service, so you can't really get angry because it's a free service. But people still do get angry. That's why I, I don't do this, but Jono, bless his cotton socks, he tells him to fuck off. He says, you can walk. It's a free service. I'm not kidding, eh? I'm like, ah, yeah, but... I just like, don't get angry at me. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. It's all you can be asked to do, man. The best as you can is, that's all you can do. Nobody can give more than 100%. Uh, it must be 44, sorry, 44, By definition, that is the most oh, anyone yeah. can give. Oh, oh, oh. You will beat Shelbyville. You will each give 110%. That is impossible. Nobody can give more than 100%. By definition, that is the most anyone can give. Dude, having said that about the lifts being closed and there being a massive lineup, I see four people waiting in the pickup. Four. What? Is it is it real? 
I thought I'd be getting hammered right now. Three people, not even four. Hey guys. Hey, lay your, lay your board down flat in the in the uh, rack at the back. Don't stand it up, just lay it down. Yeah, it's three of you guys. How's it going, man? Oh, nice. Yeah, bet, yeah, it's pretty icy. Out yeah. of the four days we've been here, that was the hardest. Yep, yep. I hear it, I hear it a lot. Just need some snow now. Maybe tomorrow, eh? Maybe tomorrow, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Starting to fade, by the way. It's, they've said it's snow overnight. Oh, yeah? Oh, hang on, we've got this dude here. Let's go. It'll <laughs> be more. Well, yeah, because you, I got you to lay your boards down when there was nobody, and then everybody rocked up. <laughs> they, they all won't fit if they're all going to lay their boards down. You just film yourself all the way all day, do you? I'm doing a live stream right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I've been live streaming my whole day on shift. Oh yeah. Just it's like a. Um, the idea is that people that might want to apply for this job can sort of see quite literally what the whole day entails. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are, you, um, are they finding it hard to find staff? Uh, I'm not 100% certain on that. I think we're okay in the transport division. I have heard uh, F and B and like um, custodians are hard to come by. Custodians, like cleaners. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the. Yeah, I guess. So. I did. I answered the same way when someone told me that. Then, so I, was like, I said, "Well, that sounds flash." Yeah, it's a cleaner. <laughs> Yeah. So they're hard to get staff for, but transport seems all my. I mean, the shuttling, we're, we're pretty. We're, we're happy, we're good. As a minimum wage all around? Uh, no, in fact, we got a pay rise oh, just recently that really did lift it up quite adequately. No. Like, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with what they. See, I, I'm not a driver by trade. No. But. Um, I just thought this was kind of normal, but all the other drivers were saying, oh, it's not very good pay. And then they gave us a pay rise, and I was like, wow, that is... And everybody seems happy now. Sweet. Yeah. So you just do this in the winter, right? Eh? This is the first time I've ever done it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I sort of do a lot. It's good fun, man. Yeah. You get seasons pass out of it? Yeah, yeah, you get the season pass. Yeah. And you can ride on your um, on your lunch breaks as well, oh, cool. that kind of thing. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is Scarbuck 4, folks. Choice. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thanks, man. Yeah, sweet as. So you guys in three, are you? Three, yeah. Two is. He's good. Sweet. See you, man. Seven. Yeah. Seven official, and then there's two additionals that we sometimes bump into. Yeah. Chain Bay 4 becomes a car park if it needs to, and the grid pile, which is the big mound of grid. We use that as a car park if we need to. Oh, where's your car, dudes? Uh, Just the juicy bed. Juicy at the end? Gotcha. This is as close as I can get. Yeah, Thank you. See you guys. Yeah. 
All right, are you comfy there? Are you happy, stream? Are you just chilling there? Are you got a little position? Are you liking it? You're holding it? You're maintaining it? Is it you? Have you got it? It's your position, stream. You've got to hold it. Hold it. I think you heard me saying, hold it. I might have thought I was talking about him holding his snowboard. I was not. I was not. So it is now 411, 411. And uh, well, we should have a few more people around. Uh, I can see three again, dudes. She. I see three people waiting again. Doesn't seem right. Oh, we had auto ISO on, that's why this is all. I've got to change back to auto ISO, I think. For the internal. Oh, we got four now. I'm gonna load these skis in properly because we should be busy and I'm frightened that we will be busy. How you going bud? G'day mate, how are you? Good thank you. Go ahead and jump on. Yeah. Yep, jump in. Why can't you change it? Was that car in it, Shuttles? Yes, 10 4. Would you mind doing a pickup at Green Gates of the lift team in about 10 minutes, please? Copy that. 10 minutes, Green Gates. No problems. Thank you very much. Uh, so, where are we going, folks? Four. Four, Four and three, no and worries. Five. And five. Sounds good. I'm going to do three lasts, just in case you're wondering. So we'll do four, five, yeah. three. Outside there. That is there, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Straight over. You can see the access road winding, it's kind of way around. Yeah. 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 And that's Queenstown through that valley there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Resolution. Apologies for this large bump, folks. This one's big. 
It's the most fun of the day. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid it, but there's been a car that's forcing me onto it. It's been there all day, and I'm like, how long until that car leaves? Purpose, make quick digger, digger deeper. Yeah. All right, well, here we are. This is four, folks. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why are they going? Oh, I can't get a tire charge. Whether it's the speed of my good or the But anyway, Hannah says go. So I said, come and get me and I'll come. Can you see your car in five guys? Yeah, it's that purple one down there by the uh, cut. By the cone. By the cone? Gotcha. And have you got gear on the back? Yeah. yeah. Right. I'll stop with the back of the van, the back of the bus right by your tailgate. Thank you. I should be able to just load straight off into your tailgate. Thank you. This is car park three, folks. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't see that. Ah, uh, that's so cool down. Ah, oh, down with parks at car. Ah, oh, fuck me.
Okay, so that's that run done. But now we have a request from I think it, I think it was the um, Lifty team. They got on our channel and asked to be picked up at Green Gates, which is something we don't do hardly at all. We never go into Car Park Two. Um, it's, well, at the end of the day, it's going to be fine. There's going to be nobody there. But in the mornings, Car Park Two fills up immediately. It's the only car park you can ski to and from. There's a, well, there's a chairlift in the car park, so you can literally park your car and walk two meters to the chairlift. So that's why it fills up immediately, and that's why there's no point any of us going in there. But I got a request on the radio, which is why we listen to the radio, to Coronet Shuttles to come in and pick up the um, lifties. It has happened once before, early in the season. Uh, so here we go again, doing it. It kind of sucks because it takes me away from the actual job because there's probably going to be customers wondering why I'm in... Well, they probably don't wonder, but they're waiting for a shuttle. And I guess I'm just taking these guys... There's nobody here. Oh, there they are. They're laying on the chairlift. <laughs> Oh, this guy made it hard for me to do a three-point turn here. Oh, we're going to put on auto ISO, won't we? Let me do that. ISO. Auto ISO is better. See, these guys don't know that I'm busy right now, so they're just walking really slow. It's not, it's not their fault, but... Hey guys, just bring your boards on. Am I just taking you up to the to the base building? Yes, yeah, please. yeah. Nice no sweat. Just the three of you? Yeah, cool. Too easy. So I'm only going up to the uh, shuttle pickup zone. Just sort of yeah. How was your day? It was so cruisy. Yeah, like, we've, I've had so a cruisy deep. one. Yeah. Felt like it's been like five days in one though. Yeah, it's yeah. gone long. Long day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I tell you, we need days like this to, to yeah. chill out after how busy we've been. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. How, what was it, how were the car parks? Oh, I hardly even filled up four. Oh, really? So that's an Should indicator, have... yeah. Yeah, wow. Get a ride back today? Oh, I did, but I chose not to use it. Yeah, yeah it's fine. pretty lousy up there. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. I'm a bit snobby about it. Yeah. <laughs> Is it pretty patchy up, up your way, up, up Green Gates? Um, there's a few patches, yeah. Yeah. It's not, like, it's not too bad. Real bad. There was still sort of snow coverage over most of it, though. Yeah. yeah. Down the long oh, that's good to hear. Oh, All right, here we are, folks. So nice. You're Thank welcome. You. 69. Yeah, it was. 
All right, folks, where are we going? Four, four, five, four and five. All right. Folks, this is car park four. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Shuttle. Hang on, so where's this one going up? Just car parks, yeah. Can we, can we go back up? Because I think we misunderstood the guy. The guy said car park four up there. Yeah. Like, why did he say that when we try to put the board on? I'm the only guy. What guy are you talking about? Upstairs, where we put the board. Where the buses are. Where the buses were. Yeah. Yeah. So we tried to put the board on, and he said, no, car park four. So our assumption was the bus coming from here down to Queensland. I don't, I don't understand that, but yeah, I tell you, really the remedy, weird. the remedy. So can would, we go back up? Yeah, jump yeah. on, but just bring your boards onto the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks. That's a weird one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very weird one. Think you, you think you've heard them all, and then that pops up. Okay. That's really weird. Yeah, that, that's. I was just saying that's yeah. a weird one, man. Well, actually, a couple of people. Yeah, under there the were same a few impression. people going down that way. Yeah. Thanks. So you say so what? You walked down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a few people. That's really strange. So somebody up there told him. somebody up there told you that to get a bus to Queenstown you have to be in car park four. Well, we put the um, we put the try to put the board on. He said no car park four. Wait, 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 wait. You try to put the board on his bus. Correct. He's driving to Queenstown and he's and he told you. He just said the words car park four. He said car park four, so quite a few people walk. You know what? Like I should have asked him for clarity around that. Yeah. Um, but hey, I don't know why he made that assumption. You're in car park five, aren't you, sir? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I'm just trying to I'm trying to work out what what the confusion might have been. Or what the yeah, uh, why? If you, yeah. What? So. I hope you're still there. It was an NZ ski bus, like one of the. Yeah. Yeah. And you and people were loading gear onto it. Oh, there were only a couple of boards. There weren't many. Yeah, there and who? And, and, and the guy was dressed in a high vis. He was, dude, wasn't he? No, yeah, Did he have a knee. Yeah, what beautiful. Where's your car, sir? The white one on your right. Oh, I got you. Thank you, man. 
He had a he had a what? A, I think he had a blue jacket on. Was it a blue? I think, yeah. Okay, that doesn't sound like a staff. Because our our dispatch and our crew are all in high vis. Is it? Uh, Thanks, man. No, it wasn't. Yeah, they definitely didn't have high vis. So what goes from car park four anyway? Only this. Nothing. Bus. Okay. Yeah, that, that, the only thing departing car park four is me in the morning when people turn up and park there, and we drop them up at the uh, oh, yeah. at the drop zone. That's really weird, man. Very similar. Uh, so we've missed that bus thing. Well, no, there's more buses going yeah, back yeah. downtown, but it sounds like someone spoke to you uh, so not in official capacity, but you guys might have mistook them to be someone. Like, Well, it was his bus, so... Ah, uh, oh, okay, so a different bus line. Potentially so, a different bus line. Yeah, okay, so he wasn't dressed like I am. No. Okay, so that's a different... Okay, and, he's, and his answer was car park... Car park four. Why would he be going to car park for that? That's yeah. yeah, that's that's even stranger, but it does kind of narrow it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, look, I should have. No, no, it's not really on you at that point because you just see a bus and and well, we've just been yeah, scanned like too. White, yeah. White so we've just yeah. been scanned yeah. and then walked up, right? And ah. he said, No, car park. The car park four. Yeah, that's definitely not on you then. Yeah. At all. But that, it's weird that you, I would have asked, I would have said, what, we've got to walk to another car park to get the bus? Well, but the I, bus... I haven't done it before, so that's why... Yeah, yeah. And when you got there, you must have been like, the fuck, we're in car park four, now what? Yeah. There's nobody around. Spot on. Well, I'm lucky, you're lucky you turned up. Yeah, you yeah. Walk back. i got to be honest, I haven't heard that one yet. And it, it's oh, there you go. a few months in. Shall I ask the lady who's scanned? Yeah, yeah. Um, and now the unfortunate thing is I can't actually go all the way up. I've got to cut in here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but you guys are just... Beautiful. You're so close there. You just Thanks, walk I up appreciate it. You're allowed to jump out and grab the board. Alright, good buddy. luck guys. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, no worries man. Put that in the book of the strangest yes. ones I've seen. Yeah, okay. Grab it. Two folks. Car park four. I think gotcha. we're three. Cool, cool. Sorry, it's quite clear that uh, I'm heading back to Bristol or right at the bottom of the hill. Bottom of the hill, please. Bottom of the hill. Sorry, the point is bottom of the hill.
All right, folks, this is cup up four. Mm. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Hi, bye. Okay. Alright, you're in three? Uh, we're, just be we're about a dozen cars before the exit appear. I think we're. That is three. That is yeah. three. Uh, in three, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Thanks. Too easy. Yeah. How's your day been? Uh, it's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Little it's apprehension? First, little apprehensive? My first day up in three seasons, so I'm like, my legs are dying, but Fair it's enough. still a beautiful day. Day. Yeah, it's been pretty chill actually, my day. Uh, we haven't been busy at all and yeah, it's been good. The mountain's quite empty. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even really fill up four, that's yeah. that's usually an indicator. It's because there's been such amazing snow till now that everyone's spoiled. Uh, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying, that's like totally. locals and yeah. myself included just wouldn't be interested in hitting it, you know, no. like at this point. Weirdest. Right. This one here? Yeah. Oh yeah, too easy. Amazing. <laughs> Look at that. I'll even put the van at the oh, back so the skis can almost go straight in. Very popular. How about that? That's uh, interesting before. I've never, never heard anything quite like what those guys were trying to explain. Um, and you hear all kinds of things, but yeah, that one was really strange. Like the, the twisted story, it must, it must be another bus company, not an NZ ski bus, but the guy wasn't in uniform. And when he said car park four, These, not, those bus drivers don't even do that. They don't. They don't come down into our car parks unless they're dropping ski club members off, which I would have seen their buses pulled up next to the ski clubs, and I haven't. So, car park four still can't work out what that means. And the thing that the thing is that he didn't say walk to car park four and we'll meet you. The guy, the gentleman kept replying that he said, car park four, car park four. Like, I don't know why these dudes would have just thought that meant walk to car park four. Like, I would have, I would have had to, me, I would have had to have been explained super clearly that you want me to walk from here to car park four to then get a bus when all the buses are lined up here. That doesn't make any sense. That's how, that's how I would have approached that, but these guys just took it upon themselves to walk down to car park four. Oh, hello, these guys are loading in my pickup zone. Awesome. I'm gonna just pull up next to them. There's not a lot left down there anyway, but... So what we're gonna do here, what time is it? It's 20 to five. Usually around about five-ish is when it starts to get to that point where it's like, or not at five-ish, uh, before five, 10 to five. This is a still a little bit early. There's still cars in four, so we're still gonna be doing runs, but it's kind of getting to that point where it's almost done. So what I wanna do is check my battery 
on my devices to see how much like are we get are, are we gonna get all the way back town town oh will the will the 4g work because I don't, this morning it didn't work on the way up I'm gonna come over closer to you hello hello you little beauties and I'm gonna just check so that's still charging it's at 69% Dale I don't know why Dale would be so interested in that number but something tells me he would be 69 dudes um, where oh, I can't see this I gotta you know what I'll just go out and come around and then I'll check the chisel chat myself my screen skis chisel chat what's my battery percentage 22 So let's check this power bank for power. By the way, it's cold now. Sun's dipping. Skylight is a little lacking. I've got 49% on my modem, so that's gonna be fine. And on the main power bank source battery pack power, I have 55%. We got heaps of percentages. On the GH5, I've got two bars. That should get us through pretty sweetly. So what I can do is plug in, I'm going to plug in my iPhone charger off my power bank to get a charge off this guy. Hello skins. Hello skins. Is everybody good? Yeah, we're getting the charge now. Drop the exposure. Dispatch Hey, finally. Go ahead, dispatch. Yeah, 10, 9, most of that, but uh, car park four is about six more cars and a couple of stragglers in five. Otherwise, I'm almost done. <laughs> 10, 9, all of that. I'm gonna come up and see you in person. Copy that. Oh, copy that, that bit worked. Uh, I'll come back and talk to you guys. I'll leave this here on charge. I want to fill up my water bottle. I'll be back. Uh, you guys can enjoy the peacefulness and quietness. Enjoy the peaceful. I'll be back. I'll be back with some water and uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, throw my muesli bar rubber in the bin and see if uh, Dispatch Bridget wants me to do a down.
I'm not coming yet. I'm coming back up. Don't no, go back up. I'll be up. Yeah, I'm not ready yet. Yeah, just yeah, just meet me up there, Dan. It'll be much better. Um, ah, my shin. So the situation there is, um, yeah, there's basically, there is cars in car park uh, four still to go, but how long can you wait? These people are just dilly dallying around. I'm not gonna wait any longer. I thought they'd be here waiting for me and they're not. So I'm not gonna wait any longer. We're gonna do a downward run with staff. I'm gonna put you dudes back up on the dash so you guys can see the downward run and the view and the vista. But there is something to note, and that thing is, you probably will lose connectivity during this downward run. Why do I say that? Just speaking from experience coming up, we did lose connectivity. So I'm assuming we're going to lose it on the way down. Auto ISO, shutter speed's going to be about there. Yeah, so I'm just going to say, I, I think that it's not going to work. We're going to get to a point where it's not going to see Hang on, I'll come around. Yeah, um, essentially what's going to happen is, as we descend, we're going to lose the 4G, I believe. I don't know, but I believe. And um, Where I am? at that point, the stream will, will just be like, who took all the 4G? But here's the thing, I will do what I've got to do with this downward descent. And um, in the chat, Pablo, Benon, please show us the full frontal view again. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. 10-9, that's the call, 10-9, don't understand. Honey girl, let's go. 940, is that all? Yeah, so, um, and what I'm saying is once I've dropped these staff members off, I will, um, I will, um, I will return to the stream. Like, I won't leave you guys hanging, is what I'm saying. Fuck, that took a while for me to get out. Just got a little concerned there because that staff wanted to jump on here, and I was gonna wait for these last stragglers that might be wanting a shuttle ride back down. But to be completely honest, we can't wait any longer. And to be even further honest, potential that they might have walked down. So we'll see in a moment when we, when we get through Car Park 4 now. We'll see. If, if there's no cars there, those people walked down. In the time that it took me to go to the washroom and fill up my water bottle, those dudes might have walked down. That's a very possible uh, feature set. That could have well happened is what I'm saying. Oh, my camera's slipping and sliding. Yep. There you go, folks. The car park is empty. So those last stragglers walked down. And they did it in the space of time that I was up there taking a slash. So this is what an empty car park looks like. And it, well, what's time? Okay, it's six minutes to five. That's good. That's early, man. That's early. So again, what I'm saying is I won't leave you guys hanging on the stream. If it stops, I will return to you once I've dropped the staff off in town. In an ideal world, it'll stay connected the whole way and you guys will see the whole drive down and you'll see town, but more than likely it won't do that. Um, so I'll come back to you guys, probably in the yard, I guess. Yeah, probably in the yard when we're wrapping up and that's where we'll wrap the stream up. Uh, I've got to wash the bus, clean the bus, but I won't, I won't stream all that. Like I'll just, I'll show you the yard and then I'll, I'll wrap the stream there. So there's still cars in five, but often those are uh, ski club cars, often. Not always, but often. In this case, yes it is. Three's empty, except for this red guy, which has been there for at least two days. Yeah, definitely the front-facing view for the downward descent, as long as we get some out of it. Hopefully it works. Uh, my fucking 
jacket's in the way again. That jacket, I gotta fix that. Okay, here we are behind El Buso. I'm gonna fix this up once and for all. Lights on. Where are we going, dudes? Yeah. Someone always says that. Hey. I wish I could do it, but I can't. Um, my my team leader. So um, anyone? So which one? Like station? Everyone going to station? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, uh, Creekside, please. And Creekside, yeah. Oh, there had to be one. Sorry, I parked my car there. Alright. <laughs> Copy dispatch. Venon in S8, departing the peak with 10 1 0.
Oh, it's a phone, shit. The crack?
Okay, so we, we should be buck now. We should be buck. Um, so what what you guys missed, I don't know when the stream died on the downward descent, but that was predictable that that might, or that probably would happen. Uh, so I just did a downward run all the way from Coronet Peak, dropping off staff, and now I'm sitting just here and I've cleared and I'm parking up. So you're basically gonna see a little bit of a drive through Queenstown, and then we're gonna drop at the yard and I'm going to end the stream at the yard because I've got to clean the bus and also welcome back thank you honey girl and I, I, I won't be able to look at the chat because right now it's like uh, it's all hands-on in the sense that this is the end of the day and all the buses turn up at the yard at the one time and they've all got to be cleaned and refueled so I'll go straight to the refuel pump and I'll start to refuel and then at some point I will uh, wrap the stream from there so does that sound cool? You, I, I don't know how much you saw or how much you missed of that downward descent. I, I'm really interested to watch it back myself to see when it dropped. Um, but it does give me, it does show to me that I won't be able to live stream uh, a, parasa a, a parasail, not parasail, what's it called? I can't, I always get this word mixed up. What's the word where you're not parapent? Anyway, I won't be able to do that because the sig it'll have to be a vlog instead. Am I going to get let in here? Let me in. I'm just going to have to nozzle out, aren't I? I'm just going to nozzle out and then give a friendly wave. Thanks, man. Yeah, so you, I guess you're seeing a little bit of Queenstown anyway. This is shot over street, the main drag. Um, yeah, yeah, so when I do that with um, Nina, I just won't, I won't live stream it because there's no point if it's not gonna work, right? So we've got a little shot over street action here, Queenstown style. Stream only died the last few minutes. Is that really, Pablo? Oh, you got the whole downward descent? Welcome back. That's good to know, hey, wow. So it didn't die entire in its entirety. That's cool to know. This is the main drag of Queenstown, folks. Shotover Street. Uh, named after the Shotover River, not surprisingly. There's a crossing here, and she's walking. And uh, she's walking there. We'll let her walk across the crossing. Oh, and the camera will fall. And the camera did fall. Rolled over. It rolled over, and it rolled right back in front of the jacket. Shotover Street, folks. Corner of Shotover and Camp. And I've got free access in here. Not really. I probably. Oh no, they're good. They're moving. Move it. Ah. Apologies for that falling down. Oh, the light's red anyway. I'll just fix that a little bit if I can. Make it stay there. We've only got a little distance to travel anyway. But yeah, I am... Um, yeah, I'm really keen to watch this stream back myself and, and see how it all went, how it all looked what happened when it got where it got and what it did and when it didn't and all that other stuff but yeah I do have to work at this stage or not at this stage very soon do the last things of the day and what is it 535 by the time I fuel up and clean the bus and it goes over the wash bay uh, and do my log book it'll probably be about quarter past six by the time I wrap everything up so that's like a almost 12 hour day um, so yeah, there we go, green light. What's this guy doing up ahead? That's a weird place. Oh wow, you've just hit the curb, buddy. Little one wheel slappy. Also, you might have noticed how quiet the downward run was. That's because it's a staff run and I just let them, you know, I don't really talk much. Um, they just want to chill, they've had a long day and 
just don't want to get in there. I just don't want to give them any any more grief than what they've just had. Usually, I think that was F and B, food and beverage. So they've had a pretty hard day, and I just let them. I had the lights on, unfortunately. I, I should have turned the lights off. I normally do, but I had them on. I don't. I just realised just now that the lights are still on. The internal cabin lights. Another thing I'm really interested to see about this stream is how much data it shoot up of my 100 gig and the 40 of uh, two degrees. So that'd be interesting to note. Um, I guess it's about 11 hours now, 10 hours. No, it'd be 11, it'd be 11 hours, wouldn't it? Uh, this is Gorge Road, uh, looking towards Coronet Peak. In the distance, in the valley, you'll see a big white sort of light, I guess an overexposed area, and that is Coronet Peak where we just drove down from. And my house is on the left here, folks. If you look at this park coming up on the left, there's a parkland called Warren Park. Walk across that park on the left, through that gap, and you get to my place. And I specifically live there so I can walk to this area, which is the bus yard. And it's right up here. So this is a good liquor store on the right, super liquor. The bus, dep uh, the bus yard is on the left. You can see some of the, uh, there's the bungee, fearless bungee bus. So the shuttle bus is in the back there. And we're gonna take a right, because we've got to clean up, fuel up, clean up, and wash up. And end up, end the stream. So thanks for being here with me, folks. I really appreciate you all. I won't get a chance to look at that chat, unfortunately. Oh, I should have gone then. I still can go. A bit slow on the uptake. Um, yeah, I won't get a chance to uh, look at the chat here. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of uh, this stream, I guess. It's not one of my regular streams. I'm um, trying to do something slightly different here. So, won't be able to look at the chat here. Where's my gloves? There they are. Brendan on the on the walk there. That was, a, that was one of the guys who interviewed me, Brendan and Mal, which is pretty cool. Good interview, good guys. And this is where we refuel. This is the fuel tank, uh, the fuel cabinet. <laughs> fuel thing, what do they call this? I don't know, but either way, this is where it's going to happen for me. Engine off. Oh, I didn't put it in park. That's bad. Lights off. And I'm going to get out and refuel this sucker. And I'll be back to end the stream.
25.68 is the leaderage. Why is there a guy behind me in a fucking ute? Twenty-five, sixty-eight. I might bring this down here now. We don't need that up there. We'll just put you yahoos down here until we wrap the stream. Which I'm going to do very, very soon. But for the time being, got to log, log my fuel. 25.68. That's the literage. There's a dude in a regular four-wheel drive behind me. Why would you do that? No, oh, they're parking up. So now we pull up and we sweep the van. Why can't my... Where is my... Um... Remote. It's not working. Okay, well I'm going to sweep my van. I was trying to end the stream, but I'm going to sweep instead. Oh, I also like to put on, um, where is my, I uh, don't really need it. I was going to say, I like to put on my, um, my other glove. Here it is. I like to put on my headband, uh, my uh, headlamp to do this, but it's so light these days, we don't really need it. So I'm going to sweep this sucker. I'm gonna load the, the remote in um, Chrome instead. boring for you guys. I gotta end the stream, man. This is boring. I gotta end it here. It's boring for you. I'm gonna sweep and then mop the bus. That's tedium, right? Sweeping. I'm going to end the stream here. Thanks for being here with me, folks, on this uh, very long uh, workday. And if you liked it, you might want to join up, sign up for nzski.com and become a shuttle driver. And uh, you would enjoy yourselves as much as I have today. Every day is uh, unique and interesting. Every day is unique and interesting. Every day is slightly different. The weather can play a huge factor in things. The crew is lovely. Conditions are great. I really enjoy it. You might as well. Uh, you might as well enjoy it. You might not as well enjoy it. Where's my shutter speed here? I've got to move, dudes. There's a queue for this. Is what I, I'm, I'm a little stressed right now because I've got to sweep my bus and mop it and there's a queue. And um, I'm just waiting to end this stupid stream. The remote .go light stream won't load. All right, it's going to be the old school method. Uh, I'm going to just end the stream in restream. See you later. I'm going to end it in restream. Not the greatest way to end a stream, but you know. See you later. Ta-ta!